Welcome to the Whatever Dating Talk podcast, where we try to make sense of the modern dating hellscape. Thanks for tuning in tonight. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. I appreciate that. We're coming to you live from Santa Barbara, California, every Sunday and Tuesday at 5 p.m. Pacific. I'm your host, Brian Atlas. I'm joined by my co-host, Kiki. She's back there somewhere. She's a bit shy. Uh, a few quick announcements before the show begins. Uh, guys, we do have Jake, Australia Jake, joining us. He is running a little late. He's going to be joining us in about an hour and a half, so we're going to... Uh, don't worry, we, we got another uh, person coming. So, this podcast is viewer-supported heavy YouTube demonetization, so please consider donating through Streamlabs. Instead of super chatting as YouTube takes a brutal 30% cut, some quick maths for y'all. So if you super chat 100, YouTube takes 30. If you donate 100, Streamlabs only takes three. Streamlabs.com slash whatever. Link is in the description. Donations in Super Chats $10 and up will be displayed in Stream Overlay. Donations in Super Chats $100 and up will be read slash answered. If you want to interact nearly instantly with us and weigh in on the conversation, consider sending a TTS text to speech message, $200 and up triggers TTS. TTS is via Streamlabs only. Please see the description for all triggers in full details. We have channel memberships. To become a member, hit the join button. Tier one is just $5 a month. You can also gift memberships. YouTube uh, employed this new thing where the host of a, or the creator of a channel can gift 10 memberships a month. So I'm gonna see if I'm gonna, if they've enabled that, if I'm able to uh, do it in a little bit here. We're also live on Twitch right now. Pull up another tab, go to twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us a follow in the Prime sub if you have one. If you have Amazon Prime, you can link it to your Twitch. Quick, free, easy way to support the show every single month. We got merch, shop.whatever.com, stuff you can wear to not be naked, don't be a criminal, get some merch, follow us on Instagram, at whatever, any girls who wanna be on the show, DM at whatever on Instagram. If you can make it to Santa Barbara, if you're interested in sponsoring the podcast, you can also DM us here. Follow me on Instagram, bd underscore atlas. Check out my nonprofit, Big Labia Matter, or BLM for short, it's really the pressing issue of our time. If you can't catch the full shows, we have Clips channels. Links for those are in the description. Go subscribe. Disclaimer, the views expressed by the panelists do not necessarily reflect the views of the whatever podcast or the host. Without further ado, we're going to have the guests introduce themselves. So please tell us your name, age, location, so where you're from, and occupation. Go ahead. Okay, um, my name is Bree, and I'm 26 and from Simi Valley. Okay, occupation? Uh, I guess model. Guess model, okay. Yeah. <laughs> like a like, guess, like the hand purse? Like you model only, for like guess? Like OnlyFans. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Welcome. What about you? My name's Arson. Uh, I'm 24. Is that your government name? That's my government name. Arson? Yes. Mm hmm No way. Is it? <laughs> well, my government. I don't know if I function. <laughs> your government. Your government. Life. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is your government? Um, I don't know. I just how I govern my own life. I feel like I don't really function in a lot of uh, normal scenes of society. So, just that's my world. But um, and for my occupation, I'm working on my own brand. I make uh, portable flamethrowers. <laughs> oh. Um, oh, wow. and, <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> and other items. I make like tables and like cool rolling trays and stuff. But uh, was there any other question? That it? Nick, don't type that. What? <laughs> um, age again? 24. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Spencer, why don't you grab that? Go ahead. My name is Meow. I'm 27. Here, just can you chuck that to Spencer, please? Your thing? <laughs> Imagine getting Go a ahead, cat. continue Continue with your... Imagine if it blew up. My like name is Meow Like a Cat, but I am a dog. And I'm 27, I'm from the USA, and I'm a Twitch live streamer. Your name is Meow? Yes. What was the whole thing with the dog thing? Meow Like a Cat, but I am a dog. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you live your life as a cat? As a dog. Were you not following? <laughs> no, but... <laughs> meow Like meow. a Cat, but I am a dog. Okay. So, so you live your life as a, a dog? Yes. Okay. Yes. Can you show your teeth? Okay. And it, uh, is that uh, those like... Genetic. It's a dog no, thing. it's not genetic, but um, how do you... Uh, was it put in by a <laughs> dentist or... So it's like a dog thing. Like, I'm a dog girl, so they're like a part of the shtick, you know? They help me like tear meat and stuff. I understand. Thank you, Barbie. Please do that again. Word. 
Cool. <laughs> We're in for a show tonight, guys. Okay. All right, Kayla. Kayla, what about you? Um, my name's Kayla, and I do OnlyFans right now, but I am a hair school because I want to be a hairstylist. Age? 21. 21. All right. I'm Leslie. I'm 20 years old from Angels Camp, California, and I'm a server, and I do OnlyFans on the side. Okay. What about you? Uh, my name is Ariana. I'm also from Angels Camp, California. Right now, I'm an exotic dancer, and I do OnlyFans. Age? 20, sorry. My name is Jules, and I'm from Pismo Beach, California, 21, and my occupation is a server and OnlyFans. Okay. Yeah. Pismo Beach, is that 805? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. We've got Sorry, another 805. Sir. Rare we get another 805 person here. What about you? All right. Hi. My name is Carmen. I'm 24. I'm from Minnesota, and I'm a Twitch streamer slash dog handler. So... And you're friends with Meow. <laughs> Do you handle Meow? When we feel like it. Oh. All right. Good times. Uh, <laughs> what about Hi, you? I'm Sky. Uh, I'm 22, and I'm from Los Angeles. I do OnlyFans, and I model on the side for, like, fashion brands, and I'm looking to start uh, my own clothing brand. Okay. Hi, my name's Raven. I am 22. Uh, I'm from Anaheim, and I am former OnlyFans. Now I uh, am a student trying to get my degree in uh, child development. All right, welcome. What about you? 26. My name is Angelica, and I just kind of do random things. Where are you from? Oh, um, San Francisco. SF, okay. And... Uh, Random things. I mean, Nick, if you can pull it up, we know that you do some, you, I don't know if you still do, you used to do very interesting ASMR videos. Are you still involved in the ASMR industry? Yes, but I had to do another channel just because it's, oh, that's the new channel, yeah. It's okay. Like the old scroll down a little bit, Nick. Scroll opposite. down. Oh. So you uh, scroll down a little bit. Stay there. Wait, wait, wait. Stop. <laughs> Nineteen. So you do 1980s Soviet girlfriend kidnaps ASMR. Yes. That's interesting. Educational. Okay. <laughs> British phrenology ASMR. World War II physical ent entrance medical exam with a southern accent ASMR. This is very niche. <laughs> Extremely niche. Can you pull up the other one, Nick? She's got more. It was never meant to get popular. I just, it's just something I like doing behind closed doors. Look at this one. Wait. 5.2 million. 1300s AD ASMR, none takes care of you in bed. You have the plague. Wait, speaking of which. Do I get a hat? You, oh. have to, you actually have to wear that. Hat. Okay. Uh, we got the plague doctor thing, so. Um, all right. Can you. Can anyone else put this on their face can, before? This is going to be a whatever exclusive. Can we get a little plague doctor ASMR here? Go ahead. It's terminal. You don't have any time left. Pray to God, and maybe you might make it to heaven. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was did uh, ones in the chat. If anybody got some ASMR from from that, <laughs> from that somebody click experience. click that. If you oh I, okay, if you do you want to wear the whole thing the whole the whole show or maybe um, not. Yeah, maybe perhaps not. not. I kind of look okay. like one of those Spanish. Do you want to hold on to that, Madison? There you go. Enjoy. <laughs> okay. Um, Cool, so she's got, but you, you don't do ASMR anymore. No, I do, yeah, I oh, like you still it. Do. It's like okay. a project, but it's just like a side hobby, basically. Okay, all right, well, there you go. Um, and guys, like I said, we do have Jake joining us. We're gonna shift the chairs once he comes. He's gonna be here in about an hour, hour and a half or so. So we're gonna go around the table once more. What is everybody's current relationship status? So are you single, talking stage, situationship, friends with benefits, relationship, married, polycule, sex, cult, if you're single, how long have you been single? What's, and what's the longest relationship you've ever been in? And before I have you go, uh, guys, we're in the midst of a rainstorm, a thunderstorm. I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of windy out there, it's raining. Uh, and I, I wanna credit everybody here for, for being able to make it through the treacherous, flooded streets, the mean streets of Santa Barbara to be here tonight. So I thank you all 
for, for risking your lives, <laughs> risking your lives to be here with me tonight. Thank you guys. Shout out to you guys. So, um, uh, oh, the reason I bring it up, it's possible there's a power outage. If the stream cuts, we'll try to get it going again. But it's, po I mean, it's, it's raining pretty bad, so we'll see. Anyways, um, go ahead with the relationship status stuff. Um, I guess I'm single, but I've been in, like, situationships, and my longest relationship is, like, five years. Okay, longest relationship, five years. Mm -hmm. You've had some situationships. How long would you say you've been single? Mm, probably, like, a year. I'm sorry. A year, yeah. okay, one year, all right. I feel like I'm just too picky. And I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you had mentioned this in the pre-show. Are you celibate? Um, one of you is celibate. celibate. Somebody, but... you're the celibate one. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, cool. Yeah, I want to say celibate though. I've, there's this thing called like demisexual, where like you only have like sex with people unless mm -hmm. like you're like emotionally attached to them. Okay. So. Are you demi demisexual? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, how tall are you, by the way? Four nine. Okay, good yeah. to know. Um, next, go ahead. Okay. Uh, wait, it was. Oh, can I actually tilt your, strain your mic a little bit? There you go. Uh, so, yeah, what's your current relationship status? If you're single, how long have you been single? Longest relationship ever. Go ahead. Okay. My relationship status is technically single, but I do identify as a fem cell, and <laughs> I, I'm uh, celibate. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then my longest relationship was four years ago, or four years ago, was four years mm -hmm. long, and that was about a year and a half ago. Um, but basically for the whole year and a half since I broke up with them, I haven't been basically like with anyone. There was a couple little hookups, but honestly, I don't count that because I disassociated from it. But, um... Huh? <laughs> Wait, so just clarify, so a couple hookups, but don't count them. But the, those are like in the beginning of my fem cell era. Now I'm like fully committed to it and fully like like getting power from it. Do you date uh, women or? No, only strict heteros. Straight, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. um, wait, so you're a fem cell? Yes. Can we clarify what that Yeah, means? so I mean, when, mm -hmm. if you can define that, because yeah. do you mean like you're a female involuntarily celibate? Because some yes. people define fem cell differently. So. Yeah, so, so an incel is, like somebody that's yeah, involuntar involuntarily celibate, so I'm just a female version. And basically I say that because I think men are beautiful, they're attractive, I love to be around them, and I think they're talented, creative, and you know, just fun. But as soon as you start to view them, I think in a romantic sense, they somehow manifest a dark energy within them and I'm just hella like bubbly and nice and kind and super loving. I have like the biggest heart ever, which is a blessing and a curse. And I think once they see that, they either get like intimidated and, or that dark energy is repelled by like love energy. And so like, I'm literally like man repellent. Closer to the mic, you're literally man, what? Yes. Why are you man repellent? Oh, just so many times like, I've just been ghosted and just like, I used to be obsessed with finding a man. Like literally, she knows every time we'd go out, we'd be like, I have to find a man. I have to find a rape bay. I'd be like, just obsessed with men. And just like th having too much energy like that, like men are like scared of that. They're just trying to, you know, mm -mm, and then dip, you know? So like seeing someone that like fully wants to be like obsessed with you and just be like a super powerful duo, like, just men just you usually don't want that i'm like generalizing but mm -hmm. um it just in my personal experience i've just experienced so much rejection that you no know, now i think it's fun now i think it's funny it used to like get me in my fuck in my feelings and stuff but not no more like i don't know i just have felt so much happier my depression has completely yeeted from my body i've completely like rebranded my home self because my mentality has just gone so much better ever since i started going like when, this whole route. When you say you deal with a lot of rejection, you get rejected a lot. Are you talking about romantic <laughs> rejection or sexual rejection? Um, like both because they go hand in hand. Like, and especially like if you say to a man, like, I don't want to, I don't want to do that the first time I see you, maybe later on, that's like an immediate dub, you know? And, um, what's a dub? 
Is that is that an L? No, that's that's like yeah, like you get dubbed like no, it's an L. That's an L. I'm, too, <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I, I listen to Pearl Jam. I'm too like I'm too much of a boomer for. Um, <laughs> wait, so it's a, a dub is a win? No, a dub is an L. The dub, dub is they ghost you. Yeah. Okay. So, literally right. so many times. I like if I'm talking to them at a party, I'll literally be talking to them all night. They're like risen me up. I think we're, it's going yeah. so well. And then as soon as I say anything like, oh, by the way, I'm not trying to do that tonight, but we can totally kick it as friends. It's like they literally leave the conversation, start talking to another girl. And okay. it's like, so I just like, I just like, yeah. Maybe and you you're, give them. you're not trying to do that tonight as in have sexual intercourse. Like P and the V. Yeah. Sexual intercourse. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good times. Mm -hmm. Maybe good you give them too much attention and energy. I do, but I think that's such a good thing. I like, so like I like a lot. I like yeah, that. Yeah, but mean, they they have to earn yeah. it from you though. You just can't give it to them. Like, yeah, I they have if they to. Just give. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, a I lot of men do. A lot of men do, earn. but they're typically no the ones who run away. I, I feel just like, like having like fun. The you know, be nice like, that's to just, no, I don't think we like the chase. You can be nice to them. I don't think we like the chase. You like the chase. I don't. I can tell you. We don't like the chase. No, no, no. I don't want the chase. No chase. The whole chase ignore. Just up front. Is it because you can't run that fast? Stirred. <laughs> no, just it's like I don't like to play games. Are you not good at games? <laughs> well, it's not really a game. No, like the yeah, proper way to do it is more so to like, show an earnest interest, like to show that yeah. he's genuinely interested in yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. That's not chasing. That's just saying like I yeah. really want you. Yeah, exactly. And this is how I'm going to prove it. Yeah. It, I just it's... skip over the bullshit. I'd rather just skip yeah. over the exactly you know, the whole. Does she like me? And then, yeah. uh, and then she's thinking, does he like me? And then there's this game playing. No. Eh, no it shouldn't be a game either way, though. Like, a girl shouldn't have to make you, like, jump through hoops in order to prove that she likes you. Like, she should just like you from the start. But I agree. I agree. At the same time, it has to be, like, mutually respectful, essentially. I think men shouldn't assume that women like them just because they're nice. Yeah. They yeah. Almost, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, it's okay. Um, you, you're a... Uh, Fem cell. Um, yes. How long have you been celibate for? Um, shoot, I haven't been counting the months, but maybe like the last like real like six months has been like really like when I've been starting going ham with this whole identity. Okay. Well, but you said that's when you started going ham with his whole identity, which I mean makes me makes it sound like you have some degree of choice. Yeah, I mean, if I were to meet somebody that changed my mind, then I don't mind. But I literally, like, I, I, I'm not kidding when I'm saying every man is, like, repelled by me. But, uh, like, it's involuntary, you know? Every man is repelled by you. Uh, we have uh, a little thing <laughs> popping off. Do you yeah, think we'll have I... Madison fix it. Just stay there, Nick. Um, you say, but you say you're at these parties and these guys come up to you. And as soon as they find out that you're not down to have sex that night, they move on to another woman. Mm -hmm. Now, but when it comes to being in, uh, involuntarily celibate, if men are propositioning you and offering you sex and you're rejecting it, that would suggest to me that you're voluntarily celibate. If men are offering you sex and you're turning them down. Yeah, but those, those are just like random people. If I'm like, like actually like, like it, like into somebody like that 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 was just like a random conversation I had at a club. But like if I'm actually like into somebody, I swear they're never into me too. Like like the last person I I just like showed any interest towards, I don't know. I think people like are just like really narcissistic and have really big egos. So if you're not like immediately trying to act like they're trying to like be all over them and like be like. I don't know, just feeding their ego, and you actually want to talk about yourself or anything you're doing, it is like a complete turn off to them, and they're just like, they're just like used to girls being all over them, you know? We have a chat here from whatever fan. He says, fem cell usually means a woman who can't get an LTR, not one who isn't sleeping around. So, I mean, you, do you do uh, OF? And I'm trying to. I'm, I'm okay. epically failing at it, but yeah. You're epically failing at it. I mean, <laughs> are there not, because like, I only have six subs. Like, so. can you think of like, <laughs> can you think of one guy right now who, if you texted him and you're like, hey, do you want to have sex? I don't know. I live, would... I've completely like removed the whole idea of men from my mind. Like, I don't pay like it's like 
I don't okay. pay any attention to them like, except whenever you profit off of them for only no I mean like I think you need to focus I'm not on really yourself like, and build up why it is that you're confident and have value and no I think yeah that if exactly you're, if you're bombing on OnlyFans maybe you could take it as a sign to like maybe yeah. move away well, from the platform because yeah. it's gonna have long-term consequences yeah. too yeah. and if you something? want a proper respectful relationship you're not gonna find that at the clubs I'm, I'm based yeah <laughs> Yeah. I, I don't look for relationships at all. Like, that's just if somebody random tr- comes up to me, you know? Sorry, go ahead. But go I'm ahead. not looking for a relationship. Like, literally, I don't think of men, like, at all anymore. Like, I'm only focused on, like, like me and my girls. Like, that's where I find my social connection from. Sometimes okay. you have to be careful with kind, what kind of girls you choose, too. To that's surround true. yourself yeah. with. That's true. Yes. I got a good family, though. Like, we're a real, like, literally, we're a cult. So, like, <laughs> yeah. um, so, I don't know. I just got a really good support system around me like that, so. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't think you're a femme cell, but... Uh, that's my definition. Okay. That's like a style thing, but it's not like a literal incel. It's not the yeah, same. you're not you literally... You that way. Voluntarily. Yeah. Truth be told, I don't think women... Well, you've seen. I don't think women can be involuntarily celibate. Because they're always Some desirable? Yeah. Like, no, I biologically? Like, yeah, like, pretty much. Yeah, like. Sure. So do you think men can be involuntarily yeah. celibate? Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. If they're biologically desired by other women and men? Well, I mean, it comes down to your capacity to actually procure sex. So, and and obviously, let's exclude prostitution, for example. Yeah. Uh, there are men genuinely out there, despite them making reasonable, good faith efforts to get sex, they just can't. Whereas, I mean, it's, I mean, I, I can't think of a scenario where a woman, if she just strictly wanted casual sex, could not get it, almost instantly, very okay. quickly. You need not. You need not do more as a woman than just download Tinder, download a dating app, make yourself available. You probably won't even have to take all that much initiative. You can probably get laid very easily. That's true, but I think it's different value systems because it's like women can get, any woman, I honestly think in any situation can get laid, but it's not something that women value. Well, that's a different, that's a different question though, is it do women want to have casual sex? But when we're talking about a specific term, like someone who's involuntarily celibate, Mm -hmm. I mean, that That has a very specific definition. You are involuntarily celibate. So despite your efforts to procure sex, Mm -hmm. you're not able to get it. I think it's rather short-sighted to specify that it's only a men issue because even in the intro, you you specified if you're a girl, you can DM the podcast if you want to come on. I feel as though men aren't given as many opportunities to be like social and to like meet a lot of people that are on similar wavelengths as they are. Mm -hmm. And so you're just arguing my point. Well, well, so what I'm saying is I I think, but you're saying that only you think only men can be involuntarily celibate. And I think women can also shut themselves away and be very much like in their own head thinking, okay, everyone likes me. I'm not the beauty standard for men it's oh i don't have muscles and i'm I'm not over six feet and for women it's okay i don't have triple d's and i don't have a tiny waist like it can be i feel like it can be very fair on either side well i mean we've uh, sorry go ahead continue with your point i was gonna say i think that she is describing a lot of voluntarily voluntary celibacy because that's how i operate too i'm voluntarily celibate in my life but we're talking about involuntarily celibate and I i mean you mentioned like for example physical appearance i mean we've had women on the show who no offense to them, but just as a statement of fact, were, for example, morbidly obese. And, you know, it occurs to me that their looks equivalent, you put them in a male body with the same characteristics. Uh, we, we have women, uh, for example, right? A woman could be, how do I, how do I want to best frame this? Ugly as fuck. <laughs> like, even really, really unattractive women can be sluts. Mm-hmm. But a yes. really yeah, unattractive, 100%. like morbidly <laughs> obese man can't be a slut. But who's to say that an, a morbidly mm. obese woman could be a slut? He, he can money. be a slut. Mm. Yeah, like, girl. I don't know. <laughs> Wait like, a who's I to mean, say well, that for example, for... we've we've had women on the show who, who, uh, I mean, Nick, if you're able to pull it up, the girl who was uh, who wore the pink, um, She's from my city. Uh, she was. Um, not what? Bro bringing up oh, you have it? W- one sec. I mean, uh, she's a little bit overweight, and uh, she was saying how she could sleep with five men in a day. Mm. Her male looks equivalent. Like, to be able to sleep with five women in a day, you're, that puts you in the realm of, like, A-list celebrity, musician, actor, professional athlete, 
or you're just exceptionally good looking. Or it puts you into a, a price bracket of how much you make and you can pay for those services also. Yeah, but I'm excluding I'm excluding prostitution from this conversation. What about OnlyFans? What do you mean? Because it How's age, that it will, related be, at all? Be, well, because plenty of men, plenty of men uh, have favorite models that they like to fund their lives specifically and for uh, some OnlyFans models, they are willing to exchange more intimate interactions with users than others. For some people, they So don't. prostitution? Yeah, I'm I'm excluding that from. I'm excluding that from the okay. conversation. Well, I wasn't. But, I wasn't sure if you identified OnlyFans as prostitution. Well, that's what. Well, I, yeah, but be. no, you're saying. Hold on, but you're saying, you're you're talking about ha having more intimate connections. So I think what you were trying to arrive at is, what if the women on OnlyFans offer up sexual services, aka sex, for money? Yeah. Well, because he's talking about physical sex, not like. Oh, like like just chances in general because from because yeah. from what I, I I maybe I'm misunderstanding your point then well that's the thing is I, that like there's a story with Kurt Cobain where he ended up basically having intimacy with a woman who was mentally disabled mm -hmm. physically disabled overweight and mm -hmm. smelled and the girl apparently had slept with a bunch of guys in the town including some family members mm -hmm. so it's like a woman inherently is always going to be used by men who are seeking that out but men, on the other hand, will never be used in that respect, at least not usually. I wonder if it's I wonder if it's connected to women being inherently seen as like a biological sexual object, whereas men are more conquer ship based, more protector, more warrior. And I wonder if those biological like expectations. Those are no, biological realities. Yeah, yeah, like women are the receptacle, and men are the ones who basically so, so pick, it, it, pursue. I'm not sure if I would sense. categorize women as receptacles. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, that I'm, not gonna my, co yeah. I'm not going to co-sign that statement. Yeah. But. Well, well, it makes sense then that there's more men that are uh, like finding you know involuntary celibacy to be their way of how they operate. If that is the case, if we live in a society to where men are not seen as sexual beings and women are. Right? Well, women aren't supposed to be seen as sexual beings. We're supposed to have agency and womanhood and femininity, but unfortunately, with the commercial society that we live in, it's like we've been reduced down to these sexual objects, whether it's like mm -hmm. boobs and butts and all of that jazz. There's no sense of respect or dignity associated with womanhood anymore because of, in my opinion, the things like the sexual revolution basically removing our agency from us. But that's women's own doing. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. kind of, women did that to themselves, like over, mm -hmm. like the whole feminism thing. Yep. Well, Agreed. part of it, doing Look. it to ourselves is for money because it's an easy way to make money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's why, that's why I mentioned money because I feel like money is always going to be a topic when talking about sure those interactions and as far as like people's ability to get sex mm -hmm. because I've, I have I have listened to self-proclaimed incel men speak about how they've paid for sex before but they mm -hmm. don't count that as a real experience because of the way that they view mm -hmm. it that's, they, yeah, that's yeah. what they say mm -hmm. yeah why well, I mean because I mean it I, what I think incel men want is they want uh, sex that does not involve that's not transactional I would hope. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, we can certainly have a deeper conversation of, well, to some degree, is romantic. Everything transactional. Is everything transactional, Which but that's, that's on another level. It's not organic, I guess, is what he's trying to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, um, like, like, more so like organic sex. Like, you meet somebody, you click, and then you're like, oh, hey, let's go you know, hook up. That's, I think, more so what he's talking about. I, I, wonder, I wonder if that comes down to, you know, base levels of testosterone versus estrogen levels. And I, and I just wonder if it's not as, like, social, as, like, a social contagion issue, or if it's more, like, genuine, just, like, our, bio, our biology, our, our biology kind of catching up to us a little bit in the social state that we're at, right? No, I agree, because you actually, like, like, how you said that, like, men don't have a lot of, like, they have a lot of social experiences. They can go out, they can go out and meet a woman. I was literally just in Japan last week, and it was like the cutest thing. I was, my feet were dying. So I was sitting and like in this little corner and there were these two, two school girls and this, uh, like they're high schoolers, right? High school guy comes up, puts the arm, right? Like by her head, it goes like, hey, I saw you, you were just really cute. And you know, you know, what, what, what you doing later, right? And she was just giggling like, oh my gosh, like this is her like fairy tale, tale moment. And when he like, Gave, it, gave him her number. When he left, she was like giggling with her friend, like, oh my gosh, that was so great. And I'm like, like things are so different in this culture. And 
like men could just go up to women in other countries and be like, "Oh my gosh, I really like you. You're really beautiful." Like, I feel let like me take men you out do that all the time. Like, they do, but they're often rejected. They 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 open up their phone and they hand you their Instagram with it open for you to type oh in gosh. your username. Yeah. That's what they do. I feel yeah. like it's stupid. Like, if somebody comes up to me on the street, I'm always hella friendly. I don't give a fuck if it's a homeless man, like or whatever, whoever it is. Like, I'm gonna always meet them with positive energy. Like, I think oh, catcalling, getting upset by that, is literally so dumb. Look, Unless here's like, here's the reality, right? Okay. Most women can sleep with most men. Most men cannot sleep with most women. A woman can, I mean, she would have to, I would even argue if she was seriously disabled or disfigured, she could still procure sex rather easily. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean. Well, the also, I'm delusional and very, like, men trigger manic episodes in me. Okay. So, like, I almost turn into a crazy person if they try to talk to me. But, so okay. that's usually what repels them. <laughs> I mean, but, but here's the thing. If you were to download Tinder, yeah. ma just swipe swipe on even the dudes that you just think are physically attractive, or if you even were to go out to a nightclub or a bar or a party, and you just, you say men approach you. I tried Hinder, Tinder, I tried Hinge. Literally, I get like zero matches. And if I try to meet up with them, like. Stop the cap. I, bro, I'm not capping. I don't believe it. Literally, I complain like, about this all the time. You know, you're, Dude, do you not hear me complain about that stuff all yes, the time? Yes, you do. You do complain about that stuff all the time. <laughs> okay, well, so let me ask you a question. What, first off, how do you categorize your your look? Like, are you a scene girl? Yeah. Are you, what, like, are you uh, a girl? What's your, mm -hmm. how do you uh, define your aesthetic? Like Lolita, Harajuku, Scene Core, um, Serene Rio Core, like anything that ends with core, cottage core. Like. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, are you are you seeking out men that fall into like a very niche? Oh, for uh, sure. Like basically, I, I don't know, for some reason, energy attraction, like I only attract clinically insane men. So that might be <laughs> why, uh. like... It just artists. doesn't work. And they don't yeah. want to fuck. The insane dudes don't even want to fuck, no, is what you're saying. Many, they don't want to fuck. Too many girls on them. They, the they insane dudes have too many, too, too many yes, they lady do. friends. Like, they sound, like SoundCloud mm -hmm. rappers. Mm -hmm. so, that's your type of I'm SoundCloud not into, rapper. Like, rappers and stuff, I'm not into like the hip hop rap scene as much, but definitely like. I don't know if you know what hyperpop is or like dance core and like th those specific. I know of '90s grunge music. That's the extent of my. Mm. It that's kind it. Of is like a, Pearl Jam, yeah. Stone Temple Pilots. Yeah. That's it. Maybe some like early uh, late '90s pop yeah. punk, Blink 182. It's just like that's music it. that moves so fast. It's almost like epilepsy inducing. Like, Sounds like a okay. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. uh, in any case, I'm pretty sure if you if you hopped on a dating app. And uh, I'm pretty confident you'd... You know what? We should do this as an experiment. Um, let's actually grant her access to her phone. Oh. Do you have Tinder on your phone? So you're going to be... Um, I maybe... Seen, I have Hinge. I've seen Hinge on your phone. It's okay. sad. It's sad. Did you use that Hello Kitty phone? We'll give you... Yeah. While we're having everyone else do their uh, relationship status, we're giving you 10 minutes to access... Do you have Tinder? I can show you all these dumb conversations. Uh, yeah, nowhere. it's okay. You don't have to show them. But... <laughs> but... I want you to get on Hinge, and I want you to, yes, oh wait, but I think you have limited likes just on yes, Hinge, right? Just I, I haven't been on dating apps in a while. Uh, well, the likes come to you, right? Okay. All your matches be like, what are you doing tonight? No, because literally, look, I always get no reply. I stay in West LA area, no, no reply ever again. Like, I said, you're not a horse, and then he never responded to me. And wait, then, can I see your photos? <laughs> Let me see your photos. <laughs> I'm gonna get her a man tonight. She said, you're not I'm gonna get her a man tonight. Okay, let's see. Uh, hold on. Brian's living vicariously. Okay. I mean, you have 50 plus matches in the queue, I think. Right? Yeah, you yeah, got 50 I, I plus. Yeah, I get matches, but as soon as I DM them, they never respond. I've literally like only met up with like two people on there in the, in the year and a half. Okay. And five, it was just like a horrible experience. Five, do you three, DM them first? Yes, Sagittarius. I always DM them first. Oh, like, well, you have to let them DM you first. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, yes. I don't have the Drinks, for that. smoke sometimes, weed sometimes, drugs sometimes. Wait. Atheist. <laughs> What's your bio? Atheist, liberal, long term relationship, open to short. You are wholesome and have a big heart. That's one of your prompts. Together we could do arts and crafts and talk about our favorite things. Uh, and then you're also taking a picture in a graveyard. Cool, um, <laughs> bro. You could definitely get some like. Mm -hmm. Where do you live? L.A. Yeah. Bro, there's all kinds of like, 
pretentious art people there. You're good. You're good. You can. I got you. Women like you. I got you. I'm gonna get you a man tonight. Okay. I'm gonna get you. You're, you're in invol- you you claim to be involuntarily celibate. We must <laughs> correct this. We're gonna change it. I got you. Okay, we're gonna get you. Like okay, get okay. You if it's somebody I like, bro, I'd be down. Honestly, you just have to. Like, you have to. How about? Girl, I've been trying. <laughs> like, I've been been trying, trying. But I just I, That's you what shouldn't be the one trying. I think it's like yeah. you have to be the one where it's like they see the beauty inside of you, and then you right. end they up reciprocating. But that doesn't yeah. exist. It's it but it's like doesn't it's exist. beautiful what she just it, said. I don't know. I I have things seen things don't look for I've seen only demons. Yeah. I don't know. But, but until like that point, it's like yeah, it's like you're only gonna attract the same. I will ask the chat. Chat. Do do you think she's actually a fem cell? Do you think she can act? She's actually a fem cell, guys. I, I am. I am. Um, you know what? Why don't we? We should also do another experiment. We'll have you come back in a month. <laughs> we'll do like just just. I don't even think it's your physical appearance that's like, in terms of your aesthetic, your look. Because uh, I mean, guys are guys like the kind of you know. I don't no, know what they the category don't. Is, I, would say, I would say with like the Lolita stuff and the little girl stuff. I yeah. would say like. Let's not go there. Well, it's like I think it just gives off the message of like I'm still kind of processing memories. I think that you're a very beautiful girl. I think that when you kind of have this more. Mm elegant sort of adult sort of look to you then you're going to attract men who are actually going to take care of you and actually like but that's the thing they bore me like if i can't have a conversation where i'm talking about like the universe energies and like all sorts of crazy deep stuff you know like if you can't feel it if you can't conversate with me like that then it's literally like i don't know that that, i feel like i'm getting judged at that well not even you want to talk about aliens would you say you're not aliens necessarily not aliens i'm trying to talk about like like what you trying, evolution what are you trying and to like talk about? the beauty of how we're all here like dude we're made up like a billion cells and like just born in these beautiful bodies and like nobody realizes how vast and how rare and how great it is everybody's like trying to be depressed and on their email stuff you know like i don't know like you know what we're gonna do madison back here she offers she's we're, we're gonna transform you just for a month just to see if we can mm-hmm. get you out of your involuntary cel- involuntary celibacy just a month, uh, to, uh, a week. I doubt it. It's we're honestly tra- we're gonna turn you into like a, a trad wife. <coughs> yeah. For like right, a week. Right now, I'm saying that you have to kind of like. Hold on, hold on, just a sec. Hold on. Sorry, I am late. Lots oh. to do tonight. Oh, thank have you. Have to ask. It. What mind slash oh. mood altering substances are the young ladies on this panel using or have recently sober. used? <laughs> <You guys sober? laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is everybody sober here? I hope. Yeah. 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 I smoked weed. Kayla. You smoke some weed? <laughs> no, wrong. It's okay. Anybody? What about you guys? Did you guys? Are we allowed to say? What did What did you? <laughs> I mean, I'm a horse, so. A horse? Mm-hmm. Yes. What? I'd be horse horse <laughs> I don't get it. What, Wait, like, I have one question. What does that you're mean? You're on horse tranquilizer? <laughs> tranquilizer. <laughs> Currently. Well, we did it last night, but. It's still. Mm-hmm. So I've been or happily practicing it, sobriety it. lately, and I think it's been great. Like, it, are it's you getting a contact eye? Yeah, good. For I'm you. sorry. Are you getting a contact eye from <laughs> a what? Contact eye. What? Contact. Oh, what a contact high. Hello. I bro, I could you're not sitting, understand what saying, you were saying. She dog. smoked some weed. Bro, I'm She's scared. On... She smoked weed. She's doing horse tranquilizer. And I'm trying to be sober. What is going on here? Where am I? It, it's good for you. They have clinics for it, like for what? animals. No, no they have Wait, veterinary clinics for real. Where they have there's you're a being whole Netflix show yes. about how this ketamine. girl got uh, no, diagnosed with something, like, and she that? did a ketamine. No, not like a tranquilizer. Um, ketamine. No. Yeah, some, like I forgot what it was called, it's, but yeah, it helps her with her treatments and stuff. There are some drugs. Nick, come on, bro. What the? What the? <laughs> okay, there are some here, drugs here, here. that do have very good. Okay, so I used to study yep, psychology. Cool. We're de- I, drugs I don't, are bad. I don't think we're going to talk drugs. about drugs. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> all right, here. Well, yeah. we if we want, we can come back to the, the <laughs> fem cell thing. Um, let's continue <laughs> on. Uh, current relationship status, longest relationship, uh, and if you're single, how long have you been single? I'm currently single, and my longest relationship is five years, and I'm currently voluntarily celibate, um, and I think it's going great. I, I really enjoy the quality of friendships and relationships I'm able to procure while 
not having sex or anything sexual on the table. A big part of my entire lifestyle is play. And for me, playing is very much in the nature of fun. It is in the nature of throw me a ball, I want to fetch it. Some people can't do that without getting a hard on, which is really freaking bizarre. Huh? Um, but it, uh, it's been a really lovely thing to be able to be in those situations where men interact with me, they admit, hey, I want something with you, and whenever I say no, they say, oh, that's okay, because in my experience, men typically aren't able to separate those emotions if they've already ramped it up. So if somebody's been fantasizing about you for a month and they finally you know, tell you about it and you're like, I don't see you that way, a lot of times they can't still be your friend. And I don't think that's a wrong thing. I don't think it's, you know, screw men for not wanting to be my friend. It's like, okay, you're just not my cup of tea. You're not my cut of of uh, iron, you know. Wait, so hold on. Hmm. With the whole you you invite men to engage in your you want to role play as a dog, but you object to them. I don't invite anyone into anything. So what I said is, I enjoy a lifestyle of play where I can be casually like playful with my friends to me you know if you want if you bite me on the on the arm i'm not going to take that sexually some people come from getting bitten on the arm do you understand like i i, I separate sex from a lot of i feel like what could be misconstrued as sexually natured things but recognizing that and recognizing how that can unintentionally lead men and women on because i am bisexual i've recognized that pattern in myself and i've been celibate for going on a year now and it's been really incredible okay there you have it, voluntary celibacy for one year. Okay. What about you, Kayla? Um, I'm in a relationship. It's been been together for almost three years. All right. Nice. Good Congratulations. For you. Good for you. Three years. All right. And is this your longest relationship? Yeah. Yes. Is it a, is it a man? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> what about you? Uh, I am. I don't know if I'd say I'm single. I'm kind of in a little bit of a situationship deal. I don't really know. Couldn't tell you, to be honest. You probably could tell us. Um, probably, I think. Mm, I don't know. It's complicated. So, okay, you're, it's comp complicated slash situationship. Are you only seeing one person, or are there multiple people in the picture? Just one, as like that talking stage or are you guys situationship. Monogamous? What? Are you guys monogamous? Um, yeah. Okay. How long have you been seeing him? Uh, probably like over a year, but we like, I don't know. You're in an over a year situation. It's complicated, okay, because... <laughs> have you guys, at any point, have you guys been uh, like boyfriend, girlfriend? No, but it's there's like been, been multiple points in time where like we stop talking. So it's like, if we're already having these issues where we stop talking or like, what what's the rush of making a relationship if you're already having issues, you know? Okay. But so you've been seeing him for about a year. Yeah. Okay. Is, this, is that your longest relationship? No. Okay, is he seeing other women? I'm not sure. I don't really care enough to check. But yeah. you've only been seeing, so for the year you've been seeing him, you've only been involved with him? No. Or have like there I've, been other guys I've in the I've hung picture? out with other guys, like I've seen other guys, okay. but I'm not sleeping with other guys. And do you want it to become a relationship with yeah, this current Yeah, eventually, guy? but it's just so much harder than that. Um, is it long distance? Mm, he lives about two hours away from where I'm at. So. Where do you live again? Angels Camp, California. Okay. Um, so one year, okay. Uh, I mean, has he made, made any overtures that he's desirous of a long-term relationship with you? <sighs> yes, we're having problems because of it right now, actually. Oh, he wants, he yeah. wants and you don't. He does, well, it's just so much harder for me. I just, like, before I, like, got with him, there was a, um, I was in a relationship for five years, very toxic, very abusive, manipulative. So it's kind of yeah, hard. What did for you do to abuse your ex? Oh no 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 not, not oh, me. Oh, it was the not oh. me. <laughs> it was the other guy. Okay, all right. Yeah, but okay. so it's kind of hard for me to be like, Nothing? oh yeah, I trust wrong? you. Like, oh no, like af I definitely doubled back a couple times. Like I'm gonna get my lick back. Like you done did lick me back. dirty. Mm -hmm. You done did me dirty too many times. Like he did you dirty. Yeah. What did he do? <laughs> I don't even want to get into okay. the extent of what, it. Did you slash his tires? No, he didn't did have you, a car to slash tires. Oh. <laughs> did you burn down his parents' house where he lived? He didn't have a parents' house where he lived. Wow, that's really he lived with me actually. Orphans. He what? actually lived with me. I don't know what I was going. Mm -mm, he I don't lives like with him you. At all. He, he did. Okay. Did you rip up his clothes? Mm, I did burn a couple of them. You burned some of his clothes. I death burnt one of you his hats. You and arson over here should. 
Have you ever been charged with arson? Um. Um, <laughs> no. My ex did light um a Bible on fire in front of in front of a church. The Bible? And, yeah, it was, it was part of a movie. Video, but but so he did get in Yikes. trouble with the cops before for it, but not myself. Okay, um, so what else did you do? <laughs> it was just very. Like I said, abusive, very like physically abusive. So it's kind of hard for me to like want to give myself to another man like that, mm, regardless of how long I've known you or anything like that. Have you gotten therapy for that? To like, I you? have not. I dug it out. I definitely <laughs> recommend therapy if you want to like move on and have a good. No, life. I have moved on. I definitely have like. Yeah, but you can't trust people, so you haven't moved on. Well, can you really trust anyone though? Yes, you have hundred percent. Yes, I feel like I cannot trust anyone. You these should days. be able to. If you I've can't never trust been able someone, to trust anyone you in my need life. therapy. <laughs> Everyone in my life. Do has you trust your boyfriend of three years? Yes. No, I, see, yes. she trusts somebody. Okay, but I feel like you have to always have like that little bit of cautiousness where you're like, oh, but this could happen at any point in time. Like, what if? Like, there's always that what That's if. Fair. I think maybe it's because That's you fair. don't know what signs were in him that you missed the first time around. So now it's like you don't know what to look for. So uh, you're I do walking. now. I def after five years, I def know what to look for now, but. For a while, yeah, no, I definitely did not. Know I think you're in a building sore. phase, just to definitely kind of figure a healing out, like, what's going on. Thing, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've told myself that like a million times, like, oh, I know the signs, and then it like keeps. I know happening. the signs because I've literally like come across like the same men in different bodies and be like, yeah, no, I've already mm -hmm. seen this. Like, I'm not dealing with it. I think you, you could. Oh, hold on. Seven sectillion seven hundred and seventy-seven oh, sextillion <laughs> seven hundred and seventy-seven what? quintillion yes. seven hundred and seventy-seven quadrillion That's seven hundred and seventy-seven trillion <laughs> seven hundred and seventy-seven billion <laughs> seven hundred and seventy-seven million seven hundred and seventy-seven billion 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 seven hundred
Wait, so, what did I say? What did I say? Well, you he said was he was older. Well, he was older than me at the time is what I was He's saying. He's just as old. Yeah. He was like legal. the differential is... Well, okay, I was 17 and like he was You're older of than age. 18. Uh, yeah, so okay, like respectfully, sure, yeah. he turned me down. Like he actually came up to me. We were working out at the gym and he came up to me and I told him that I was 17 and he said, oh, never mind. Yeah. Good. It's a little uh, okay. respectful. Uh, it yeah, is. I think that is respectful yeah. very much. There's no harm in asking by shaming men I for asking in general it. as if they're supposed to know that somebody is of a certain yeah. age. Like I feel, like, I feel like, like, like that's setting them up for failure. Like allow them to be like, oh, okay, word, and walk away. Definitely exactly. better. Exactly. No, I love it. Oh, in a case like that's that. not what I'm arguing though. What just are you arguing? It's, well, it's it's more just the fact a, that he's still pursued. That mm -hmm. like if if a, if it turned out that the girl was 17 and like. You don't like, oh, I'm going to wait until she's 18. No, it's like, eh, that, no, not pursuing that at all. I don't know. It's just, I feel that. There's a little bit, uh, I think there's a little bit of impropriety. Yeah. If there's a, anyways. Um, I mean, I get what you're saying because there's a huge difference between um, the situation with him because I was 17 at the time and he told me, never mind. Like a few years later, we reconnected on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And um, one thing left after the other, and now we're together. Okay. But that's completely different than my sugar daddy, who's 80. Dang. And he's been a family friend since I was like 10. Family so that's friends. a difference. Girl. That's a difference. I'm going to send what? the asteroid on Thank that you. one. Um, <laughs> Hurrah. Oh. We have another uh, Eight. person. Eight. He's, <laughs> yeah. he's, like, he's like you in his sugar 80s. You have a sugar daddy? Yeah, he's in Do his Do you have 80s. multiple sugar daddies? Um, I only have one right now, but I used the to have multiple. 80-year-old. Yeah. He's he's 80. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um what how does that look will? like your <laughs> That would be my question. Um, like, do you meet up well, with him? Well, he's like old and wrinkly. Person? Oh, you meant like that. Do you meet, <laughs> no, do you, do some people do like dinners and shit. Do you do that or is um, it all So online? far, okay, don't make fun of me cuz he doesn't really know how to use like Cash App or like PayPal or anything. He sends me money in the mail. Girl. <laughs> You are so likely to get that stolen. I just want to say that those eight um, checks. Like, he's only like, done it. He's only done it like a yes, cash in like pre-roll joints. Like, the, yeah. Does he pay Sensor you a lot? Is crazy. Um, Sensor he pays me. I don't really like to talk about numbers. Period. Mm -hmm. I just don't. But um, yeah, he's paid me like a good amount for me to like survive. He mails you cash. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Can I ask? Mailed. Whenever the interact, like your the sugaring started, what? How old you were? Mm. Oh, the sugaring, like in general? Yeah, for how, when did this dynamic between you and um, family friend? Oh, this was like a month ago. Like it just started. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. But like, I've had another sugar daddy. I had one like a year ago for about a year. And so what uh, What does he get in return? Just like conversation? Do you send Conversation and a lot of stalling. Stalling, okay. Yeah. Do you feel like it might impact like the way you perceive men if? No, 100% oh. no. How did that start? Like, I'm what? curious. Like, like your relationship with him. With him? Yeah. Um, I don't know. He was just a family friend. Like, I never like hung out with him one on one, spoke to him, whatever. Like, he's just like a family friend to my parents. But did he contact you? Yeah. To your parents? And how did, oh, how did we? The family friend is. How did it change? Yeah. yeah. How did it friend f go from family friend to sugar daddy? See, dad? I don't want to like out him because I don't want anybody like that I know to find him because yeah. oh. it was on social media. All like, right. We're just well, you got you got an eighty year old sugar daddy. Congrats. Did you post congrats. booty pics? Um, what about what? you? Did you post booty pics? Um, no. Oh, okay. Uh, relationship status. What about you? Mm, well, I'm single. Congrats. Um. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh gosh. Mm -hmm. uh, my longest relationship was probably about a year. Yeah. And then I was single for two years, and then I gave this guy a chance, it just fucked me over, and now I'm single. Recently. And yeah, this is recent. Um, yeah, now I'm single, and I'm on my celibate journey now, too. Like, I am anti-men <laughs> for a long time. Anti, I'm starting you're a anti movie. Anti yeah, no, I'm like, serious. Serious. <laughs> Wait, who else? You're, you're anti-men. Okay, no. Romantically I, I, or romantically, in, yeah. also no. just in, in general, too? No, in general. Okay, like, romantically. I'll hang out. I have, Do you I date have women? My, no. Okay. No, um, is anybody else here anti-men? I mean, you. I we love know you. men. Anti-men, romantically. I hate men sometimes. No. She really. hates men sometimes. I hate men all the time. 
I'm okay. gonna be honest, I'm kind of a misogynist. Like, I don't really like girls. I, I, I don't like women. I also don't like I girls that much, too. Females. I just don't. Girl, I'm like, why can I say that face. being very bisexual? Like, uh, women piss me the fuck off, like, all the time. Women piss me Yeah, I don't they're, how? They're, Romantically, women are extremely uh, difficult. I wouldn't be like, oh, how? Yeah. Into the mic. I, I, know. Know. I feel like one two. The, guys, 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 one at a time, please, and please just speak into the mic. Go ahead. I feel like two women at the same time. Like, how, how does a relationship like that work? Like, you guys like piss each other off like i'm the type of person like it's gonna get domestic in here yeah like it i does. might take off on you yeah like, how does that work how does that work how do you manage that former how does lesbian, that work when your periods like, link up um, after <laughs> <life>? <laughs> former lesbian, <laughs> former lesbian. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's, i'm a christian i saw christ um you know I saw, I saw christ like not even to be cringe but like that was literally that like yeah. it literally is that way like um, you have a dream do you like see him no like it was literally like it was like it was like a lot like it was a lot of yeah um, like can you explain more like i'm curious um like how i kind of came to that like so uh, you were so like Jen, and, and then you became christian so christ then? made yes. you change your mind on yes. that it wasn't like a visual like physical experience of like seeing him with your eyes it was like more like i prayed constantly for years um on if God, if this is what you, if you're okay with this, then tell me. Yeah. And if not, then I will literally change my ways. But I need you to tell me because every relationship I was getting into just got me into deeper and deeper. Oh, okay. looking for so signs. Yeah, I kept, like, getting yeah. signs. Yeah, I kept okay. getting signs, and then those signs, much. you know, led me to be like, yeah, no, you shouldn't. Okay. Don't don't keep doing this. Yeah. Well, good on you for having faith in that. Thank you. <laughs> But yeah, uh, lesbian relationships are extremely toxic. I still have a lot of friends who are lesbian, and it's like constant, like in the hospital, you just got beat up, like yeah. broke a bottle over your head, you're in the club, you get into a bar fight. Like, it's like, oh my gosh. Um, so my, my grandma, right, she's 60. She has a friend who's like a long-term, long-term lesbian, 60 years old as well, like around there. Um, she... Her and her spouse are like constantly like. You're generalizing hella. Cause like. My, okay, well that's I just my know, experience. That's I'm, literally just my experience. I'm taking yeah, that and yeah. I'm putting it into my mom and her girlfriend's yeah. relationship and it is 100 the same. It is constant bickering. It is constant violence. That can be yeah. like that with any relationship. Well, like, no, 100%. Not, you know? Lesbian relationships like, have a 47 to 49% rate of domestic violence right. and sexual like violence right. as well. It's also and statistics. It's like, yeah. Just like, like this half of all marriages end. Well that's only Half of all marriages end but like lesbian. Half of all marriages end if you factor in the fact that they got married outside of the church meaning that they don't have that long-term traditional marriage vows meaning that they got married for some second or third reason as in like for tax reasons or for some yeah. like yeah. reason that isn't basically well i'm just for i'm just saying like 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 i feel like it might be like not necessarily one breaks up more than the other you statistically know I mean? yes it statistically is. well it's because it's two women well so it's statistics like two women are, are always be... like that's who does a poll like like probably people that like are in a i don't know you know what i'm saying that's like such a mean. specific like, group I, of but it's like that typically yeah. if you examine women who identify as lesbians they usually have issues with their parents particularly their fathers so mm -hmm. what they're looking for in another woman is basically the stability that they can't really seem to find in men so they try to seek that stability out in another woman feeling like they're more safe there mm -hmm. but in reality if you get two women who are both unstable who are emotionally volatile who are looking for a sense of peace mm -hmm. from another woman who doesn't even know it typically well, why that's they gotta be the unstable results. like like, can't you be lesbian and stable? <laughs> no, you not usually. Like, yeah, yeah, that's not usually the case. I, I don't know. Um, My I feel like you definitely like can. I feel like there's so. My, there's some lesbians who are just chill, but inside they kind of keep all of that like turbulence shut down, definitely. and those typically tend to be the victims in mm -hmm. lesbian relationships. Mm -hmm. And it's like two girls, like two very emotional people, like that just causes for a lot of chaos. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot. Yeah. And that's just been my experience. And like, for I, the, the whole. I feel like men are ten <laughs> times more chaotic. For the long term lesbians too. For the long term lesbians, like like the one I was just saying, my grandma's friend, she told she told us. She said, "Look, like these are my dating options. Like I cannot leave yeah. my partner yeah. because yeah. she's trapped. Yeah, yeah she's <laughs> she's like, like I'm literally long. trapped. Like once you get too deep into it, uh, like McLovin she can't get out." two hundred dollars. Oh, thanks, McLovin. Why is it that if a woman sleeps with a bunch of men, she's a slut? But if a man does the same thing, then he's gay. That's a good question. Good job Wait, casting the most mentally unstable panel ever. You've outdone yourself. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, okay. He's, ask, he's asking why 
gay. He's asking why he can't sleep with a bunch of men, otherwise he's called gay. No, he's no, 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 no. Sleeping, sleeping with a bunch of women. Well, I feel like when a man sleeps with a bunch of women, like repeatedly, they're overcompensating for something. They're like I, not getting what they're looking did, for in all these women. But you, he's making a did joke. Did you just get the? No, no. Was, was it a joke? I didn't. It was know. A so joke, why? Okay, yeah. here. Why is it <laughs> when women sleep with a bunch of men, mm -hmm. they're sluts? But when a man does the same thing, he's gay all I, the same. Okay, oh, I had yes. oh, yes. I thought yes. he was yes. yes. with a bunch yes. of robot. Yes. The robot voice yes. did not yeah. portray yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. The robot did not understood. sound like that. All right, continuing on with the, the continuing on with relationship yeah. status. So you said you're single and you're celibate, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, wait, is it you two well, who are celibate and then say, you two? I would say demisexual. Demisexual. Yes. Yeah, she's Over demisexual. Demisexual to yeah. celibate. I just basically don't have sex with someone unless I'm dating them. Yeah. I kind of like, not to like denigrate your decisions, obviously, because when I was younger, I also identified as demisexual. But you I can, think if you want, you can denigrate. But the only right. reason do demisexual became a term is just because we live in such a hypersexual Thanks. reality that now yeah. everyone expects you to clarify, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not going to have sex with you until at minimum I have some bond with you, yeah. Yeah. which is like That's the bare really minimum. I yeah. yeah, I feel so like, I'm like I, I don't like those sort of terms because it gives yeah. them that credence. Yeah, everybody, bunch of. How long have you been celibate for? Well, I wouldn't say celibate. Sorry, we're going back to demisexual. And the last time I saw my ex would be about two weeks ago. And you could imagine what we did. Per, <laughs> per yeah. period. But then, me too. Could girl. I imagine? I don't. Me too. But girl. then, let me add this. We're talking about <laughs> sexual <laughs> intercourse. We've all been there, done that. Two weeks Wait, ago. wait, go ahead. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So we had sexual intercourse. Thank you. The following yes. week, week, he brings a girl, a new girl, into where we both work three days in a row. Mm. Yeah, well, dude. Girl. I'm just. But you guys were, bro were you guys broken up? We we had been breaking broken up, yes, for like about two months, and he just kept going back and forth with me, telling me that we would get back together. And Ew. then like I'm just being this girl. girl in love. Oh no, I'm gonna wait for him. No, nah, dude, nah. I'm so over that bullshit. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. I'm not playing these games anymore. Yeah. He's so probably, two months ago, he's emotionally broke up. needy. That's he's emotionally yeah. triggered. He needs that attention about. So he does care. He does like you he does care about you but he likes the attention you're giving him he can't give yeah, that affection exactly. back exactly and he has to have yeah. more like not just from you like it interests him to have more in, in, yes. yeah yeah i'm just saying you should have never let him play in your face like that from I the know, beginning dude. hey nah, some of us I aren't that up. smart okay it takes us a minute the heater's still on. These dude for all, i'm literally sweating bullets the heater's, i thought we turned it off I, didn't know, I, I think the heater's still on. No, Can we turn it off? <laughs> I thought it was turned <laughs> off. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, she likes it. Okay. All right. Nah, well, uh, it's probably too windy. Um, uh, what about you, your relationship status? Go ahead. Um, I am currently with my longest lover of four years. Boyfriend, girlfriend? How, how long okay. distance? Four years. Uh, he's in Canada. Oh. Well, you live in Canada too, right? No. Oh. I live in Texas. Oh, okay. Oh. Texas. Long distance? Wow. Long How did distance, you know it was long distance? Were you long distance? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> or, yeah. Wow. Wait, so have you guys mm -hmm. seen each other? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, what yeah, about, about you? Recently. Me, I'm single ish. Single ish? What is, <laughs> so you're dating like seven dudes? <laughs> <laughs> I'm single, but. Is it complicated? I still talk to my ex. <laughs> Single. Uh, so, but you and are you seeing other guys? <laughs> no, I cannot. <laughs> what do you mean cannot? I um, emotionally. I yeah, I just don't have interest in it. It just like I'll go on Hinge or Bumble and like swipe on dudes and I'll talk to them and they'll say something, and then I'll just like get annoyed. I'm just like, oh, I can't. How long were you I'm seeing not. your ex, who it's currently um, complicated with? We were friends for a year before we started dating. And but we broke up. How long ago, Brie? Like, I don't know. It's been off and on a lot. Yeah, it's been off and on like, a lot. So I don't know. Like a month ago, maybe. You broke up a month ago, but you continue to have sex with him. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. Why gain a new body? Like why waste it? Well, but like it's not really a breakup yeah. if you're continuing. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a well, breakup. Well, I mean, if we're not together and we have established that that we're not boyfriend and girlfriend. But he's like, still taking advantage of that. You're though. still yeah. having an yeah. intimate relationship. It's of like sorts. he's he's using your feelings against you. In that what if she's him. using him? Do men for his body. What if they use men for sex? All the time. We don't have sex every time we hang out. It happens to me always. We don't have sex every time we hang out. 
you women, mm-hmm. all you think about is sex, okay? <laughs> you guys, sometimes a guy just wants to cuddle, okay? <laughs> I just want to talk. I have not come across <laughs> any of those. Men. I just want to talk, you know. Anytime a guy yes. starts cuddling with me, he starts getting a little touchy, and you just know what he wants automatically. Mm-hmm. And then it starts poking. I'm yeah. Just, <laughs> my boyfriend likes to just cuddle. And then oh, he's yeah. like, I want to just cuddle right Where'd now. Where'd you find yeah. it on Amazon? <laughs> Girl, so so in LA. Uh, so okay, right now it's kind of complicated with uh, with your guy. What about you? Uh, I just got into a relationship after like a really long time of okay. being single. All right, congrats. Nice. How long have you guys been dating? Uh, well, we met like three months ago, but then he oh, was gone for a month, and then I was gone for a month, and then now we're like kind of like officially <laughs> dating. One month. Uh, yeah. Okay. How long were you single before him? Ooh, like, um... <laughs> Six years? <laughs> Six years? Yeah. Okay. And is this your longest relationship? A month? No. <laughs> I mean, you were single for six years, so... Um... Oh, my, I was dating a guy from 13 to 16. So three. 13. Can you yeah. count like a junior high school relationship? I, I know. know, I don't count. That count? Oh, it was like super serious, actually. Okay. Right. Like, it was really serious. It was right. serious. He flew out to see me. How like old was three he? times. Uh uh-uh. uh. Like three times. How old was Long he? Distance? Uh, he was the same age. Okay. How did you meet him at this? Thirteen year old flying out. No, we <laughs> ran out. Like, so this he is flew so out. So he flew out, or his parents flew him out. His for mom him. drove him all the way from Ohio. Um, so he, um, I literally, I thought I was going to marry this guy. So he. At 13? Or oh, 16. At 16. 13 right. year olds are deep feelers. 13 year olds are very deep. Like, um, yeah. So. That's why I won't let my kids have relationships. It's super yeah. cringe. We yeah. met on Xbox Live. Hey. Yep. Definitely and, getting um, married. He actually, he actually. <laughs> material. <laughs> <laughs> he was really into my friend, but my friend like rejected him. Uh. And then, like so months he later, he just messages me on uh-uh. Xbox. So his plan, <laughs> He's like, I see you're so watching. His plan A didn't work, so he went to Plan B, and you took it. Yeah. No. I, baby, like, don't ever I be was a Plan 13. B. Um, yeah, and then he ended up being a major douchebag. Like, yeah. Miss Girl, you were Did Plan you meet B. Him in the call of I, I dodged a huge bullet. No, like, um, yeah, it was long distance. His mom drove him out to see me, and then I think he he like flew like. Once he got of age, for sure. Once he got older, yeah. yeah. Fourteen. Um, <laughs> and then, and then I was kind of like, "Hey, I think I'm like a lesbian." And then he was like, "Cool, I think I'm gay." Oh. And then um, now he. Word. Now he has a baby. <laughs> so um, I okay. mean, that was like. So really he went awkward. from he thinks he's gay to having a baby. Yeah, he has a baby Wait, with a, with his partner, like a guy partner, or she's a they them. Um, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't know a better way so to it's like that. A, it's yeah, so it's yeah, basically yeah. kind of a win-win for him. Yeah. He gets yeah. the best of both worlds. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. I, I went to he say... Def- he def- I mean, one. he's got to fulfill his fantasy somehow. So that works for him. That works for him. Yeah. Do you think maybe perchance because that was your one experience with a man, you were like, I'm done with this. I'm going to become a lesbian. And then you realize the reality of that. And then you stopped with that too. Um. So like... Okay, so we were like madly in love. And then when I met him in person, um, I hated him. You didn't see his face on Xbox Live? (laughs) No, we video chatted. We video chatted all day, every day. Like all day, all throughout the night, like all the time. We we video chatted constantly. But it's like when he came in person, I couldn't turn him off. You know, like you could just put the phone down. Be like, okay, I'm done talking to you. You're getting annoying. Like put the phone down, don't answer, right? I couldn't turn him off in person, and that was um, why I... He got annoying. Yeah. yeah that Wait, issues. what? Yeah. She couldn't just hang up the Hold phone. Hold on, what the hell? Hmm. Wait, uh, we have 36... This must be a glitch on my computer. Do we have 36,000 people watching currently? Wow. Yo, Do we? Oh, huge Do Wait, what? Huge have you seen all of us? Fix the girls. Fix the girls. Is that a lot? Wait, is that like the what? most you've ever had or something? 32 k- wait what the hell what somebody must have how's this happening i just have really good stories I'm sorry. this is really <laughs> strange <laughs> no 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 no, no. this me, is Yo, this Brian. i have like 200 let me just let me just like, give you some more space that way you can just <laughs> did it wait chat i just i just pulled up it on my on my end normally i'm not keeping track of our concurrent viewers did chat did this just happen 
Is this on YouTube or Twitch? It's on YouTube. Oh, okay. Is that a lot? Check the no, followers that's and the likes. How much do you usually have? Like, I just yeah. want to put it into perspective like for myself. Um, Is it usually 10,000? No, it's like between five and 10K, so. Oh. Uh, so you have like uh, three times the amount? Somebody's, um, I, I don't know, maybe we're getting, did it just bump? Because I think we're, somebody's like trying to, is sending bots or something. Yeah, but I was gonna say, probably. someone might be like view botting, because I don't know if, how it works on YouTube compared to Twitch, but That's, are, there, are there raids on YouTube? I don't stream on YouTube. That's super weird. Anyways, I don't know. Um, I guess we'll find out. Run ads. Hey. Unless some, like some other major streamer did a redirect, but most people don't do that, I can't. Well, in any case, we have 30, somehow 30,000 concurrent viewers. I have no idea, it must be bought. Somebody's fucking botting it. Yo, um, it's cool. the Xbox Live boy. <laughs> he, he, he misses her. Oh <laughs> it's really weird. Um, anyways, um, where were we? We were talking about relationship status. Uh, I think yeah. we, we finished with you, yeah. go ahead with you. Um, single, and my last relationship was four years, which was the longest relationship I've had. And mm -hmm. that was about a year and a half ago, if not two years ago. Okay, all right. Wait, so sorry, I, I'm kind of like distracted by this because... By, by the could you just repeat that you're currently in a what? Single, no single. Oh, single, single. Yeah. How long have you been single? About a year and a half to two years. Okay, one to two. All right, perfect. All right, so we've gone around the table. We've gone everybody's relationship status. So. I do want to ask, uh, I thought this would be an interesting question to ask. So, um, are your parents, going around the table starting with you, are your parents still together? Um, no, they're not. They haven't been since I've been like a baby. Mm. They were, were they married and then got divorced or just never married? Or? Uh, yeah, they were married. Okay. But, uh, and they split up when you were uh, young? Yeah. Okay. What about you? My parents are still together somehow. They literally met when they were like <laughs> somehow heck of hella young. And I don't know, they, they've been able to stick by each other even with like hell of problems, so yeah. Nice. They're good to learn from then. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. Never quit. They're married? <laughs> yeah, okay. they're married. Gotcha. What about you? Contrary to popular belief, uh, I do have a father, and in fact, he is absolutely infatuated with my mother. I have never seen such an example of what it means to love and be loved than I do watching the way that my father treats my mother and the way that they together operate and support each other as partners. It's one of the most beautiful things I've ever gotten to witness practically. They're like their business partners, their business owners, their romantic partners. I mean, ride or die is genuinely. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. You okay. sound very right. intelligent. So I mean, that's like not really like hard to, Absolutely. you just dress colorful. Like, thank like, you Barbie. I like to dress colorful. <laughs> like I'm just not today, but. <clears throat> what about you? My parents are divorced. Divorced okay. as fuck. <laughs> um, they got divorced when I was like 15. 15, okay, got it. What about you? I kind of touched on it already, but my parents are divorced. They've been divorced since I was probably like seven or eight years old. They absolutely hate each other's guts. They don't talk, haven't spoken in years. Yeah. Same with you, Kayla? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> what about you? Um, my biological parents are not together and my adult parents are not together either. All right, what about you? My parents are divorced. Divorced? Okay. Yeah. So my parents had actually gotten divorced over a disagreement with like religious beliefs. And then after like five, seven years, um, like they kept on good terms the entire time and still like co-parented really well. And they got remarried now. And I think they're like really happy, really healthy, really supportive. And I'm like really like happy for them and proud of them. Hmm. Based. Nice. <laughs> um, my parents are still together, but Sometimes I think they shouldn't be. <laughs> Why do you think they shouldn't be? Um, my mom is very unaffectionate and doesn't mm -hmm. like to, she's not, in, I feel like she's not in touch with her feelings. She has a very hard time like showing her love. So your dad deserves better from your My mom? dad is like, it's weird. It's like, you know how in relationships, usually the mom is more loving and showing like mm -hmm. more affection. Yeah, like it's the opposite. My dad is so like supportive and like yeah. giving the girls compliments and like, oh, how was your day? And my mom was just like, just like there. But like, have you tried like talking to her about it and like confronting her? Hmm. <laughs> we don't really have conversations. Our conversations always turned into arguments. <laughs> we can't just like sit down and it just always gets too heated. Damn. Yeah. That really, that really sucks. I, I haven't think... really talked to them since they kicked me out. Huh. Mm. Oh. Yeah, I haven't seen them for like the holidays or like anything 
Um, but I actually just found out that my mom has cancer. Mm -hmm. So I kind of feel like now that, I feel like it's pressured to make up with her now. I think putting in effort mm -hmm. will definitely be worth it. Um, it. It'll also, I think, be like really difficult, but maybe having a potentially a third party could help. But I think, yeah, definitely try and, you know, mend things what you can and hopefully don't have regrets. Yeah, it just kind of sucks because like I've talked to my therapist and she was like, you should um, want, you, sh you should be ready for, you should, how do I word this? Prepare yourself? Pre prepare myself and I should choose to um, want to fix my relationship, but I feel like I have to find out myself and I don't really fully forgive them for what they've done. But now I feel like it's rushed where like I have to, you know, now I have to. Uh, where, make up did you that. share your parent parent status? Me? Yeah. No. We left off with you. Here, let's okay. go ahead. Um, yeah, my parents are divorced. Parents are married, but my mother passed away two and a half years ago. Sorry to hear that. Um, someone else. Yeah, so I, I don't know. There, there's a weird viewership go thing going on here. Um, I don't know. Like, first off, I mean, I, this is our normal viewership is somewhere between like five, five to ten thousand tops typically. So, I'm not claiming this viewership. I think somebody is viewbotting us. I don't know if if YouTube is watching. This isn't like I ain't claiming this is our normal views. Like somebody is like targeted view viewbotting us. Um, I think it's probably fine. Like. Why would they do that though? Um, Isn't that a good thing though? Yeah. No, Wouldn't not really. Uh, I mean, it like, if you're, if it's like, there's some way to prove that it's like the channel originator. Yeah, if they can prove that the host is the one like who's view botting it, it's like a violation of terms of service. Uh -huh. But so I don't know if like this is a targeted attack. But I mean, um, we've done 140 episodes, and typically our viewership is between five to ten thousand people. Uh, this is clearly, I, unless we got a redirect, this is clearly not our normal viewership. So uh, if YouTube admins are watching, I think we're getting view bodied by somebody else. I don't know. In any case, um, let's continue on with the show. So I'm trying to see where we uh, left off here. I think we, uh, I want to get into, a lot of you provided some pre-show notes and there's a lot of pre-show notes from all of you guys. So Nick, Sorry. the fuck was that, dude? Yeah. Why, why did you do that? I didn't mean to. All right. Um, so you guys provided a lot of pre-show notes, so I want to just go over it. Um, let's see. So we have Kayla. You said in your pre-show notes that you provided to us that uh, you were a cam girl. Yes. No longer a cam girl, though. Is that correct? No longer. You yeah. said you uh, somebody wanted to. You wanted he wanted to be degraded. Yeah. And he wanted what? He wanted me to push. Yeah. <laughs> he <laughs> came on cam ready to do this. He had a metal clamp and he wanted me to <laughs> force him, like, like tell him to push him to cut off one of his balls. And mm -mm. he did. What? Wait, get out, get out, get out. <laughs> get out. <laughs> and then he came back later, like, I guess. Let's I not know. be too graphic with any of the descriptions, I but won't. he, did he actually. Plop. He actually mm -hmm. did it. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you seen it? <laughs> I saw it went plop. Plop. <laughs> like this. What if it was fake? Like, Why did you prank? encourage this? Because he paid me like two thousand dollars, and like, Damn. if he's already like on the site, like someone is gonna get the money. Or yeah. It's me or someone else. Wait. So, but he paid you two thousand for you to just wait, watch wait, wait. him do it. No, did you get the tell him to like? Did you get the money me? before like yeah. even? Do I, I gotta send the ass word on this one. Well, <laughs> yeah, and then he came back um, <laughs> yeah, again yeah. and then showed me the scar. <laughs> Maybe he was trying to traumatize you out of the industry, but oh, like, well, that's crazy. <laughs> there Can are people that are actually that way a bit? masochistic. Yeah, yeah. No, there are people like that. Yeah, yeah absolutely. There are people like that. Yeah, I know. So he Venmoed you 2,000K? No, on the site you tipped me. <laughs> on the site he tipped you. So it was taxed on that site? Not even direct? Yeah, because then, like, you can't, like, give your Venmo on those sites, because then they... Oh, like, I wouldn't know. So. Yeah, Like, it's, like, OnlyFans, like, you can't, like, give mm -hmm. your cash app on there. How are, like, are you... Do you have 
mental scars. Like he, he showed you on camera doing it, correct? <laughs> yes. I feel like that'd be kind of fucking a little traumatizing to see somebody mutilate themselves. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm fine. Fuck it, 2,000 bucks. <laughs> okay, she's, Kayla's, Kayla's a fucking trooper. <laughs> she's a trooper. Okay, all right. Pretend it was a dream. It was a weird dream. I just woke up and it happened. Okay. Uh, let's see. You also said you think it's hard for lots of people to date nowadays because we all have so much accessibility to so many people that a lot of people think they can always have mm -hmm. something better instead of trying to really deeply bond and understand somebody else. Well, you've been in a relationship for three years, right? So did you, I mean, is that something you experienced prior to your relationship, Kayla? Um, just also like friends, like, like one of my friends, they talk about their relationships a lot. And I think people don't put in the work, like, tr like keep trying when they're in a relationship because they think, oh, I can, I, can I can deserve better, I can do better. And then you don't mm. realize like later on when you break up with them, like months down the line that you actually weren't treating that, you weren't being treated that bad and that okay. the dating pool is actually like shitty. The grass <laughs> is you, I see. You don't know yeah, what you got until side. it's gone. Okay. Men are literally crazy. I've heard a man like literally say to me, like who like would cheat on their girl all the time. And like he- Rip. Maddie, can you get that? <laughs> Continue. He literally going. said like, Oh, I can go out here and like cheat as much as I want and then like go up to my girl and straight lie to her face and she will never know. Like I'm just that good at manipulation. I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. And like oh, <laughs> and like so I don't know. I think just like men are literally like delusional in certain ways. That's why when I hear something like that, now like when I see a man, like I just like I just know like they they just aren't they don't think right you know what I mean? but are they wrong i want to like add something and bring it back with like full love and respect but you also said that you're delusional yes true but that doesn't mean my delusions are mean or rude yeah. or d damaging you know yeah have you um it sounds like a lot of the people you've met have been very like questionable where do you normally like meet people um shoot i guess like Probably at like music shows or like through like friends and stuff or like DMing on Instagram. Yeah. Okay. But anyways, like, are they are they wrong though? What do you mean? Like that they can go cheat, go up to their girlfriend. They're not wrong. They're that's not kind of wrong. Like, yeah. No, I know. They they find <laughs> enjoyment out of it. Morally, I literally told that's me I know. Finds enjoyment. In the fact that it's wrong, like they like 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 it to feel wrong, yeah. you know? I, that's that you know. brings them I, joy. My brother is one of those guys. I think yeah, uh, those type of men are typically really emotionally broken, and they know what type of women are gonna let themselves. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't want to say let themselves, but it's like there's they target emotionally unwell women, so that way mm -hmm. they yeah. basically get mm -hmm. them hooked on this chaos, and mm -hmm. they know that it's gonna be in there. The yeah, no, but they'll, they'll literally shit. like, I, like the girl won't like know, or if she knows, she'll, she'll lie to the, herself. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I know yeah. what you mean. Yeah, it, it's not all men, but those type of men, no, yeah. they know who to go for basically. And those type of women tend to only go for the men who like want that chaos basically. That's why if you feel a guy's boring, maybe that's good. Mm -hmm. And you should push through that. That way you're not led by emotion, which is typically what ends relationships which is like oh i'm not feeling it anymore and it's like you don't feel it all the time mm. so that's kind of my two cents yeah i don't I feel know like opposites are like good sometimes though yeah i, I think that could play into like the coolidge effect as well if yeah wants to explain that oh like the coolidge effect like with like the porn and like how like porn affects your brain well mm -hmm. how like the addiction with like oh the yeah like the dopamine and, like, receptors yeah that. absolutely i mean i it, it completely makes so sense it completely makes sense that there are individuals that are com actually actively frying their brains chemically with either the porn they're consuming on the side, whether whatever flirting they might be doing at you know in their personal time and you know whatever. So I think that a lot of a lot of individuals can operate in a similar sadistic way, mm -hmm. but they write off their sadism as acceptable because well, I mean mm -hmm. I'm not at, I'm not this bad. I'm not actually out there doing this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when it is just exactly. as damaging. Mm -hmm. No, there was this one guy that I knew that just kind of sent me spy because it was like he was trying to do that whole baiting thing where it's like trying to love bomb you basically where it's like they try to give you the flattery the whole I, I've never kind of I don't know I've, I've always seen that as being just kind of stupid but what annoyed me was that he would excuse things that were just awful like he had a thing for having in, intercourse with like married women and he mm -hmm. said that it was like super attractive mm -hmm. to him yeah and I'm like the things that people like that will normalize and then the way that they'll emotionally manipulate women who are emotionally unwell, 
it's something that needs to have a level of awareness risen because right now all that's happening is just glamorization, romanticization of that, being like, oh, that's what, for example, I imagine in the case of your parents, since they have that sort of like intense sort of chaotic relationship, you are also that loyal, that devoted, that sort of like, I'll never give up on you. Yeah. But you have it in a way where it's not organized and it's not in a way where let's like, these are the bullet points that I need from a relationship. You have it in a way where it's like, as long as you're sticking with me, no matter what you do to me, I'll be there for you. And men typically won't value that. Yeah. They won't appreciate that. They'll just find someone else that they can get another thrill from, basically. Mm -hmm. Definitely. In my last relationship, I was cheating on, like, all the time. But, like, I just felt like I loved them so much that the hurt that of getting out of it would be, like, ten times worse than, like, it's yeah. a, it's that's just, the manipulation. It's yeah, the drug. Yeah. It's like a drug addiction. You are addicted to their mm -hmm. like emotional input, mm -hmm. their like company. You're attached to them, but you don't actually love them because love doesn't. I don't know. Pain it feels ever. like you love them. It's like well, a Stockholm syndrome. It's like you think yeah, exactly. You, you it's can like, love like them Stockholm enough. syndrome, I suppose. Where it's like yeah. love is supposed to be a feeling where you feel grateful for the person. It's not mm -hmm. supposed to be a feeling where are they with another woman right now? I need them yeah. so badly. If you need that, it's. it's I mean, and that's the thing about forgiveness. I feel like I'm able to forgive and forget almost instantaneously just because like I don't know I feel like if you dwell hold grudges it only keeps down your energy and like literally I'm so focused on like trying to just like live my most like positive like life and mindset yeah that, like I just like I really sincerely don't care if there's like a lack of like and excuse me once again it's like a measure of a lack of standards it's like yes, yes you shouldn't hold grudges mm -hmm. yes you shouldn't be resentful but the fact that you're like basically DMing guys first mm -hmm. basically mm -hmm. asking them to love you Forgiving them isn't necessarily forgiving them. It's just looking the other way and hoping that they'll give you something that they're basically too broken inside to give you. Yeah. Going to Zombri here, Brie, Zombri. You, you said you had, a, you had a crazy unique story. A guy DM'd you, said he'd give you $200 to take a picture with him in New York, and you did it. Mm -hmm. And he was shaking when he was... Yeah, he was like beside me and he was like literally like whimpering and shaking. Is that, shaking. <laughs> is that really That's your weird. craziest? I don't... I mean, I have like a couple crazy stories, but... Okay. But also that's, that's like not the first, first time that someone that asked like to take a picture of. with her. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. Remember when we went on the train? Oh, so, yeah. Yeah, someone also asked to like take a picture with mm -hmm. her. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, we have Krunk here. Krunkosaurus is that... <laughs> Who's Krunkosaurus? You're, <laughs> you're Krunkosaurus. Oh, uh, okay. You're you're a feminist, correct? You describe yourself as a feminist. Yes. Okay. You say you wanted to talk about how men treat women like, like shit. Um, am I? Am I not wrong though? <laughs> like some men. Some men. Some I haven't with your found point. a man I know. who has I know. treated me well in my it's, life. It's, but I know what you mean. See, but where are you finding where do you them? Meet them? Yeah, exactly. No, it's my type in men, and so that's why I'm taking a step back and looking at mm -hmm. myself. What is wrong with myself? That but I keep it's like such attracted bad to that men. chaos, though. It exactly. like, feels I was good. Say, it feels exciting. That's how I was Absolutely. raised. Do you have All a, like, I know a, is chaos a role model of a healthy relationship? Mm -hmm. No, okay. not a single one. So yeah. Maybe you, like yeah. go to church and find like an old married couple and ask yeah. them. <laughs> the people that have been together for sixty Based. years, like go ask them, like how do you like find a good partner and how do you like stay together for so long? Mm -hmm. I I, well, I have a question because you guys have like a very specific aesthetic, and I think this might be related mm -hmm. to you guys. Do yeah. you guys also want to date men within your I don't know subgenre or subculture yeah, or pretty much nice. only, aesthetic? Because mm -hmm. call me daddy. Is that, is that who rated us? No, they don't live stream. Uh, call me daddy. Thank you for the gifted 50 memberships. Um, I, is that actually, that'd be curious if it's, it's actually them. I don't think so though, I think. That's the, the podcast or whatever. I think it's call her daddy. Oh, call her, call yeah, daddy. okay, yeah. duh. <laughs> Thank you, call yeah, I got, that, I got that wrong. Yeah, I know. I don't listen to it, but I've heard of it. Um, thank you for the gifted 50 memberships, appreciate it. So, I mean, it occurs to me that could the people that are drawn to these subcultures, no offense to you guys who are in it, but mm -hmm. could they be more predisposed or could there be some correlation with, you know, either mental yeah. illness, mental illness no, yes. or... Most definitely. Like, I think a lot of, mm -hmm. like, us like girlies with beautiful princess disorder or like maybe what is that what is beautiful princess disorder bpd but oh, <laughs> like okay. maybe yeah, okay. the, the Border, bipolar shorties okay. borderline you know? personality disorder um, okay <laughs> do yeah. you have bpd um you know i've never been diagnosed i have been diagnosed bipolar but uh i didn't go my therapist long enough i like 
only went in when I was like about a 51 50 myself and then I was like oh I'm fine the next day ah. growing but, up in, growing up in a household with mm-hmm. that as like a very large theme of mental illness being a very large theme just without I didn't have a choice in it I really hate the um Mm-hmm. Yossification of uh, BPD, it's beautiful princess disorder. Like, no, you need help. And yeah. mm-hmm. you want to be a member of society that can be good to the people around you. Mm-hmm. And I think um, that that is something exciting to go into and look into. I think you're amazingly beautiful, but I do support therapy a lot. Mm-hmm. It has helped me a ton in my life. I, I think I and my friend here would probably support maybe looking into yeah. a religion. I mean, no, I've been to like a few yeah. different therapists, but like, like, like literally like if I only go when I'm straight in crisis and then as soon as I'm like, not, nah, I'm like, it's like, mm-hmm. you need that whatever. follow through. Well, I feel yeah. like I therapy is, is like, a- I Sorry. think what you need is like a deep sense of inner love, and I think therapy sometimes is absent of that. Therapists just like, don't understand. Exactly, they literally really, yeah. don't relate. They don't like like. I'll tell them you a story. Find a good one. Yeah, you have I to find one that's have to find you. I've never had a good a time with therapists. I've yeah. never found one that like it's just basically talk therapy, and it's like I already know it what's is going stupid. on. It's stupid. I can a, literally I think I would, and my friends and do the same thing for free. I would say just like read proverbs, and maybe some life lessons will come to you. Basically, read books and that basically explain. Books are definitely helpful. No, I, I do. I I, I, yeah. I do. I do like, agree. Yeah. If not therapy, yeah. religion is absolutely amazing. I, I, I probably like, had thousands of therapists, like thousands, yeah. like a lot. And did they it's help? The like yeah. every yeah. week, like, I was at a new therapist. That just sounds like a lot of office. money and a lot of waste of time. <laughs> exactly. But I can like figure this out for myself and find my own outlets and find like way more. I don't know, just beneficial things. But, but it's, it's not it seems like it, well, and it seems like you you kind of going about it yourself. You're at a loss. You're like, well, I'm involuntary celibate. Nah, I'm not, not you know, really. interact. Well, like I think that's like a lit thing to me. That's not a good. That's not a bad thing to yeah. me. You know what I mean? I think that in your case, it's like it's not that you're about your own thing. It's just that yeah. once again, as explained, like therapists just mm-hmm. they just give you therapy language. They mm-hmm. just give you a therapy brain, but they yeah. don't actually give you the solutions or the deep answers that you seek. So Coping think, skills, exactly. So <laughs> yeah. I think, I think in well, your there, case, there it's there like the be a problem as a resolution for sure. But I think yeah. in your case, maybe the the thing you're looking for is that sort of like unconditional love that cannot come from a man. It mm-hmm. can't come from another human being. I think yeah. you need something that gives you a deep meaning in life and synthesizes that's that's Jesus. That's, 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 yeah. Uh, can I just say also, I didn't find a man until I stopped looking. And I started I working on myself. Yeah. Like yeah. I, I was looking for years. Like I was like, I need like I was mm-hmm. like, I need someone. Like you were saying earlier, mm-hmm. I need somebody. Yeah. And I was like looking on dating apps constantly, constantly. Yeah. And like it was finally when I stopped looking. And then my friend said, "Girl, we need to get you a guy." And I was like, "No, thank you." You know? Yeah, I just think that <laughs> I'm just way too impatient. Like when I like want things in yeah. life, like I don't have any what's it called not instant gratification, like the opposite of that. Nothing yeah. good but, comes easy. Yeah, exactly. And you but, can't be picky. See, that's the thing is literally like I was so picky on these dating websites. Mm. You cannot be picky. My friend. But then um, you're settling. Why would you want to settle? <laughs> no, but like, you're not. You're you're absolutely not. Let me tell you. My friend told me, pay pay the one dollar to see everybody who likes you. And I had like thousands from months of having this app. And I swipe, she told me to swipe swipe on all of them. And I was like, oh, but no, 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 not this guy. Swipe on him, like she was like, swipe on every single one. And I got a guy that is now my boyfriend, who is an amazing guy, brings me flowers every single time we meet, he pays for dinner, man, is just man. a lovely, amazing guy. And he, he, he was one of those guys and he actually sent me like a note from like, like, six months before that and I didn't see it because I didn't swipe right on him and I swiped right on him honestly AB check thank you for the gift of 20 memberships appreciate it well okay going back to the question at hand so um, are you exclusively are you guys exclusively trying to date people within your subculture no mm-hmm. yes uh, I'm in a relationship well you're in a rela- but I mean you, you're single you're single you're single I used to but like they're just like mentally like disabled and like Wait, they're what? They're like, I don't know. They're mentally dis- yeah. disabled. <laughs> <laughs> the men. Or you know what I mean? The like, goth men? Like their mental health yeah. isn't good. Oh, and mentally like, yeah. unstable. Yeah. That's what I'm mm-hmm. yeah. saying. Disabled is like yeah. cerebral oh. palsy. They all have unstable. Like, <laughs> 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 yeah. They, uh, they might be. Now I just like look for like one. normal people and like. Yeah. Normal. Yeah. Do they, okay, question for, for you like guys. People that, Do you, like, are you heavily tattooed? Um, On my legs. Legs. I think you two are pretty heavily tattooed. Would you prefer a guy who's heavily tattooed yes, yes. yes. i love men with tattoos I pretty much only date men is tattoos. it a deal breaker if a guy doesn't have no tattoos no, like no tattoos no choir boy shit i no no yeah definitely not a, i can't date like any normie like you can't you know, date a normie no 
But if you okay, they you're don't going, understand. You're going They're to so continuously like judgmental. Your so rejection like, of I'm normie confused, men is going to you know? lead you to continuously date. It's just like how do you even talk to them? Like if I want to talk about like music, talk. art, like any of like the stuff I'm interested in, like yeah. they literally have nothing to say, or they just be like, I just go to. Work. I mean, you could introduce like. You could introduce them to your art or your the they your are type of lame. music, or <laughs> lame as you just start listening to fucking. I like a guy with drip and swag. If you have no the swag, <laughs> then like honestly, no you're swag. not gonna like you're not gonna click at all. Like you have to like like I don't know. It's a whole like bad boy thing. Like the yeah. bad boy. Can thing. I can I reject the premise that there is a inherent like uh, issue with the way that people operate? You got. If you're gonna cultures? speak, please speak into the microphone. Go ahead. Sorry, <laughs> I'm hiding behind. I mean, behind we've, we've like told you multiple times. So go ahead. Sorry, bestie. Um, yeah, I'd like to reject the premise that it's uh, something to do with a subculture because, in fact, the most fetishistic men that have ever interacted with me are considered normie men. They like the idea of having that wild child that, oh my gosh, I'm going to shock my parents, I'm going to shock my family. Those are the experiences that I've had, and I, it hasn't made me swear off to anything, but what it has made me do is realize that there's a bigger issue at hand than the subgenre of music that somebody listens to. I think it's a beautiful thing that somebody I can share. I mean, you're share. essentially strawmanning my argument, and also... I didn't make the claim that normie men can't be dysfunctional in some I was, way. I was, the point I was trying to make is the people that might be attracted or might mm -hmm. be more uh, more uh, likely to participate in certain subcultures, there could very well be, and I haven't researched it, but there very well could be, and it may very well be factually the case, that it does attract certain types of personalities sure. and perhaps there's a correlation with either mm. past trauma or mental mm. illness. No, there is. I'm not Almost saying they're bad people, but I, I and didn't, that's how we relate. I didn't mean to insinuate that they were bad people. She was uh, explaining how in her experience that normies have nothing to offer. They're so boring. And to me, I said, well, that's really interesting because my personal experience as an alternative person who's dressed like this for a number of years and lived an alternative lifestyle is that's been the attitude that I've received in certain situations, being from the Southern United States mm -hmm. in those environments. Environments, and I don't think that's a bad thing to point out. It's there's, just a different experience. There's a lot of traditional men mm -hmm. who do like girls like you because it's, it gives them that sense of I'm saving you, basically. Yeah. You just have mm -hmm. to let them mm -hmm. is the point. But I don't want to let them and I don't want to be with them because, like, I don't know. I just want somebody... I wouldn't want to feel like a project. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like, what? I want somebody that's already, like, that inspires me. Where I'm around them, they're like, you know, they invite me to cool things. They're connecting me. Like, like I want to feel confident and prideful in who I'm with. Not, like, someone I have to, like, tote around or something. But, like, mm -hmm. in private, I like them or something. So why yeah. do you see normal people, at, like, that way? What do you mean? Like, you're saying, like, you were categorizing, like, normie people being, like, way too lame, way too boring. Oh, like, like, in the past, in the past, I used to be feral. Like, a literal feral wild animal. Like, I would... The basic have you ever had like a that, normal that stable relationship yeah i've had one Close one mic, that lasted please. four years that but i mean stable heck no but that's why it worked because we put like we were okay with each other's crazy and in fact like loved each other for it you know like like so it just like works so well like and so this was the normal relationship I never, I don't know about, okay, and maybe I was like in high school, I had one, but I don't really count that, like, because, I don't know, just compared to the love I felt when I was, like, with somebody, like, similar to me, it was so strong, so obsessive, and just, Chaotic, like, it obsessive. Was, yes, it was, it, it so it's satisfied, like addiction. yes, yeah. it satisfied a certain, like, you know, like, when you have these disorders, you have a certain need and drive in you for risky to behaviors, mm -hmm. it will, comfort that mm -hmm. you're finding, I, I understand that, I've, like, experienced it myself, yeah, um, but I think if you want someone to like actually get you, you have to be willing to like give them the chance mm -hmm. and like actually be willing to open up to them. And even if they may seem like close minded or something, if they open up mm -hmm. to you as well, which like people normally should yeah. in relationships, yeah. more normally people grow together in relationships. They yeah. come to understand the other, become more like the other. And I think that would be what it sounds like you're looking for. I feel like also... No. Like in a relationship with like a norm, a normie or however you, per se, call them, mm -hmm. like they might not like your aesthetic or whatever, but you have to grow with them anyways. So it's why such not a big part of my life. Like fashion is like that. almost like the number one mm -hmm. thing. If you're not <laughs> like that comes first. Like if you don't like have a certain look, it's honestly even though that's super shallow. That's just like like 
the how it's like value. on Tinder and Hinge. You, you don't know these people. <laughs> Are you like, attracted you know to them? I mean? yeah. Why do they have to yeah. like it's it too, though? Why can't you to just be... have your niche and then they I might have think, their own thing? I think, honestly. Yeah. They kind of do like the aesthetic, though. Yeah. 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 They're maybe, like too scared to like do it themselves, you know? I think yeah. maybe it's more so. And correct me if I'm wrong once again. I think because perhaps you might not have a strong understanding of what's going on inside of you, you seek other men be- who mm. parallel you or mirror you so mm-hmm. that you understand mm-hmm. yourself. But mm-hmm. then there's probably going to come a point where you realize there's severe consequences that come with that that'll make you have to reflect and think, I have to kind of like discipline my emotions to yeah. remove myself from Absolutely. these intense yeah. situations. Mm-hmm. It just like, yeah, it just like feels impossible sometimes. Like so many times, like what she was saying, how like you make a mistake and you're like, okay, I'm not going to ever do that again. Mm-hmm. And literally you're doing it over and over. But so like, that's why I've just like completely canceled it all out. Mm-hmm. Like I, I can't, I don't have this. 111 sextillion, 111 oh, quintillion, okay. 111 yeah. quadrillion, 111 trillion, 111 one billion one hundred and eleven million one hundred and eleven thousand one hundred and eleven donated two hundred dollars a row for train goes stitched 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 uh, so you said that you were in a four-year relationship with a videographer and he ended up getting addicted to perks and then got <laughs> bone cancer and then had to get his leg amputated. Yeah. Did you stay with him through that whole process? or? I stayed with him for like a year through it, but just like, it, it was just like too much. Like, I don't even want to speak hella badly on him just because like, he has been through so oh he has been through so much like he didn't even just get his leg amputated it was like left amputated and like put on backwards and then like the foot joint now oh, acts as a knee joint mm-hmm. and like bruh like Damn. like that happening to someone is like I just like i don't know like mm. it takes a toll yeah, that, yeah a crazy and and toll so like for sure like he just took all his pain out because he had obviously was going through like so much and he just like took it out all on me which was like understandable but you can only put up with it so long of like someone being like a raging mess every day mm. so yeah okay and then you also said once sex landed you in the rr er excuse me oh my god wait okay so it was actually like so fun and it's like such a beautiful story even though like it was <laughs> crazy. like it was literally how we fell in love like so it was like our second date literally I, I met him <laughs> like the second time i met him and this was when i was in my real emo era like i was i would wear like a lot of black and stuff but I, at that point in time, I inv- identified as a vampire. Like, I was a vampire. And, um, and so, like, we, I was like, ooh, we should, wa- we should try blood play. But it was supposed to be just, like, just, like silly or whatever. Just, uh-huh. like, a, a tiny little drop. Like, literally just a tiny drop. And then, but, but for some reason, like, we used a freaking kitchen knife, and it was so dull. And so, like, like we tried to do, like, a tiny cut, and, like, it, it wouldn't work. And so I was like don't be a pussy and then like I just like grab my leg and he's just like I was like just do it really fast and like for some reason in my brain like when I'm manic like it it like yeah. doesn't think that correctly and so like <laughs> he was like okay she say I cut I cut and then so <laughs> he, he just like went once really fast and um my leg ended up like filleting over oh, and no, like, don't, like don't, no, don't, show, don't show that 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 like a steak did that was that on camera Nick <laughs> no I please tell me Nick did did you get any of that on camera um I don't know just want to it's not your fault I, but just tell me I'm yes or no lie. did I'm, you get it on camera I was watching the screen and it kind of popped up for a split second I showed it that way it wasn't that way <laughs> Just a reference. As a person who used take her fucking phone, service. please. <laughs> take her fucking phone. How did I even get it back? <laughs> For the oh, hinge thing. As a, <laughs> oh, um. As a person with a significant history of self-harm, that was, like, really fucked up, what you just did. Damn, I'm sorry. No, yeah. No, I get it, because it's like, once again, it's like you're in the zone, you kind of, like, lose awareness, and it's like you kind of can't feel things, but it's yeah. like... I don't know, we laughed it off, we thought it was funny, and then we, like, went to the ER, and then I had this whole vision of us, like, like, our whole lives together. Were and you like on drugs? Old. I'm about to go. Um, 
we, we, I did used to do a lot of psychedelics, so maybe it had to do with that. But I don't, I don't do psychedelics anymore because I already unlocked the the other ten percent of my brain you get from that. So, yeah. but stop um, it. Get some help. <laughs> but and, and then like I just was like, you know what? Can you like not ghost me after this? And then he didn't leave for four years, so it ended up being like like just like a funny thing we laughed about later on. No, I mean like once again, it's like was this the one who had the mm -hmm. leg? Put on backwards yeah it's like although it's like intense and it seems like it's it, you're satisfying each other's emotional scratching that emotional need basically mm -hmm. it's like you're worshiping each other you become each other's gods essentially and it's like mm -hmm. you then do things that are like objectively kind of harmful to like a healthy sane society yeah. that can go really bad really fast like amy winehouse and her boyfriend mm -hmm. they they ended really badly because that's the spiral it's like you're not in love, you're just basically spiraling out together and consenting to it. So yeah. it's it's best to kind of like practice that pause, practice that sort of like awareness for your own health and also for the health of those around you as well. Yeah. But it's like And see, like and that's that's the thing. If you surround I don't know, just like certain groups, like you can like say things like that and like not be judged and like if anything like people will like laugh you know what would you and define as judgment though like what mm -hmm. how, how does judgment what would you define as judgment like a recoil from you or is it like an evaluation of your behavior just not like matching my energy you okay. know yeah it's like i think once again it's like and once again maybe i'm wrong because you might not have an understanding of yourself you enjoy people around you that might make you feel like you can be understood or at least you're safe yes. to not feel understood mm -hmm. so yeah once again, like, I think you're in really good steps by staying single for right now just because you might attract people who can hurt you. But it's keep in that path and remember the value and self-love that you need on the inside, basically. I have some more notes here. You said dating is ridiculous to me. Men only bring you down. You're celibate. You mentioned you're in your mm -hmm. incel era. You, sa you said in your pre-show notes here, men are all narcissists with anger issues and can't be trusted. Yeah. I like, like, <laughs> literally. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. For me, every man I've talked to, like, like they talk about them in su such a way where they'll like, like, like say they'll be like, oh, this guy wears fake designer, like, or like, like this guy, like, I don't know. They'll just like bring down so many others around you, like trying to like build themselves up based off their own. I don't know. And I think it's just like a negative energy to put out. That is nasty energy, mm -hmm. but like. I don't like it being generalized onto like. Yes, the I whole do of definitely generalize it, and that's definitely not everyone's experience. That's my own personal experience. And like, I don't know, I've just had like almost all of them be negative to the point where it's just like, I completely had to switch up my mo whole mentality if I didn't want to remain depressed anymore. You know what I mean? So it's like okay. a cope. No, yeah, I think, I think it's sure. because if a man is critical, mm -hmm. if you don't have the tools necessary to like, fix whatever they might be criticizing in others, which might reflect in yourself, then it kind of just depresses you and makes you feel bad about yourself, because yeah. you're like, how? But I don't even think it's just me either. Like, every single to story we were talking about lights now, literally every story, it was talking about how a man was fucking up a subway. You too. Literally every single yeah. story. Well, I didn't hear one that was like, oh, this was so positive. Like, you know? I've been in, a, in like, absolutely amazing relationship for four years, and I would do anything for him. I would, yeah. like, I would, I would, I would give like the world. I would like to say that I do think, like, with all of our styles, it does tend to be the guys that we are attracted to. Yes. I will admit that. Mm -hmm. yeah. like, all right. A little round of applause for, for her on that one. <laughs> I'm sorry, but, like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm so, trying so to totally 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 answer the question. That, well, one of you earlier yeah. said, like, the you like bad boys was it i think it was you who said that we i mean is it any surprise but like <laughs> if if these are the type of men yeah. if these are the type of men that you find yourself attracted to bad boys mm -hmm. is it any surprise that in eventually down the road they they uh are, are literal bad act, boys. <laughs> yes act badly and uh live up to their reputation um but they're also like a lot of time master manipulators so like they'll literally like com fully convince you you know that so it can't be your fault yeah well i mean i mean i'm not gonna take not any responsibility or whatever but um a lot of things are my fault too but also also i don't know like they'll literally make themselves seem like one way and then like full 360 like change on you over like okay. a year you yeah. also wrote that you are a f feminist and a liberal you have strong opinions on both 
Um, before I go into my next thing, um, just going around the table, uh, who here considers themselves a feminist? Who, and then who here, uh, how do you lean politically? Are you liberal, moderate, conservative, apolitical? Starting with you, go ahead. Are you a feminist? And um, then your political leanings? I guess kind of, yeah. Kind of, yeah, yeah. a feminist? Like what about your politics? Mm, I really like politics. Like that. Liberal, progressive, yeah. Trump supporter. What are we talking? I guess. The I, I think you probably you seem like a Trump supporter to me. <laughs> <laughs> Kanye, no, like Kanye's more your speed. Kind of. Okay, good to know. <laughs> um, what about you? Well, fe yeah, uh, fe feminist what? and liberal for sure. Sure. What about you? Not a feminist. Definitely moderate. Uh, okay. I value traditionalism in a lot of ways. Sure. I said feminist and apolitical. Because doesn't apolitical mean like you don't really have a You're opinion? not super involved with yeah. politics. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say I'm a feminist either. Um, there's definitely a statute of limitations, you know. Um, I also don't pay attention to any sort of politics because it just destroyed so much of my family. It's just like... Okay. Um, I wouldn't say I'm necessarily a feminist because I feel like the way that it has been turned in today is just, there's just, I don't know. It's I feel misog like, it's like misandry. Yeah, like I have my it's own idea of misandry. It's like yeah. a feminist is me. Like the traditional me, woman, definition me, that's like, lost. You know? yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, I don't care about politics really that sure. much either. What about you? Yeah, I know nothing on politics. I don't keep up with any of that stuff. I stay in my room and hibernate. That's all I care about. But apolitical, for sure. Okay. Yeah. I love men. I love women. I'm like humanitarian juris naturalist. Okay. What about you? Um, I'm not involved in politics at all. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Feminist? Um, I don't know. <laughs> okay. What about you? Um, I'm an advocate for women in like my own way. Definitely not feminist as far as like the typical way. Um, and then I'm like also like I'm pretty conservative from just like what people tell me, but like there are definitely some things that I do lean on just because I have I used to be on the other side, so I can I guess like understand. Sure. Um, I'm actually an anti-feminist, and I oh. my political leanings are probably like people say it's not pragmatic, but I'd rather have like a Catholic or Orthodox monarchy, and then people are like, well, you have to bring it down to like a republic. But can I can I ask about that sure. for clarification on that? When you say you're like anti-feminist, are you against like the current form of like third all of it, wave all of it. it's like because from all the way to the I, back I don't even like accept women that as feminism same. I see it as like misandrism what wait like, like when wave? women will openly be like only elevating themselves to bring and like also like hating on mm. men that yeah. is not feminism because mm. it's about being equal it's not well, about bringing men down so I wanted to clarify if it's more about the the quote unquote feminazis no. that you're like actively against? No, or? as in the original doctrine of basically trying to break the nuclear family, of trying to break like a, a society based off of faith, neighborhoods, community ties, basically trying to masculinize women, feminize men, and tell women that, you know, the gender role is against them and tell men that the gender role is also against them, going against biological reality from okay, the jump, yeah. basically. So yeah, that's something that I would probably like very much understand and agree with mm -hmm. as well. Okay. Yeah. All right, well on that, you also said Women are, you said, women are superior to men. <laughs> Republicans just want to see the 1% succeed and are ignorant. Uh, we have a chat coming in here. Men is donated Thank $200. You, Brian, feel like switching to a beer yet? Why SBG not enjoy a delicious Mayflower cigar too? Oh, okay. Must be 21 or older to order. Certain restrictions may apply. Okay. Uh, that's cool. <laughs> Do you consume alcohol, Brian? Uh, I mean, very rarely. I really don't drink, but occasionally I'll have uh, a beer, I guess. But yeah, I don't really drink, so. Okay, I respect yeah. that. Uh, do you want to expand on the whole women are superior to men thing? I'm curious about that. We just, I feel like we just have more power to us. Like, like just think about like all the opportunities like women can get into easily to like elevate so quickly in this world you know what i mean i wouldn't yeah, say like that, getting hurt <laughs> i wouldn't say women are superior i feel like we're just more intricate and that opens a lot more doors to get like this said power does that 
typically in your mind or like paradigm include using slash selling your like sexuality for side power? Uh, yes, I guess so. Um, but like at the same time, I don't know. I feel like. Do you feel like it empowers you? Mm, definitely not. But the results that come from it and the opportunities I've gone from having money, like just having money. Yes, money is undeniable power is, and opportunity. Will literally bring you so many fucking opportunities. Yes. So, absolutely. can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. Do you think, hypothetically speaking, in another reality, do you think that if you fall in love with a man who takes care of you, who is everything that you ever wanted, scratches that emotional itch, gives mm -hmm. you that entire like dream, basically, mm -hmm. and he's the one who financially takes care of you, and you get to just be at home to be that creative, sounds like artistic. a unicorn. That sounds like a fairy tale. Like imagine I won the lottery. Like you know what I mean? Like that just sounds just really unrealistic. That's what love I, is. It's traditionalism. I would say it's more so like once again the environments that you're in. It's a unicorn. That's not going to happen yeah. in those club scenes. It's not going to happen in, with anyone who looks at you and goes, "Oh yeah, emotionally I can just manipulate her. I can use." for this and that and this yeah. it's not gonna happen yeah. however it's not a far-fetched idea a lot of men desperately seek that and mm -hmm. they're just kind of like women are just they don't want it they push it away because they associate those men with the men that they're used to who do take advantage of them yeah every other place in the world that's the norm like and that's why men leave the country to go find that and you're saying that's like a unicorn like fairy tale dream no that's like everywhere but us yeah like. but just like <laughs> i don't know i feel like a lot of girlies that do have like you know bpd and stuff like that you have to be able to be okay with us and like a lot of those men aren't like you know what do I you mean? think this is the only country with mm -hmm. bpd well no, no. I, I, I would okay. like you know. Right, yeah. i would say like I've been the therapist and they've tried telling me that I have like everything under the sun and mm -hmm. I'm just kind of like mm -hmm. I reject all of that. Mm -hmm. All I needed was Jesus, but whatever. Mm -hmm. I say that mm -hmm. although I understand what you mean when it comes to like men reject you because of X, Y, or Z, I would also say that you're also playing a part in that by rejecting them as well. I yeah. think that if you're not ready for that relationship, if you're not ready to move forward and say there's some issues with me that I need to address and I want to work with you, then naturally it, the relationship isn't going to take hold, but it's like you're pushing them away. They men, uh, any, none of the men that I have talked to, like a relationship isn't even, if I were to ask like, what are we? Oh, if I were to ask like, what are we? That would literally like be the most stupid question like they've ever heard, you know men what I know, mean? If men are sure about like, you, they make it very yeah. well known from the start. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, that's true. Can I touch on the mental health thing? Mm -hmm. I was told at 16 that I would never be able to live a normal life, that I was gonna be institutionalized for the rest of my life because I was so crazy. It's the and state of being a woman. Literally, <laughs> here I am. Um, you know, they literally said, like, you know, like, don't make plans for her, you know? Really? Yeah, they, the doctors told that yep. to my family. Like, they said she is not getting out of the hospital. Like, 18, bye, you know? Uh, you need to plan for that. And I, as soon as I got out of my household, I moved out the day I turned 18. I was absolutely fine, and That's I went so and expensive. worked on myself. Yeah. So... Yeah, you can say you have a million disorders. It's only as true as you make it to be. Yeah. And I was on so much. I was on so much medication. Yeah, and then I'm on no medication now. Yeah, like I don't I, they take told me, oh, either. it's a chemical imbalance. You like you need this to live. Like no, I didn't. I needed yeah. it for a time, but I don't need it totally. And I think you're absolutely limiting yourself by. Putting I know. These I on like. You. It, my mental illness now like it i think it makes me more it's crazy. it makes me more creative i feel like i can spark it's, it's glamorizing mental illness mm -hmm. I, I don't know didn't you I, say I, that you weren't actually diagnosed i'm bi diagnosed bipolar but you claim no. bpd <sighs> Well, I'm pretty sure I have like all the criteria. You know I've been I mean? I've been diagnosed so, bipolar five times, and I have absolutely Lord, none help. of the criteria. So I I don't even think that's like a very valid like, especially you know yeah. even diagnosed. I don't think that's very valid. My friend was also diagnosed bipolar for like her whole life was on mm. the medication, and then like now she's borderline. Like yeah cool, yeah exactly cool. that's what i'm saying yeah, like cool. these therapists like, literally can misdiagnose you all the time exactly. i'm just like yeah yeah for me so, but it's limiting yeah, yeah yeah so uh you said women are superior to men mm -hmm. i'm looking for an explanation of that how in what ways just are women superior just because i don't know like i think i just see so much like like evil like behaviors going on in men that like mm -hmm. like when you look at a when you look at a woman when they walk in the room feminine energy lights up the room you know what i mean 
and like yeah, or you know. feel instantly insecure because every other girl is judging you. Like what, this, that's a crazy. Wait, I have a genuine question. No, it depends what scene you're in and what environment you're in. Yeah. You know, if you don't like the demons question. and get out of hell. Typically, if you're emotionally <laughs> vulnerable the way you are, where you're that Sometimes emotionally I'm giving, giving, I have a genuine. You're question. gonna be around. Do you to consider yourself open-minded? Just um, yes and no. No. I, I'm open-minded to Way. kind of the freaks of the world, but not open-minded to people I don't think are op- not open-minded to me. No, yeah, like, how are you? Well, it well, seems well, like, well, it well, seems well, like your whole conversation that. for like the past yeah, hour has been very close-minded. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, let's, let's, okay, so I'm a little confused because you consider yourself a feminist, but you say women are superior. I mean, my the Isn't, most generous sense, the, my most generous definition of feminism is a, a uh, equal equality equal. movement. But you say women are superior, so that's more like female supremacy, <laughs> not exactly <laughs> feminism. Not feminism. So are you a female supremacist? Um, I guess so, in a way. Okay, but well, de- she's honest, I guess. <laughs> it, it depends who I'm like talking Wait, to. Wait, question: obviously. Are women superior to men when it comes to physical strength? Um, it depends on the man. If he's tiny, generally you know, a man speaking, that's like four, no. like four Gen- eleven. Generally speaking, or no, just like, for her. Like this is a question for her. Generally speaking, <laughs> biologically, are no. women superior to men in physical strength? Generally speaking, I want to say it depends. That's literally that's my no. opinion. It no, generally, <laughs> no. I know. Yes. The, uh, so I'll give you this. There are there are some women who are stronger than some men. Mm-hmm. But generally speaking, a lot of the guys I talk to are literally like 120 pounds. So like I don't know, they don't look like that strong. Okay, do you think that you're stronger you than any man in this room? You can't group the men that you've mm. talked to into a Okay, okay, no. They're not stronger. Maybe what? They're not what? stronger. Or you're not like, No, girl. the women aren't stronger. Women aren't stronger. <laughs> so you think that you can take on any man in this room? I just said women aren't stronger. Oh, I thought you said yeah, yeah, yeah. R. Okay. R. Okay. Okay. okay, did you hear R? Okay. R. Okay. I was just curious. All right, all right. Um, last thing. <laughs> There's more notes for you, but I, I'm going to try to reel in some other people in the conversation. Yeah. The last thing before you tell, tell us about your cult is <laughs> you say modern dating is a scam. Men are demons. Femi- <laughs> feminine energy runs the world. You've transcended dating, and you're in a cult focused on world liberation, domination. Actually, you know what? Delusion. We're going to save the cult thing. But you said modern. Let's at least address the modern dating is a scam. Men are demons. Fem- feminine energy runs the world. Why don't you tell us about the the demon thing? For, oh man, let me just like think about the things I've seen. I've just like seen so much grimy behavior, like complete slime balls. Where like there's a lot of slime balls out there. What can you know? Yeah, exactly. Like like the whole ghosting thing is like I don't know. That just uh, I don't understand how they don't have that drive to like want to like socially connect. Like they literally are just okay with like the so the physical. Aspect. Wait, are you saying like after you have sex with a guy, he just yeah they just hit, dip out hit, every time. Hits. The hit and quit. Hit it and quit. Well, why do you keep allowing them Uh, to do that? I mean, I don't know. It's like hard to even say because I've been on this like grind for like so long. It's like like I'm like trying to uproot like old like memories and stuff. You know. But do you think the way that you open yourself up to men generally like is if a hookup? Do you think that that's gonna attract men to have something stable (gasps) with you? No, I don't. I don't. I don't. I, I used to. But There's just like, like a lack of anymore. understanding. It's like if they show you love, then yeah. you recept, like you receive that Did love you and you hope that. But I feel like second. also oh, okay. a lot of men like look for that self-respect. Mm-hmm. Truth bomb donated two hundred dollars. One sec, please. You know what causes a misdiagnosis of mental disorder? Drug use. These e girls are fucking okay. crazy Truth to bomb. me. Wait, can I say something really quick? Sure, go ahead. Okay, because it's only been bothering me this whole time. I never want to glamorize using drugs or anything like that because. Um, if you actually do research on drugs, I mean, I haven't done a lot, but with like shrooms and like stuff like that, you're supposed to wait like six months to a year in between doing like each dose. So if you're doing them all the time, you're overstimulating that dopamine in your brain, and then that's why you become fried. Yeah, Word. but I mean, like, also, okay, I don't, I don't condone doing psychedelics. Hell, that's just like that's really intense. But doing drugs, but, period. If you're doing yep, them, we like, get it. Once drugs, a week, cool, totally unrelated. If you're to doing the them once a week, or even hand. once every two weeks, or even once a month, or even like once every four months, yeah. like it's welcome still the to the same. whatever dare it's a, podcast. You're supposed to wait like um, I wait like a year yeah. in between doing them. It depends on the person. I don't know. Like if you, if you, but <laughs> it's not good. If, if I, if I can. Here, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, Jake has finally arrived, um, so we're gonna have to do a little switching. Hang tight for just a sec, Jake. So what we're gonna do, 
Um, I think the <laughs> easiest thing, could, could we have, I think we were gonna swap one of you. Could, are you down to just get in that pullout chair over there? Me? No, you. Uh, yeah, I can. can you get in that pull-up chair over there? I'm gonna have you two scoot down and then Jake is gonna take this seat. Mm -hmm. uh, we're doing a little switch up, guys. Doing a little switcheroo. Jake has arrived. He's, he's uh, what's it called? He, he made it through the treacherous <laughs> rainstorms and the flooding. The flooding. Of, was it flooded, actually? Yeah. I'm sorry, are you wearing <laughs> socks? <laughs> there wasn't any flooding. That's good evening, good evening, good evening everybody. Good evening. I'm Jake. Good evening. Nice to meet you. Oh How are you all God. doing? Jake, we're going to be leg to leg here. It's, it's, it's a big, so it's a big panel today. Dreams come true big, sometimes. Big panel. Is that okay? What? Can I hold no, in my lap? Yeah, yeah. Can I hold in my lap? Yeah, yeah. No, that's that's cool. totally perfect. Less dog. I think this works. Okay, guys, we have Jake here. Jake, why don't you introduce yourself, name, age, occupation? So, Jake, Rattlesnake TV. YouTuber and 28 years old. All right, welcome, welcome. Uh, where do you live? I don't live anywhere. Wherever I lay my hat's my home at the moment. Okay. So in Mexico for the minute, Boom. in Santa Barbara for three nights, and then we'll see. Oh, he Sweet, knew. welcome, welcome. Exactly. So were you, you were listening to the stream while you were driving, correct? I was, mm -hmm. I was, okay. I was taking mental notes. So raise your hand if you are a um, demisexual. <laughs> yeah, I didn't Isn't even that know what that word was what? until today. Yeah. I didn't even know. What is that? Can someone explain it to me? What is that? Uh, when you will like only have sex with someone when you I'll have like an emotional <laughs> mental bond with them. Yeah. It's when you're uh, normal. In like a, a genuine connection. Yeah, don't you expect you to be. Yeah. Well, you just yeah. like don't hook up with people basically. Yeah. Is it a preference? Like, like that's your main preference? Like you're not attracted to people's skin at like all? Like people's looks and stuff? Yeah. No. Okay. Raise your hand if you're a fem cell man repellent. <laughs> Isn't it these two? Is it or no? You're not fem cell. You're just celibate. Okay. Okay. There's no such thing as fem cell. No such thing as fem cell. Yeah. Concur. Um, what else was my notes? Someone's a dog. <laughs> you a, you're a dog. I am. And who was saying that they want a Christian monarchy? Let me see. Oh what? Or sugar. Oh. That is based. <laughs> I like it. All right. All right. Hold up. <laughs> Sweet. All right. So I have some more pre-show notes here. We're going to switch it up. We're going to go to uh, Ivory here. Ivory, yeah. you're an exotic dancer and you do OnlyFans. Yes, I do. You, it is. What? When I asked the political question, did you say liberal? No, I said oh, in your I don't notes, really care about politics. Oh, I, okay. used to care, I used to be huh? liberal, but then obviously everything that's going on that everybody knows about Biden and Trump, like I'm leaning more Word. towards Trump. Don't Let's hate me, go. don't hate me, don't okay. hate me. Based. Don't hate me, but like for real, <laughs> for real. For um, real. But no, I'm like mm, in between, I guess. Now you're leaning Word. towards Trump. <laughs> what do you like A little about bit. Uh -huh. Tell me. Um, the fact that life wasn't so shitty for me. Sorry, was I supposed mm. to? Yeah. No, that's a good word. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. It really wasn't. Here, you said, it's really sad. I should have never gone through what I went through in relationships with men. They should have never been that dishonest, disloyal, disrespectful, manipulative. Yeah, because... Like, it's crazy. Why do all <laughs> that's, that's so it's extra crazy. just break up? Why do all that, that, why do all that, that's so extra just break up? Yeah, exactly. Like, if you're going to be so extra and, like, hurt me in the end, just don't even talk to me in the first place. I hate okay. that. Like, it's pointless. I'm really looking for somebody to be with and, like, grow my life with, get money together, get jobs, do this, do that, move, have, to, like, I'm really on that. So don't Word. waste my time. But, like, like she had said, one of them had said earlier, like, when you're looking, you're not going to get what you're actually looking for. No, I wasn't for. looking. Like, I wasn't even looking, looking, and I have my boyfriend now. Mm. Now, you have kind of a shared thing with her. You said your current boyfriend put you in the ER and you had yeah. to wear what for a week? I had to wear diapers for a week. And why is that? <laughs> so I do OnlyFans and my boyfriend and I were just practicing some things just to see what we could do for some content. And um, he's huge and <laughs> I prefer that. <laughs> Um, you prefer I prefer it. Large penises. You prefer BLM? I prefer I, large hey, penises. Hey, I you know what? People are entitled <laughs> yeah. to their preferences. Yep. I mm -hmm. like big labia, you like big and dick. It's all fair. It's literally <laughs> like the hugest that I've ever seen in my life. It's Is it a BBC? Life. But it's a tribe he's on some no, tripod. He's shit. white, y'all. No, he's, he's white. white guy. He's a what? White tall white guy's represent. <laughs> white tall guy. <laughs> is but, he um, is he with you? I kind of want to like dab no, him up okay. like my Caucasian. Yeah. What's up? He'll be here later if you want to meet him. My Caucasian. I got enough. No, I'll be able to look at I really same. appreciate him because he funded this whole entire trip for me. Like he brought me here and made this happen. 
That's beautiful. Yeah, that I love man. But um, anyways, so I prefer large, you know. And so I was yeah. telling him so to. Are you a size go. queen? Do you consider yourself a size queen? A science queen. Size queen. A size. Uh, oh. Size queen. It's yeah, like a girl who. Yeah, she just very large. Yeah, but like, do you consider yourself? Size what are you queen. talking about? Si you've never heard, has anybody here no. heard the term size I queen? I have. Yeah. There's even. It's yeah. a woman who strongly prefers or can person. only date men no. with giant penises. No, penises. no. Big dicks. No. What, about if it's a little, what about if it's a little Mr. Chow? Jesus might have some answers. No. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's just what I would have to be yeah. stuck with. Really? Yeah. So I'm, if, if, the if love the is ocean. love, love is love. And so, but you, in your pre-show notes, you said, you know, you guys were going at it. Okay, yeah, anyways. Okay, let me continue. I'm so yeah, yeah. sorry. Go ahead. Go but um, anyway, yeah. so we were just practicing, and I love heart, or, Mm, obviously I love it when it's hard but um anyway so I was telling him to do the most like all the extra stuff and I didn't know he accidentally gave me a perineal tear until the next day a perineal Word. tear is like a tear from like the entrance and then like it it's just like that skin like this like it's not the actual do like, you guys call that a gooch we call that a gooch like when you get <laughs> yeah, burned I guess so. like it just kind of like split <laughs> because like because okay I'm kind of like I'm just too small and he's too big basically homegirl like, gave birth open. Word. but um yeah so I couldn't stop peeing my pants for like a week I had to be in diapers nice um Congrats. and then That's just when you know you laid down the golden I had to use like lidocaine <laughs> jelly every single day and like put like Cane jelly on it every single day because it really really hurt. I couldn't even wipe. I had to dab. Good times. And you told you you eat despite the pain. You were telling him to like go. I didn't even hard, feel it. Harder. I did not feel it happen until the next. There's day. a joke from Andrew Schultz. Do you know Andrew Schultz? Of course. He's yeah. got a joke when you know like, have you girls ever told a guy to go, to go deeper? <laughs> like yeah. deeper. Yes. yes. I think I know what and you're talking about. here's the thing, ladies. There's no more dick. Like, there's no more dick to go. Like, it just stops. You, we can't just, like, bring out more dick to go. Credit to Andrew Schultz. I mean, roll it out. Yeah, roll out, roll out an extra bit of Unless dick. Unless you got that pelvis tilt. You know? <laughs> like, it's that's. It's just clicking and everything. It's just, like, about to finish. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, deeper. That's all I got. Sorry. That's when you switch yeah, positions. Yeah, that's when you lift up their legs. Uh, and then it hits a deeper angle. Word. Okay, good talk. Um, okay, you said. Uh, let's see. There was this one girl. You will not name names out of respect. Oh my god, I will not. In college, that I became besties with a couple of months after being friends with her. We found out we both did did the no, basketball stop. team at school. So we had a threesome with one of them because we were fucking them anyways. Was this in high school or in college? In college, yeah. Is it D1? Okay, let me just Division clarify. One? I was not messing with the whole basketball team. I was just being dramatic. I literally messed with like two of them on the basketball team over the you course of going to school. You said did the basketball for a team. Year. She you said did, did the whole basketball team. Oh, you did half. Excuse I did me. half. She did the whole. Okay, so. But this was a year ago. How many y people are on the basketball team? Do you think from think the. What about the best? Listen, okay, I, first of all, <laughs> what about I the did bench? two. Nick? She did the 14. whole, and together, basically, that's all of it. Do you think You know what experience? I mean? Do you think from these experiences anyways, you're I don't learning how she, men might be it. taking advantage of you sometimes? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. That was the biggest life lesson for me. I don't do shit like that no more. I don't like it. But I was just going through, like, a college, like, oh, YOLO phase yeah. and thinking that it would be fun and stuff. Yeah. Um, no. I didn't. I'm done just with YOLO, that kind of whole stuff. basketball team. I'm good. Sorry, I'm okay. trying not to say shit. But no, you can. That's fine. I can? Say that shit. Yeah, that's. Oh, okay. Shit, period. Shit, shit, shit. That's cool. <laughs> uh, um, let's. Yeah. Oh, I was just going to tell a story, but... Um, About the basketball team? I mean, I guess. Any other sporting teams you've had? No. Done, done the ent entire roster? Okay, I did used to go to the University of Portland, and there was a couple guys on that basketball team, and it's a D1 athlete team. This was three years ago, y'all chill. Three. Three years ago. So you... No. Three years no. Ago. Any I'm soccer sure. teams... Uh uh no, okay, let me finish. Football but teams. these basketball players were, like, specifically from, like, Saudi Arabia and, like, Egypt. I think you and Aaron kind of have similar parallels when it comes to like not oh sorry similar parallels when it comes to not being able to quite see who's being dishonest and who's not being dishonest. No, I totally understand that, but I'm saying that this is she wanted these some are experiences dick. from years She's ago, good. and I've definitely learned a lot from them. And I, I don't yeah. do anything close the, to that kind of. I stuff definitely anyways. can tell that you're starting to notice patterns, but mm -hmm. I also think that you're developing like um, a defense mechanism that's a little more on the extroverted side. Like, what do you mean exactly? Can like, you please example, clarify on that? The way she kind of develops a defense mechanism is by kind of like staring off. Okay, into space. we're talking about me though. 
I know. With you, I think it's more so just kind of like you're ready for someone to attack you or to shame you. or You're ready for someone to put you No, honestly, down. that is honestly trauma from my yes. dad. No, yeah. To- Only because, sense. like, okay, so <laughs> let me clarify, y'all. Let me clarify. Um, my dad doesn't talk to me anymore. He does not want anything to do with me because of, like, I'm a dancer and do OnlyFans, which is totally understandable. I get that. Um, but I've just recently started to have nightmares. Like, I've had nightmares this past week. My dad being the main character what? telling that, me that, that, that my that, life that, is that, shitty. That, that. Oh. Okay. Uh, that, Nick, 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 hold on. What? Just, what? No, I know. Just I'm not trying to... Okay. The, the angle that we were trying to get back okay, into the chair. Um, so the <laughs> only, like... I really don't feel that way by anybody else except that one experience that I've had with my dad and only because I value his um, opinions way more than these little boys. That's valid, and I think, what do you think might be stalling you from like meeting your dad's expectations, to put it as delicately as possible? Um, like if it's I'm a, on my own. Do you think you could move back in with your parents or your dad? Absolutely not. Like, I'm completely on my own. Like, my family does not want anything to do with me, so I have to figure out what I need to do for myself in order to survive, and I can't be depressed and sad every day because it's already been a year, and I literally just started developing nightmares from it this past week. Like, I need to move on. It's true. Hey, yo, Dreamcatcher might help you. said your it. ex still had the 12,000 phone. Oh, my God, not 12,000, but 1,200. Okay. So I have this or, sorry, bummy. Yeah. I have this bummy ex, okay, um, who still lives at his mommy's house, works at a gas station, likes to brag about working at a gas station, okay, sir. But I, brought him, I bought him a brand new phone last year because he was using, like, an iPhone 8, and, like, my love language is gift, give, gift giving. So I got him the new iPhone 14 Pro Max when it had just come out. Um, yeah, anyways, we're broken up. Is that... Oh, that's the that was last year, but like story. we broke up like a couple months after I got him that phone, and I still want that back. He's so if you're watching this, I, he still he still requests forty dollars from me on Venmo. Like how bummy can you get? <laughs> okay, all right, cool. Uh, there's another thing you wrote here, but we'll come back to that a little li- later on in the show. Who's Les? This is Les. Oh, Les. Okay, you said you had. Oh God. Okay, here we go. <laughs> you said you had a guy ask to send you a. What kind of video for how much? <laughs> he wanted me to send him a video of me, you know, like fisting myself mm. for twelve hundred, uh, twelve thousand dollars. You guys, it went from the price he started at. Price he started at was six thousand, and every time that I said no or like I can't, I don't feel comfortable, like all this, the price would just go up, go up, go up. Eventually, he actually like a couple weeks back ended up sending me a video of another girl and was like, "Look, look how easy it is." And sent me a video of another girl doing it, but yeah. So you didn't do it. Did you? You know, for twelve thousand dollars, I should have. You no. didn't do but it. But I know you should not have. You, you should not have been manipulated yeah, into doing no. something you were uncomfortable with well, because hey, somebody is holding a dollar thing. amount over your head. That's insane. I want twelve thousand dollars. Twelve thousand dollars. Shit in me. Listen, you know it costs. Hey, it costs refunds. on average refunds. thirteen it, refunds. They're not gonna send you that fucking money, no matter how much they promise it. Um, he he did send me a sum of money. And did he did he refund it? What was it over? What do you mean? Like, did he get it bounced back into no, his account? No, I kept it. How much? 12000 is a lot. No, no, no she 12, didn't do 000. it. I didn't, didn't do, do it. it. I did not yeah, get 12000 I got a sum of money for other, other things other he had asked stuff. me for. I'm yeah. just saying, Sweet like, tooth. bear Thank in mind, the they might do that. Thank you for the 20. So what was stopping you from doing that compared to the other stuff? Um... That I just don't sell my lower extremities like that in general. Like I, I am on OnlyFans, but I just don't put myself out there like that. There's and no, there's no pussy pics, is what you're saying. No, like yeah, just, no. Do you do nudity or no? Um, yeah. I, I mean, I okay. post, I post stuff like that's very conservative. If you wanted to take it to the you private post chat, post conservative stuff on OnlyFans. Like, not the word for it. As much, okay, as much relatively, as, okay, as much as you okay, can, well, as much as you can. <laughs> But, like, if it's they want to take it to the private DM, comparison. but it's just not something I'm posting for everyone to be able to buy and see. Okay. And the fact that he had sent me a video of another girl doing it already told me, you're going to take my video and use it for another female, and mm. I do not feel comfortable with that. I mean, that's, yeah. Okay. Um, just typical OnlyFans things. Good good times. Um, you said the talks, you wanted to talk about toxic abusive relationships, which we did sort of talk about a little bit. Yeah. You said, ladies, know your worth. The toxic shit isn't cute. Yeah. It's actually very degrading and you know you deserve better than that bullshit. Yeah. Um, but I've, I've seen these videos of uh, on TikTok where wom- women will like admit to being attracted to toxic men and to- 
toxic behaviors, toxic no, traits. No, definitely. Or did you fall into that? No, I don't think I'm, I don't really say I'm attracted to the toxicity. When I fell into that toxic relationship, I was not at all like expecting it to end up the way it was. And now like if I start seeing any other toxic relationship or something with any other man, it's immediately like red flag, no, I'm not doing it. Mm. Because genuinely the toxic, it takes a toll on you as a person and it really isn't cute. It, it's it's what degrading. What are the hallmarks of a toxic relationship? What do toxic, you mean? I'm sorry? What are, the, what are the signs that you see of a toxic man? Like a man like who would like yell at you, raise his voice at you, um, say out of just out of pocket things, like call you names. Like I find it like even when he's mad, someone who cannot control themselves when they are mad at you, even though they're mad. Like if you're speaking to me disrespectfully while you're mad, to me, it is like, that's how you're viewing me. Like, that's what you think of me. Like, is so this like, your current complicated situation ship? No. Oh, he no. treats you well? Very well. Yeah. Okay. Too well. Interesting. It's, okay. it's unfamiliar. Yeah. How long did you stay with the guy who was mistreating you? Five years. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Do you think the excitement was what got, sort of kept you running back? No, I genuinely think it was like a trauma bond. Like I got with him so young. He was pretty much all I had known. Um, I guess that kind of also mm. ties into some daddy issues I might have. So yeah. do you think it was the excitement that, that get, got uh, your emotional juices flowing? I don't know. It was a lot of push and pull. So I, I don't know if it was excitement or if it was just oh, I'm like bonded, like trauma bonded to him or... When you have this new guy who you said treats you very well, do you feel like there's something missing? Like some sort of exp exasperation that's missing uh, on your part? No, it's, no. no. Not, <laughs> not boring at all? I mean, I get, I get bored sometimes and I'll like pick like a small, like little fight, like just bicker with that's me for a never second. happened to me with Like girls, just <laughs> bicker with me for a second, like, and then let yeah. me prove that like I'm right. Like, let me prove my point. But once that's over, I'm like, okay, like I'm done. That's cool. So it sounds like he knows how to handle it. He does, yeah. That's cool. That's good. Very patient. Okay. I'm literally sweating. Is anybody else here a little toasty? It's yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, nearly unbearable. Nick, could you just crack the door open a little bit so we get some uh, air gone? Uh, mm. Is it yeah. use the restroom? Uh, yeah, that's fine. So I wanted to bring it to Meow Delin. Meow. Meow. Oh. Meow, meow, meow. You said uh, you had a story about how in college, like this guy asked you out and he's very gentlemanly. Yeah. Would you like to tell us about that? I'd love to. Uh, I there was this moment in college where I was asked out by um, this guy in theater, and um, I wasn't attracted to him necessarily. Not his fault, but he had the balls to ask me out, and he actually asked me on a date. That's something that is very rare, I think, at least in, in my experience. And I think like in general, it feels like nobody asks on dates. People want to date you. They say, do you want to be my girlfriend? Do you want to be my boyfriend? Not, may I court you and take you on a date? And I thought that was really lovely. So he picks me up, he takes me uh, to the venue. And as soon as we get there, uh, genuinely not with any kind of anxiety, very just upfrontly, he goes, are you interested in anybody right now? And I said, well, at the time, yes, I was. And he said, hey, I don't want to get in the way of that. Why don't we just spend time here, have some fun, and then no, nothing is like attached to anything. And it was such a refreshing experience because it made me realize men aren't stupid, men are not dumb, men are not even to be expected to be operating at a lower level than I find them capable to be, or that I should expect them to be, because this was, ex this was an experience that I had whenever I was in college. And so it was, incredibly refreshing to feel as though I was seen not as a, a woman at least in that moment but as a genuine equal as in a partnership somebody wanted a partnership with me and then I rejected it and they still paid for dinner and since I have grown older it is just more and more that I find that rejection equals anger equals like unsafety for me and it makes it so that I'm not comfortable even putting myself in any kind of uh, situation uh, like that in the future, you know? So you're saying that you would like a gentlemanly man, somebody who courts you, takes you on a date, all of these sorts of things? Absolutely. I, I'm, I'm a little bit in two minds here because I can hear what you're saying, mm -hmm. but then I can see that you're dressed as a cat. I'm a and, dog, and, and, so... And dog. you call yourself a dog. Woof, yes. Do you think Nick, could that, you open that, could that door more? Perhaps hindering that a little bit, the fact that you... Are so I don't deserve respect because I'm dressing like an animal? Well, I, I don't mean, deserve to be well, treated like a person okay. because no, I'm no, dressing no, no, like no. an animal? Hold a do you think that that might be a deterrent for a man who is more traditional if you're dressing like a dog? Uh, no, because I'm not out seeking anything traditional. I was simply reflecting on a college experience that so I had. So you're not seeking that sort of person? Uh, I, I appreciate that kind of person. I'm not seeking anything specifically. I don't seek people. 
I don't. Okay. Know. I'm not. So when you look at a relationship, are you are you looking at like a pet owner type relationship or like two dogs in a, in the relationship or what, what's what's your ideal? <laughs> Uh, a partner who loves and respects me and sees me as an equal that I am. But you see yourself as an actual dog, right? You said you like to go play fetch. He, I, he, woof, yes. So how does that tie into your relationship? Like, what are you looking for if, if you're a dog? Um, uh, I'm looking for um, somebody to throw me a ball and then also say, um, oh, hey, uh, I, I appreciate you, you know, bringing in a financial, you know, uh, amount to the situation. I appreciate you having your own thoughts and theories about the world around you and not somebody who sees me as an animal. I think the, I think, I think, uh, I think the issue is, is, is that men see, uh, have a difficult time seeing women in submissive positions without overbearing power toward them. And especially that can lead into like, okay, you see me and a man sees me wearing a dog collar and he's like, oh, I want to, I want to touch, I want a tug on that are you wearing so that collar for me are you saying that the dog thing isn't a sexual fantasy it's not a kink. not in any it's way not a it is a submissive sexual fantasy it, it's i are you a therian no 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 i think I like think, do you identify as like other kin why would i do that i mean it's a, it's a little silly outward appearance like that's fun. a I think reasonable this is something question that she enjoys doing the issue is that it's a valid if you want question. a man who wants a more traditional outlook in life typically this is going to welcome men who have that fetish as you already know yeah. and it's yeah. not necessarily like I, I hate it when men sexualize everything but unfortunately like if they see a mentally unwell woman they're not going to think traditional relationship they're going to think i'm going to be able to get quick sex and then run away before she goes crazy that's their mindset yeah. so i think that problems. although obviously you look really cute and all of that jazz there is like as you were mentioning like a sort of cognitive dissonance where it's like you're portraying something that doesn't elicit the type of men that you want yeah i, I think there's well, a mis she's a mis also not looking i, I i'm or, not or i am not actively looking i talked about how i'm uh, voluntarily celibate uh and how that's something that i'm not interested in so i find the the friendships that i that like pat cross my path um, in a very similar way to what she was talking about where, you know, whenever men find out that I'm not interested in sex, they don't want to be friends. I understand why somebody would sexualize me and then upon, hey, I actually don't like you like that, they wouldn't want to be friends. I'm just, it's just annoying in the fact where it's like, well, shoot, I'm not even, I'm not even like going to open, be open to that in general. It's just unnecessary. Is this a long-term thing for you? Yes. The dog thing? Yes. You, you see you, you're taking this into your relationships one day? It, it's been a part of my life my whole life. And so do you think that this should factor in when you're thinking about the kind of man that you want to be with? Like Not I was at saying all. before, you haven't thought about that? You just want someone who fully accepts you for, for the dog? No, I want somebody to hold me accountable for my actions and decisions that I make. And if I'm putting off an image that is um, uh, in, inappropriate, then I trust that. Whenever my whenever my family first uh, saw me doing social media, I've never engaged in OnlyFans. I've never engaged in cam work. But because of the fact that I'm wearing animal ears, there is a misconception because in the porn so industry... So you've never, you've never done any OnlyFans? No. Okay. Well, that, that changes a little bit because it, it could actually be a phase and it's not something that's an overt sexual It's interesting kink. that I, I like specify... It, exactly. I, I just always sexual kink whenever I specify it's been a part of my life forever it is it is a it is a lifestyle that I live I am the kid that was at school playing wolves on the park you know what I mean on the on the playground and it Do you does think not there'll, there'll come a time when that has to subside for more adult duties I think even in private relationships there's women who basically say I'm a fairy I'm a mermaid I'm this but yeah. in private relationships that's expressed only with a partner I think in your case you're kind of publicizing that yeah, yeah I don't think it's necessarily out of the ordinary to be like oh I'm this imaginary creature or I'm this animal or exactly I, I'm with a partner yeah there's no there's there's no cognitive dis dissonance for me in who I am or my regard and my role with people. You know, it's it's not like so that. So is it a, gen you think you're like a genetically, like your biology is canine or is it the fact that you, you just take that upon yourself? Is um, it's, it, it's it's def it's definitely a, a personality thing. I'm very dogish, and I've mm -hmm. always been that way. I've always like identified. What, with breed, not even what, breed, <laughs> what breed of what breed do you think I am, Brian? Look at I, look at my ears. Look at my spots. What do you think? A cheetah? Dalmatian. Dalmatian. I'm not sure. Girl, did you just say cheetah? <laughs> it's what? a Dalmatian. Are they purple yes. dogs? You, uh, a purple Dalmatian? Dalmatian? I'm a purple Dalmatian, yes. A lavender Dalmatian. Okay. Yes. Wait, I genuinely want to know, like, what traits of yours do you have that made you realize that you're a dog? Like um, wagon tail, fighting. like, I think like there's what do you mean exactly? I think there might be a misconception that there was a Being time. Being called a good girl. Closer to the mics, please. Yeah. Um, 
I, I never <laughs> realized that I was a dog. It is simply a lifestyle choice. Whenever you are young, you engage in play. Mm -hmm. We play pretend, we play house. There's somebody who's the mom. Oh, I want to be the dad. I want to be the daughter. I wanted to be the dog from the time I was in preschool. Okay. And it was a very oh, exciting thing for me. I get what she's saying. Yes. Okay, so like when you choose like a character on like, um, I don't know. World what of Warcraft. Like, yeah. So like on anything. Character you so chose. basically this is her character for life. Yeah, she like it's perma, like you can't yeah. re-roll. It's like her, there's no rerolling. She's yeah. You can't like she can't even change like mm -mm. the type of the breed of dog. Mm -mm. Like she can't. That's be actually. Like, you I want to be a chihuahua. You'd be impressed with my ear collection. <laughs> oh, you actually. you do sometimes I, oh, change the, switch up the my breed. breed. Okay. Wait, can I go wait, both ways. Hold so on. Can, like, going back. Yeah, going so back. Non-binary dog. Can we please see you wag oh, that no. tail? Species not. Species. Wait, hold on. You have a tail. Yeah. Yes. Can she please wag it? Wait, hold on. I do have a question because people who are like do that shit for kinks, like yeah. You know, um, like you I'm know aware the, of that, and, uh, and it's, it's not. It's, it's gross. I, it, to, yeah, to, but you to don't. Me, it's it's not inside of you, like the. Do, do you want it to be? What? what? Wait, no, you? I'm asking oh. you. <laughs> no, like these. Fucking, yeah, yeah, I get these what you're fucking saying, animal yeah. people. They'll like <coughs> wear tails, and it's actually. Buck Doc Venabilly donated two hundred dollars. Uh -huh. Let me get this straight. Ortherian is silly, but me and I'm a dog is not. You want to be treated as human while identifying as animal. Do you really not see why you would deter a healthy partner? See, like, she I doesn't. actually... Uh, like, yeah, like, Doc well, what a, Do you want to respond uh, to this? Yeah, I, I'm, I suppose I'm a little confused in, in this, like, quest for a healthy partner. I am very satisfied with the friendships and platonic partnerships, like, in my life of people who support, you know, m me and my endeavors, and I support them. I'm not seeking anything, so I think it's very mm. strange that I should be altering parts of myself that I am completely comfortable with, that I don't have any kind of moral, like, high ground or, like, confusion with. An aesthetic choice for a healthy partner because there is an assumption that okay I'm crazy I'm uh, out of uh, out of touch or you know there's misconceptions a huge misconception the way that I dress people assume that I do sex work that's a huge misconception but is that going to stop me from wearing pastel colors no just because the e-girl brand normalized wearing pastel colors and cat ears on the internet suddenly I'm not allowed to express myself in the way that I choose. It, it's it's very without there being a sexual expectation is very well i mean it's it's not clear to me i mean if you've actually even said that you're necessarily even looking for a traditional guy i'm yeah, assuming I'm not. Be, yeah so i mean i don't know if that's a it's a fair statement for them to make um i don't i don't even think that you're arguing that i deserve x sort of treatment mm -hmm. but i think the point that they're trying to make is could your outward presentation when it comes to your appearance and your aesthetic, could that perhaps, you know, some people might take quarrel with that and not want to date you? I assume the answer is oh, yes, yeah. but I think you don't, you don't care. And the trade-off, your trade-off is, well, I like to dress this way and the men who will like me will like me and that's that. But I did want to get back to the story mm -hmm. that you said about this guy who you, while you were kind of already... I was interested dating. in somebody else at Were the time Were you dating him or just interested I was in just interested. So he, it wasn't reciprocal from the other guy? No, uh, or... from the other guy at the time in college, it, it was, but it was a long distance thing, so it oh. was just, you know. But so you, you were kind there. of not I was really, emotionally invested in something else. You were else. not emotionally available for somebody else. And so he asked me up front, and I was up front with him. But, okay, and yeah. but so you still went on the date, and... You went on the date with him. He took oh you yeah, out because he asked when we got to the venue. He asked about that. He was like, "Are you emotionally oh, okay. like like looking sure. for anybody else in that yeah. regard?" Right. And you and you were. He was cool with it. He's mm -hmm. like, "Hey, we can still just have a nice little mm -hmm. dinner and just keep things uh, friendly." Mm. Uh, were you having sex with the other guy? Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, okay. Interesting. Uh, was the other guy as gentlemanly and kind and gracious as the guy who you kind of friend zoned? Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. It was I it mean, was a genuine just mismatch, and I I just did not see you like that in the same way you I saw see. me. Okay. Gotcha. I I thought kind of the way you initially told us the story in the DMs. I thought perhaps that uh, you know this guy did all the right things. He's being a gentleman, but he ultimately ended, at the end of the day got friend zoned and got curved. He, he did. That is that not is sure. the story. He did all the right things. He asked me on a date. He didn't know anything about me. We had one class together in college. He doesn't know if I'm dating anybody. He doesn't know anything about me besides my name and what I look like. Mm. So when I say, oh, you want to take me on a date? Okay, I'm not dating anybody. I'm not seeing anybody. Simply because I'm emotionally investing in somebody else who is a thousand million miles away doesn't mean that I'm going to close myself off to yeah. experiences local to me. Sure. And I, I think that's fine. 
there. Some more pre-show notes from you. You said looks are only important on first impressions. Um, can you expand on that a little bit? What do you mean by by that? Um, I think maintaining a, a level of aestheticism in your relationship is very valid, especially for making your partner feel valuable. If you wake up every day and you know you brush your hair and put on a clean shirt, your partner's going to be, oh, oh I want to put on a clean shirt too. I want to I want to brush my hair too. And so. Um, I, I think that as far as first looks go, um, when you meet somebody for the first time, you're enchanted with their with their like look, their aesthetic, their build, and that is what draws you in. But after that, it's like a matter of um, getting to know that person. It's a matter of oh, the longer I look at you, uh, you know, you have you have this smile line right here, and you have this freckle right here. So the more in love you can become with somebody's mm. looks, the longer you are interested in them or court them or whatever is very fair. But as far as okay. general physical appearance, I think it's a bizarre notion to think that oh, I have to maintain a certain sure. level for a partner. Well, this is a perfect segue. We have Stifler here. Ask everyone to rate their looks on a scale of one to 10. So rate your own looks. 11. Own looks. Well, we'll start with you and then we'll go around the table. Go ahead. 10. Um, maybe like a 7, 8. Okay. <laughs> Closer to the mic. Go ahead. This is hard because like, I mean, I have, I have like such different moods and different personalities that like, if I'm feeling manic, I think I'm like a million. But if I'm like depressed, I think I'm like a negative one. What about right now? So. Yeah. How are you feeling yeah. right Right now. Right now. Arson princess. Arson princess. <laughs> All right. And like I've been on a on the sick one for like two weeks. So right now we in our you know I'm you, I'm feeling sick right well? now. You've been sick. No, like you know I'm a, on a sick one. What the hell like, is that? Sick mean? one. She's, she's dope. <laughs> in Australia. Oh okay. Which is <laughs> sick. Sick means like really sick. cool yeah. in Australia. Like, so <laughs> like a. Sick cunt. Yeah, yeah, sick cunt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Americans can't say it. Can't right. Americans can't say it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Wait, so one to ten. Okay, right one to ten. Shoot, I gotta be like a little bit humble. Okay, like, like it. Nah, it's like, no, 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 yeah, yeah, never mind. You got Back it. On. Ten, ten. You can do okay, it. Ten. We, can, we can do it. Yeah, you yeah. got it. <laughs> ten, wait, ten? We had ten, we had ten. Well, you just said gotta be a little humble. <laughs> okay, gotta be, let's see that I'll switch up my mind. Like, okay, you know, whatever. She's, yeah, she's yeah. a talent. She's a talent. She's a talent. 11, I'm very attractive. <laughs> what about you? Nine. Okay. Uh, I'd say like a seven or an eight. Oh, she okay. needs to stop. Mm -hmm. um, my boyfriend would be upset with me if I didn't say 10. He, your boyfriend would yeah. be upset with you if you didn't say you're a yes. 10. But what do you think you are? What do what I think I am? Let's say your boyfriend dumped you right now. Okay. And no. you're don't free to that. do whatever you no. wish. Don't say that. Now, if your boyfriend never heard this, what would you say if you were in a quiet dark room by yourself? Seven. Seven? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. What about, what about you? Mm, a nine. Okay. And now, friend up the back there, you gotta yeah, creep, just creep into a microphone. <laughs> I'd say probably a seven. Seven? Okay. I like really fucked up my hair cutting it. It looks I good. Like, Don't say that. It looks good. Otherwise, I, I would have said eight like a month ago, but now I'll go with like a 6.9. Six okay. point six. I look way better in person than on camera, I'll be honest. Um, didn't see you back there. I'm a four on a good day. Four on a good day, okay, all right. Uh, 3.14. Oh, come on. <laughs> what is it, pie? pie? Yeah, pie. Yeah, she got the attractiveness of pie, though. <laughs> pie is so attractive. I give myself a safe seven, but I feel like I'm, I'm being a bit too cocky after hearing you guys. A, a 3.14. What's yours, Brian? Five. Five. I give myself yeah. a five. Yeah. She, who said I swear it? you were a seven. <laughs> <laughs> I, was just right here. I swear you were a seven when I first came in. She's gonna be honest with Wait, it. Wait, Kayla said yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Mid white guy. There you go. Cool. Number uh, seven. Like yeah. last, no, last July. Uh, no. Nah, so like I used to say <laughs> six. I used to say six. Six point nine on a good day. But I gained weight. I got a dad bod right now, so I can't claim That's six even no more. That's better. Dad bod. I'm like you can def claim a six. What's I that? think a I feel six. like you can def claim a six. Six to seven. I got a six foot two. There's a huge range of both. You know, he's deficit. Nah, nah. Dad bods maybe some women are ten. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Dad bods ain't it. A lot of bods are in. Nah, I'd rather be physically fit. I'm chilling on that. Be, but yeah, women have different scales. You're, you're like a, a, a 12. Oh, thanks. Y'all right. are, are generous. Yes. All right, 3.14. <laughs> it should have been 3.04. Oh, yeah. yeah. Serious. Um, <laughs> wait, so. <laughs> wait, are you the only 10? 
Is she the only I'm 10? No, 11. 11. She's 11. Oh, she's an 11. Um, okay, well. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to rate you, but you're not an 11. <laughs> okay. No, Brian, can you please tell me at least? Yeah. Tell you what. Why don't you, would you rate just her? rate us? Just rate us. Rate us. Rate us. Yeah, just go around the table. I, I like no how, I like, no, first of all, I like how he called me out out of everybody else because all of you voted lower than you actually physically are. No, yeah. they didn't. They were just out. being truthful. These two were voted no, lower than they are, but everyone else was rather truthful except I'm the other truthful. tens. Was there any other tens? I was making a I She was a ten. Oh, she was a ten. You were in two Wait, minds, though. I didn't believe okay. you anyway. If I believe you when you said anybody, If it's not going to hurt anybody's feelings, can we hear Brian's rating? I need to know what they're rating. So when you say... 11 mm. do you think that there's any room for improvement do you think that you have any room for improvement i think physically i think aging is one of the most beautiful things that we do as people like existing you're and 27 I, right i am and so it's i a good age. even even i don't think you, you don't yep, even a matter of how different i looked three years ago versus now i i love aging and i'm excited for the process of aging and i you're, find you're excited to age i am we're all marching steadily towards the grave so okay. three years ago you were better than you are now or, or worse um i was the same but different i i find i i find it like dissonant because i i don't change any like uh personal habits of like grooming or otherwise when Whenever it comes to like how I you know do my hair or like how I like cold myself, but like definitely like okay, I have nicer fitted clothes now that I actually make more money than. When you, know, you say whatever. eleven, do you th are you thinking about it in in your eyes, or are you thinking about it in like the broader society of like what other people would probably in general. consider you as well? Mm -hmm. So you think in that you general, general, like, like like beautiful, like you're really you are like incredibly the standard basically. Thank you. I think that this is why uh, girls girls aren't very good I friends to each other sometimes. Because if I if I if I, if I if I had a friend telling me that he's a ten, and he's not, I'd just tell the guy. Yeah. Not, yeah. But not a ten. You're so a bit delusional. I feel like I'm a so I feel but, 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 like if anything, hold on, so hold on a second. Yeah. When you say you're a, an eleven, as you mm -hmm. said, that is the top top percentile. Okay, like that is saying. Victoria's Secret supermodel. Why, like why is Victoria's Hadid? Secret the standard like of beauty? Because, they, because they're like, they're, yeah, they're considered some of the most beautiful too. women in the world. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're pretty, pretty fine, the Victoria's okay. Maybe Secret Maybe in like models. 2017, but Victoria's Secret has changed. I'm a little confused on like your, your but that's I would like, say that's Rihanna, like Rihanna, Rihanna like ponder replay, her face yeah. would be like that a 10. Being said, that you're talking about yourself there. You're talking about like the aging it. Yeah, because like nobody like, I feel like in like this generation, of like younger women nobody's thinking like oh Rihanna's the beauty standard they're thinking like Cardi B even like Nicki are you Nicki calling Nicki me old uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm one year older than you honey I'm telling I'm, you that it's showing I'm telling you that your preferences of uh, they're nice preferences so you think have. that me me totally having a preference for but... Rihanna Ponder replay is is okay. showing my age exactly. it seemed as though <laughs> oh. I that's not a bad it's not a jab huh? like, no, I didn't know. no you in this one because she's just calling you <laughs> hip she's calling you hip well, calling you me hip cool. yes. you guys, well it's you you're kind of like you're kind will, of I'll, I'll deflecting you you're kind of deflecting from the actual conversation at hand by questioning oh. like his his awareness of modern musicians ultimately we are talking about rating and you rated yourself an 11 you rated yourself a 10 um again i'm not particularly can you guys stop interrupting please i'm not particularly inclined to actually rate any of you, but those of you who claim to be a 10 or 11 in your case, there's no 10 sitting at this table. Is that supposed to hurt my feelings? I'm not, no, I'm, no, it's, 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 it's like, is that supposed to be a big mic drop moment? No, like, it's I'm just, confused. it's purely just a is statement this, of fact. I'm not doing it's, it it's, to get a rise out well, of you or to try to be triggering. I'm, I'm confused because we, I think we can all agree that uh, on the topic of, you know, how I believe that looks are only important on the first impression, I don't believe that any of us are, you know, walking around saying, we need a six foot five man who's 300 pound that is muscle and all that. That is irrelevant but, though. Well, I mean, but, but so what I'm irrelevant. saying is because you're, because I'm being compared to Victoria's Secret models when yeah. in reality, I don't have any barometer okay. of what world. I, I don't have any barometer of how I view yeah, and attractive. Yeah, but you don't get to dictate to the world how attractive you asked me, you are. honey. You asked right, me. Right, but but the question, the kind of the the sense mm. of the question is is what general like how am I generally perceived? For example, let me ask all the girls here a question: If a guy who was obese, he was unkempt, didn't groom himself, smoked weed all day, lived lived at his parents' house, played video games all day. Um, just neck beard. Uh, I'm trying to think of other other things. Five foot five. Um, I mean, some of these are not really related to physical attractiveness. But if he claimed he was a ten, would you guys like co-sign that like and just be like, yeah, he's a ten? That just makes no. no sense to me. Why? Why would I sit there and, and be like? 
hey, what do you think you are? And then somebody say, well, this is how I view myself. And you go, well, screw you. You're actually not. Like, it's just a very no. strange well, I mean, it, it depends if you're having a round table conversation about it. But, okay, so really. am I an overweight older man who has a neck beard who smokes weed and is ungrooming himself? No. That's I, kind of a... Like, you make dumb. really, kind like, of a silly bad point. faith. You yeah. make really bad faith, disingenuous I don't, arguments. I don't mean to... I'm, I'm saying... Mean to yeah, that. no, but... But you're saying, am I calling you that? No, but I'm trying to use an extreme to try to articulate a point. Uh -huh. We can all agree that some people are more attractive than others, yeah. correct? Yes. Oh, oh, yes, okay. Have you girls never rated men on their physical appearance? Like, yes. physical appearance means <laughs> nothing to I'm, you. I'm, I'm very... I'm, I'm definitely... Uh, so I said I... That physical looks. This started because I made the assertion that phys I believe physical looks are only important on the first go, and mm -hmm. now you're insinuating. Do do women even like rate men? I'm I'm confused on how we got here. I, I think suppose. women don't tend to Hold have on. as like constructive of like a scale borderline. As men do. Yeah. I think I think oh, sorry. I think women don't really have that structured of a scale as men do. I think that they tend to value like. For example, you like the bad boys, you like a particular type of men. We all have our specific type, and so based off of that is what we're going to consider a 10. But we don't really Yeah, it's, it's more based on yeah. a type, whereas for men, it, there's, a, there's a beauty standard set for the world, mm -hmm. which is Victoria's Secret model, which is artists, and that makes sense yeah, as to why you would Yeah, the thing is as well, that. I rated myself a 7. I think Brian was maybe a little bit harsh with the 5. But men, we have to kind of understand that. Because if I walk around saying I'm a 10 and I'm flawless, then my friends will look at me like you are a delusional idiot mm -hmm. and this is what girls don't have and then you sort of like argue to the girls about the fact no I am 11 because of my I'm not telling it any doesn't other matter about your subjective opinion you're I, simply not a I, 10 I, I, I've, I've never once been a girls girl oh my god you're so pretty no 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 you're so pretty bestie like I can't stand whenever that women have that kind of like like attitude I guess what do you mean? Um, this of is, like what this is genuinely not making any sense to me That's because not no sense to me no this is genuinely not making any sense to me because he asked us what we would rate ourselves and and then he said, um, because, well, in his head, there's no Rihanna sitting at this table. There's no, no Bella Hadid. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let me finish. I'm so sorry. Yeah. So then he's saying that there's no tens at this table. All I'm saying is, okay. Because exactly. in his opinion, there's no Rihanna or there's no Bella Hadid. So there's no 10 to him at this table. Precisely. So I'm perfectly so fine with that So you're 11 to you. So then yeah. there is a 10 at this table to you. See, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm very confused by the, by the, by the like, assertion of the premise that I need to agree and like, I need to concede. Okay, fine. I'm really not. When you asked my honest opinion and I gave my honest opinion, I think Physically. So your honest your honest opinion is you're ranking yourself an eleven. You are on par with the most beautiful women in the that world. There's no women. Yes. There's no women that are more attractive than you. You're just. The, I've never. I, the I honestly think that's. Really I honestly think that's very of. beautiful. I think it's very beautiful for a woman to look at herself and mm -hmm. call herself the most beautiful. Yeah. Woman okay. In the world. Okay. But I think that, that is, is totally and utterly unattractive. Quick, if a woman looks at herself in the mirror and says, right. "I'm no, the most beautiful," hold on a second. Hold on. Stop interrupting. Go ahead. If if somebody looks at themselves in the mirror and says, "I'm the most beautiful woman in the world," you think that that's attractive. See that's where yes. you're wrong. Others. See, that's where you're wrong. You see, this is why girls shouldn't be friends with each other. They no, need they, they need brothers and they need this fathers to put them in their place father about no. My father always told me that shit. Yeah, my father yeah. figure raised me to know my so, worth, and so because I know my value and I'm asserting so my value is, at a table, this that is I'm where you're wrong. Though this is where you're wrong, though, because okay, I'm not me. saying that you're looking yourself in the mirror and thinking that your eye shape is perfect, your nose shape is but perfect. But that is what it means to be the most beautiful woman in the world. No, 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 no. Being the most beautiful woman in the world of the inside and out. Being a woman. But we just you, said on physical. We just said on physical looks. Table. We weren't. I know, but she's hey, saying she's the most beautiful. Hey, scoot your mic to the edge of the table, oh, sorry. please. She's saying she's the most beautiful woman in the world. I mean, if you want to take a tape measure to my waist size, to my lip physical. size, to the way that my nose is, the, my my. I don't jaw, have to because I can look at you to. and see that you're not a ten. If a man okay, was to fair. sit here, Les, no, no, no. Les wants to go. Go ahead. If a man was to sit here and tell us all he's a ten, no, all of us knowing damn well he's not a ten, you think. Us as females is not going to sit here. And no, be like, because you're females. No, no. What I'm saying. You is, won't do it because you're not honest. Let her finish. I will straight She's up tell you guys 100%. No, you are not a 10. <laughs> We're asking for the general population. I, I will. Wouldn't say that. Like I, I genuinely, I agree with them because. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> If, if a man wants to sit here in our face and claim that he's a whole 10 when everyone here knows he's not a 10, obviously, like that's just, that's just a general population of what they're thinking like but you'll probably covertly it's not just communicate to you, it's it just not the, to yourself the market the, the dating marketplace determines your value right it's right. not that, you I, don't, 
That's you don't get God to self determine. Value, but do you think there's only okay? One I'm not talking about your though. your value in terms of. But that's of, how I see myself. No, but and I'm like not. That's okay, wasn't but, the question. But, but if we're we're talking about physical, we're, we're talking about the dating marketplace. I'm okay. not talking about your value as a human. I'm talking about your value on the in the dating marketplace. Okay. And I think we can all agree there are some potential partners that might be more optimal. Uh, partner choices than others and so we would evaluate that and perhaps rank order them oh here here look you have an option of two people you find one more attractive it could be physical it could be personality it could be status it could be all sorts of things you've just made like a a some to some degree a judgment on that person maybe it's a one and a zero it's a yes or a no that is a judgment in its own right and then if you have enough people leaning more towards giving a yes to say person a versus person b then you can rank order them and then if you have a hundred people then you start rank ordering them and that would be your value in the dating marketplace and I, we're talking specifically when it comes to just so looks. Why what, are you what, so, so, what, so what, um, what are you asking me now? No, he's just uh, he's outlining to you that the fact that this is like a this is something that we can actually quantify. We can oh, quantify well, people. Here, let me, okay. let me ask you a question. So, yeah. let's say we lined up ten thousand men, okay. and those men were all un, unbiased, and they were all tasked with ranking you on a scale of one to ten. Okay. And if the I don't know if it would be the mean or the average, but they came to the conclusion that you're a seven. Mm -hmm. 10,000 men, Okay, that's the sample size. Would you be like, well, that seems pretty reasonable. 10,000 men have rated me. I'm in, I must be, I'm likely to be a seven. Those are 10,000 different like worldviews and experiences. That's 10,000 different people who view different. Uh, so that's 10,000 people where one can say, okay, the Victoria's Secret beauty model is the standard. And then there's another person that says, oh, actually the person who's playing on Euphoria or on HBO is actually a beauty standard. Yeah, so they'd both be pretty hot. So it, see, it, it seems very, conf I guess the, 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 the root of the, this matter seems very voice. confusing. What she's trying yeah, to no, say. No, no, what, what, do you, do you want me to but, admit that I'm unattractive in a way that no, no, I don't no, agree no. with? I'm confused. No, no, no. we're like, just simply pointing out the delusion in your view on yourself. That's can all. I interject So something? when you, when you <laughs> take 10,000 people, it's a little let's, let's, let's say delusion. that there's like a perfectly even cross section of the population, mm. people from all different walks of life, mm, and they sorry. were all to come to the consensus that you were a seven, would you accept it? Are you okay? Like, what? why are you okay. so it's trying to like convince? No, no, I'm, okay. no, I'm, 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 I'm very, I'm very, I, I, but, 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 I think, but I think why don't you actually answer his question and engage in good faith instead of like trying to say, are you okay? Who hurt you? Well, like actually just I didn't answer his ask, question. I'm confused because I feel very targeted because two other women on this on this panel also said, oh, I see that myself as 10, so why are we not continuing? She said her boyfriend sees her as a 10. Back. And she was just, she was, she, I, I didn't really believe She's not really said pushing. It. I, I mean, I you were encouraged. Sometimes. Grade we got one some motorsports like, donated $200. Uh, the win, uh, M8. It is rare to see so many mid, unmarried, single, boring, plain Jane central casting reject females oh. argue they are mega hot. Oh, For okay, sake, yeah. ladies, less drugs. More reality. Okay, all right, okay. grid one more words. Okay. Thank I you. Don't speak for all of us, for real. Okay. Yeah, don't speak for all of us, for real. Beauty is very subjective, and no, it's not. Beauty is objective. There's an objective. There's okay. There is. An okay, can I say that there is like there is an objective, for men. but that objective changes throughout the world too. Like in, let's uh, say you go to Africa, they. You're not gonna make they, this. Okay. Well, no, no, no. I am. <laughs> She's maybe valid. Africa, thing. women that are bigger are typically seen as more attractive. Cool. Over We're not here, in Africa. We are in America. How, how about how about yeah. if okay, I well, how about if I carve world. out? Let me carve out the caveat. <laughs> we'll just talk about the United States. Okay. Let's just talk okay, about the United States. Okay, that's a better. We yeah, can even like talk, Western. Yeah, but I don't give a fuck what some tribe. Like I don't <laughs> care. Like we can always, okay, wait, we can always question. try to reach to What's some extreme. Like, oh, would like some tribe in fucking uh, in, it's not in, just in a tribe, fucking it's Mozambique no, I, I find do, me attractive? I, yeah, yeah like, dude, <laughs> Mozambique bitches fucking think I'm a ten. Dope, bro. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I ain't okay, ever honestly, going honestly, to Mozambique. That was funny. Okay, that was I'm on your side. I'm on you're your side. I know that there is an objective beauty, but I'm saying it can definitely change. I it's do get not, what you're saying. You're it's saying not like, concrete to Western beauty right, standards sure. everywhere in the world. So you're okay. saying like in Jamaica, for example, they like chubby white girls. Yeah, you if a chubby it. white girl goes to Jamaica, she's not safe on the beach. Right? I have no idea what their beauty standards are, but I know that there are different beauty standards around the world. But what I'm saying, okay, and then I wanted to explain to her, look, <laughs> Yes, there is objective beauty standards. Somebody please give me a Like, Tylenol. you know, as far as the West goes, right? The West, you know, as far as the West goes, 
yes, there are objective beauty standards and what they're just trying to say, you know, that's where I got thrown off was because he said, you can't dictate to the rest of the yeah. world, right, what you are. That's why I got confused. I, I, was, I was confused like, I, Here, as well. how about, yeah. here's another thought experiment. Let's say we lined up, it could be 10,000 men, 10,000 women. Okay. And then there was 10,000 men and 10,000 women all judging them and rating them and rank ordering them from like, maybe it's, it'd be easier to like conceptualize this if we use 100. Let's say you, you had 100 people in front of you, varying differences when it comes to their physical appearance. And then we had like 10,000 people all rank ordering them from most attractive to least attractive. Now, granted, some people might put this person more attractive than this, but I would suspect, and I, I'm hoping, well, I don't know if you guys will agree on this, do you think, though, that, you know, there's going to be a cohort of people that tend to be gravitate towards the top? Like, I, yes. like 10,000 yeah. people, I, I see what you're like, saying. they're going to, like, I, I, I'm understanding they're going to kind of <laughs> fall yeah. within, like, a uh, margin of error, basically. Sure, sure. Because because now that we're talking about, like, statistically and, mm -hmm. like, versus, like, oh, what do you just casually rate yourself? Here, I've got another so question. So, I, well, I, I oh. Yeah. Oh, do you want to respond to that? Well, sure. I was going to say, I was going to say, if we're talking about the objective Western beauty standards, if, if you put up... If you put a picture of, let's say, Sabrina Carpenter, Paris Hilton, and Paris Hilton, do you not think she's gorgeous? Back in her day, are you crazy? Back in her day, okay. she was great. She's oh, no. incredible. <laughs> Paris is amazing. I, there, Bella, Bella, Bella Hadid. Hadid. You said, you, are, you said G, uh, did you say Gigi Hadid? For I have no idea. Who uh, you, I think you said one of the Hadid girls. <laughs> no. I said uh, Rihanna. Ponder replay. I said hey, Bella Hadid. Hadid. Oh, Rihanna. 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 She said Bella Hadid. Uh, but the, you know, if we're talking objectively, like Western standards, okay, larger lips, higher cheekbones, slimmer jawline, smaller waist, larger tits. I, I, there are facets of my physical being that I align with that. So it makes sense for my thought pattern to look in the mirror and say, oh, yes, this is what Western beauty standards are telling me is beautiful. Of course. But, I, okay, so I the thing that. is, you've been talking for like five minutes. You started getting emotional. Everyone started getting emotional. They're Ooh. baiting you. They want right. you to... Just no, say I'm yes, not sir. Bait. Just say no, yes, I'm not. sir. I'm not whatever baiting anyone. Whatever you say is the law. Whatever you, no, 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 whatever you no, think no, no, no. is truth. Listen, and that's listen. It. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I'm not baiting not anyone. Because I said it's, okay. It, it's simp no, exactly. it's simply. Just, just, yes. Were you talking about Hold me? on. A, no, not you. Hold on a second. Okay. Hold on a second. I'm not baiting anyone. It's just, it's objective that beauty actually operates on somewhat of a bell curve. Most people are normal. Is that your code? Like 70. No, yes, sir, of course. Can what I was that? interject something? So, so, so about 70, 80% of people are probably going to fall between like the four and seven sort of mark. And then it's going to really thin out towards the end. So when we're talking about nines and tens, they, like, if you ever see a 10, they're a head turner. If you ever see a one, it ruins your day. Yeah. You know? no. What? Yeah. So. I don't think about people like, what? Yeah, you haven't seen a one then. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, I'm so angry. <laughs> I, that's like, <laughs> um, horrendous. Can like, I please like interject something? Yes, please. So I'm kind of surprised that other people haven't like arrived at this already. But it's so you guys yes. are seeming to have like a much more logical, objective approach to a beauty standard, mm -hmm. and some of the other girls are holding themselves to a much more loose, less rigid. Yeah. Yes, queen. It yeah. is yeah. yeah. subjective. And it's, like, yeah, like sure. Ten but it's just like, ten, you know? don't hate the player, hate the game. You know, okay, I definitely think there's limitations the on beauty standards. Of, like, no, I understand the difference, but that's why it's a debate that. because we have our differences. And that's the difference then, between the female brain and the male but brain. But it's not a debate if you ask my opinion and then you say you're wrong, you're wrong. You're. It's like why I, yeah, I was waiting actually, for the okay. Let's move that on. Was a actually, the way that the conversation works is you say what you think, I say what I think. I substantiate it with whatever like the metrics are that I use. You substantiate it with whatever the metrics are that you yeah. use, and then we let everybody decide who's right. But what happened was I was substantiating, and you were just saying, "Oh, what's wrong with you? I feel You're but, triggered. No, I, you were just I, shaming." Well, no, no, can girl, I, can say I, okay. Well, can, well, oh, can I? Well, hold girl, on. I just, I just want to say, be, just say okay. Because the reality is, I specified. You asked about statistical comparison as far as the beauty standard, so I specified. Okay, are you asking about the size of my lips, my my cheekbones? Like I, 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 I did, I did engage with you equally. You just didn't like my answer, and that's no, no. okay. Wait, can so we ask them? So here's think? a question. So going back to my previous example, if 10,000 people rated you a seven, would that change your answer? Or would you say, I reject the mm -hmm. estimation of 10,000 people. I reject that. I'm still a 10. I, Are you going to? I literally just asked her a question. Go ahead. I, I, I'm, I'm confused. What like, is confusing? If, if like 100,000 people, we did a poll. We did a okay. poll. 100,000 people, and they rated you a seven, would that give you any reason to change your self-assessment 
Could your self-assessment be wrong? Why, why would I change my self-assessment based on the opinions of other people that don't... Reality. That, like hit just hard sometimes. reality, well, that's truth. The thing is, I think that's you're using your reality, a scale that people reality don't usually different. use in you're real looking life. At like, it there is like an a, objective scale. But I don't think like it matters. I don't care what 10,000 people think. Yeah, we're not I, saying I that care. she's not going to be able to find a yeah. partner. No, I'm not that's saying not that what you we're are. arguing. It's just like, I don't know. It's like rounding 10,000 people to judge her is just never going to happen. That's why there's a distance. It's a hypothetical. It depends what 10,000 people you use, too. Like, literally, she could be someone's No, I. Can I? If if it's like a, if it's like a uh, what's the term if you're like doing a study and you have like a a wide a swath of, of of a different cross section of different people yeah I mean uh, ten thousand is such a significant sample size it would be that would be a significant study. that's a huge a lot of studies it's like what a thousand yeah. people they'll fucking be able to yeah. get fairly accurate yeah. results yeah. off of like I would be thousand. grateful to get a seven out of ten thousand people <laughs> yeah. that's I would be grateful for that I think see but I think she's objectively a ten like I actually think she's objectively same, a ten same. though I genuinely do you, do you think it's, I feel do you think it's the aesthetic or do you think it's like actually her wait, actual wait, physical wait, like appearance? I but just think look at that her she's facial structures I think she's a, she's a beautiful okay, girl we're not saying that she's not a Mm-hmm. But I'm not. But I, just don't I, know, I know, but a ten. Like I mean, but like I. Objective scale. We like on an objective scale. Please into yeah. mic. Oh, sorry. There's definitely limitations on the beauty standard, like you guys said. Like, mm. there, you st- at some point you you can't reach an eight or a nine because Rihanna is an eight or a nine, and you you just you don't touch mm. that status. And it's not like it's not like a thing where it's like oh like oh I don't yeah. I'm not I'm not that pretty. And, and like, as a guy, you can't if you're below six foot as a guy, you're never gonna get above like maybe a seven or so unless right. you That's are just not strikingly true. handsome. It it just goes off. You don't like you think what the guys who are under, like under six foot are, are gonna be are gonna be like the creme de la creme? I think that mm-hmm. women and men view attraction very differently, and I think that height is not a factor in the way that most women operate. I, I think uh, I disagree. I disagree. I'll ask 100% a question. Disagree. I'll ask a question. Here, here's a question. So, two men: uh, Brad Pitt, Donald Trump. Now, <laughs> if you were Brad to ask Pitt. all the women in the world, and they can just judge based off of physical looks, do you think that? There would be a tendency for more women than not to rank Brad Pitt as more attractive than Donald Trump. Yes. yes. Or is it all subjective? It's just subjective. And who Melina knows? seems no, to love him. No, Melina Trump I seems do not. to love him. I, like, it, I, I think God, it is so subjective. Bad faith. It's so bad the faith. The only thing that I would do. Yeah. It's so bad faith because I'm not asking, I'm not asking, will there never be any one singular woman who will find Donald Trump attractive? That's not what I'm asking. You're answering a more of a broader question when he's asking more of a like so straightforward. Are you asking a, as far as Western beauty standards are concerned no, just, between just Donald question. Trump and Brad Pitt? Which one do you think women are going to go for? How about we Brad do Pitt. it? Let's ask the table: Who's more physically attractive, <laughs> Brad Pitt or Donald Trump? Brad Pitt. I don't, I don't think either of them are attractive. But who's more? No, who's, which it one doesn't would matter. You who's say more is attractive? More. But if you think they're equal, oh my god! It's a yes or it's a yes or no question. Who's more? You you got to go into a room with one of them. I'm straight, and I know who's more physically (laughs) attractive. You're the last female on the planet with these two men. Who are you going into a room with? To make more children can, to I need continue to think of this. Yeah, period. And they're both breeders as well. Or anything like that. If you're going to go into a room with anyone to... <laughs> Probably Donald Trump just to have a conversation. Okay, period. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, period. next one. Next one. Uh, you. 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 Donald Trump, she Brad Pitt. I don't think she answered. Did you answer? Your answer. Am I supposed to answer yes. if Donald Trump is attractive? No. Oh my God. No. Bro, what is wrong? Who is more? I, I understand. I'm, I'm, yeah, it's just silly to me. Just, can no, somebody, it's just a constant bad can faith somebody please get me Tylenol? It's not meant to be bad you know what? Faith. You I could, just, I, it's just, you could just be good faith and just answer the okay, question. Then, okay. Would you like me to say that Brad Pitt fits the Western it's not beauty what standard? I, it's not what I would like you to say. It's what I'm asking it you. It feels like you're waiting for me to say something very specific, and that's why I feel like I'm at a loss. Yeah, yeah, so you're saying you don't have And I said, stop, 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 stop. Let me finish. Are you saying that you don't? have the mental capacity to make a determination right here and right now who is more physically attractive Brad Pitt or Donald Trump that's the question you need not be- uh, what's it called you need you need not belabor the point any further just answer the question I, I, who has a better chance with you Donald Trump Jesus or Brad Pitt fucking I, Christ. I just said that Brad Pitt adheres to the Western beauty standard obvi- like way more than retarded that. answer that's, that's not, not really what yeah. you said that, but okay Brad Pitt duh. that is what she 
time. <laughs> Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. No, she said, she said, are you wanting me to answer in this way? Verbatim. I want you to just say the truth. I, I want you to. I actually said, I did say, according Verbatim. to what you said. No, you did. Because no, the, que- the question is, who do you. I don't you, think you oh, heard her. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The question is, who do you find more attractive? And when you say Brad Pitt uh, fits the Western beauty standard, that's not answering the question. That's dancing around the question. He's like, Hell so there we go. Period. Anyway, who wants to go oh, next? Well, no, said Brad Pitt. At first she Brad Pitt, said Brad, Brad Pitt, Trump. Brad Pitt. Yes, based. Donald Trump 2024. Who do you want? Uh, <laughs> Brad Pitt. <laughs> My four year boyfriend. Oh my God. Brad Pitt. Okay, period. Right. Physically, Brad I respect Pitt, that yes. answer. Trump. She said my four-year boyfriend. My, yeah. <laughs> but that's the thing. Is that See, I look, think, you just answered the question incorrectly, I think when, No, 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 but I'm a man, so, you know, I if it had to be. Do you think that the reason no, that there's real. so many men who are single or who can't get girls is because of how society and the economy is now structured, where now it's like men aren't supposed to use their beauty or their physical attractiveness to get a partner. That's not been seen before. They're supposed to use their resources to get a partner. That's fair point. They've so always do you think that the way that the economy is set up where it's like now both women and men are entering yeah. the workforce and now women are at an advantage and incentivized to earn more than their husbands or boyfriends or partners or whatever, that now those men are basically rendered useless. Well, yes, that's actually, I mean, a very, very good point. So, I mean, the way a man in the past historically used to make himself appealing and attractive to a potential partner was by being a provider. But now that that's, I mean, that can still be to some degree employed, but to perhaps a far lesser degree. And uh, look, there are some women who want to be stay-at-home wives and they might, you know, be more inclined to take that into consideration when selecting a partner. But now that women, for the most part, I mean, it's, I don't know the exact uh, comparison when it comes to uh, workforce participation, but yes, absolutely, men can no re- no longer men have to rely on much more uh, different things. It, c- it can be looks; they need to up their emotional intelligence, um, their uh, conversation skills, riz, blah blah, blah all that I shit. Even with emotional intelligence, though, like a man could be incredibly emotionally intelligent, satisfy a woman, the most feminist liberal woman in the world, but at the end of the day, it's not going to be constru- It's not ah. going to be stable. It's not going to be something that's sustainable because, because there is a natural dynamic between men and women that are complementary. And unless there's laws and an economy, because a lot of women who do want to be stay-at-home moms cannot afford to stay at home because the economy doesn't yield to it anymore. Actually, though, interesting point on that. Stay-at-home mom families where the husband only works, when, you, when they do studies on this, actually tend to earn more. I mean, than, I'm than, for that. I'm in favor income. of that. I yeah. like that. I can tell you I are. Think, yeah. I think that there's just cases where it's like a lot of women do feel pressure at having to leave the workforce or leave the home, basically, to basically have both, you know, to meet ends meet or whatever, yeah. and that will fracture And obviously the there's a lot of shaming in society as well. Like women who want to stay home... They get, yes. they get shamed as doing something that's like lazy or something like that. I think that's the whole thing that I don't like about feminism and why I'm anti-feminism is that the laws before feminism used to basically be in favor of what is best for the family unit, which would then transfer over to the neighborhood, the society. There's more collective power in that way. Have you looked into paleoconservatism? Yes, Sounds like I you're have. a paleoconservative yeah. That to being me. said, I think that nowadays it's yielding towards just this fractalization where the only people who are you know, basically rewarded in society are those that are the most atomized, the most lonely. And unfortunately- Do you think they're rewarded? I think that socially they're rewarded. I think that economically, like they have to basically, the most quote unquote successful people nowadays is basically measured off of how much money do you make or how much attention do you get for your physical appearance. Hmm. I think that- What does that have to do with being lonely though? Because you think incels are- I think everyone's lonely in this day. I think most people are very much lonely. Well, We're yeah, when you, when you compare loneliness. it with, with the past. Yeah. Oh, incels yeah. are like the definition of loneliness, basically. Mm. But I'm like, in the past, there was used to be that sort of like fabric where it's like a girl was never alone. She always had her father, her brothers, and there was always a multitude of kids. Right. Basically, oh, so you're not talking, n- not necessarily loneliness, but like independence from- Independence is loneliness. It's like having like yeah, even I, I women, would agree. I would yeah, agree with you. Even women yeah. who strike off on their own and they're like, "Oh, I'm a liberated queen" or whatever. Mm-hmm. So they are. They have higher rates of anxiety, higher rates of depression because they're basically having to fend for themselves, which is impossible. Yep. So I think that in order for men to actually be valued in society, we can't go off of the beauty scale, which is why none of them had like the same equal scale that you guys had, because they don't work that way. That's not how women evaluate men ever. That's not biologically how we're wired. I think that. In, As in, in you don't think that women value men by beauty? It's like, if a man were the most beautiful man ever, but I'm not emotionally connected to him, mm. he, I'm going to ignore him. But do you think that it's important, though? Do you it think is physical a, it attraction is, is rather factor, important? Yes. It's not as it's not going to be as important as it is for a, for a woman, yes, obviously. But it is exactly. important, though. It is important. And they've actually done studies where they um, 
they, they put like uh, triggers on these women and they'll show them these photos and they'll ask them to say who they think is more attractive and mm -hmm. it'll be like the guy with the dad bod who's like you know holding the holding like the kids or whatever and then it'll be like the broad shoulders fireman and they'll always say oh the dad, the dad bod's more attractive but then when they the, their brain is showing that they're much more aroused by the by the fireman guy so I think there is a little bit of like a li but, but, but in terms of long term relationships obviously I, I believe I I agree with you. I think that women will sacrifice that physical component for the emotional aspect of it. I think men mm -hmm. tend to sacrifice the emotional component for the physical aspect I of agree. it. Agree. Yeah. 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 Snaps. Yeah. Can we do snaps? Could you repeat yeah. that one more time? <laughs> <laughs> that was a I good think, point. Yeah, yeah. I think women sacrifice the physical component in order to get that emotional like factor of it. Mm. I think men will tend to sacrifice the emotional component. I've for seen the that with aspect. countless of my friends where they'll they're like it'll be the sex will be really good yes. and she's really hot Insane. and everyone, and everyone's like they post them on their Instagram and it's like oh look at my hot girlfriend but then when you look at them when no one else is around they're just on their phones they Not have no love. connection yep. mm -hmm. and then she takes him for half mm -hmm. after exactly. no time mm -hmm. and I'm also opposed of course I think we three can agree and maybe I don't know about you guys but I'm also opposed to no fault divorce I yes, think that I all too. the laws need to be in place to make sure that a family stays together and basically I don't know it's like the most productive for family building essentially I would agree with you do you guys Think no fault divorce? Yes, no. No. What is that? No. Mm -hmm. You like, can basically so you can't di divorce. Well, it's basically no. you can divorce. It's you can divorce. You just can't well, divorce for any. We're sort of. So I, I want to stay I linger would. here a yeah. little no, bit on Can the rating thing. Um, you made the point that was it that men tend to care more about looks than women do? Yeah. I actually disagree. Here's a hot take. I think women care far more about looks than do men. Is that been your experience? <laughs> I, well, I think it's true, and here's, here's why I think it's true. For real. So if we look at the things that are within men and women's control, women care far more about things that are totally outside of men's control when it comes to their physical appearance. For example, physical size, height, hair, penis size. These are all vi physical things that are totally outside of men's control. If a man's balding out of his, out of, his, out of excuse me, starting here, out of his control, most women would prefer a man with a full head of hair. Women cons would much prefer a tall guy. Penis size, that's a factor, outside of a man's control. All these things are very physical things, totally outside of man's control. However, the things that women can control, like, that's re there's really very little that is outside of a woman's control when it comes to, that's like make or break when it comes to, uh, that are deal breakers. Can I ask you a follow up on that? Sure. Do you think that a woman would prefer a man who is five foot seven, bald, but a billionaire? Or a guy who is six foot three, jacked, fireman, yoked, massive cock, but earns 40K a year. Who do you think they would like prefer as their life partner? As a life partner? Yeah. Well, she'd much prefer to breed, like have children with the, um, I would say the... When, they're, when, when you look at like the... But the, I mean that... Who, the, who do you think gets more girls? I don't know if it's a f totally fair comparison mm -hmm. because like the degree to which your lifestyle is changed with a billionaire. Like, I, I don't think many people comprehend, like, you are set for life. Mm. Like, you don't have to lift a finger. So I would argue, how often are women gonna be posed with those two, uh, those two choices? Uh, it's hard to Maybe say. Maybe a woman with a lot of options might have. I think you also have to factor in, like, even though that's a man with a billionaire and it's obviously like a life-changing experience, you also have to factor in how bonded do you think that man is gonna to be to that woman and to the children that he has. Like Elon Musk, for example. He's onto his third baby mama now. None of those children really are reared by him. They're reared by the mother or by other babysitters. And those are factors that women tend to also look for as well. The only people who are gonna go after a man with that much resources are those who are basically emotionally bankrupt. But then also, I mean, we can also make the argument, why is it the case that, for example, on dating apps, women only swipe on like the top five, ten percent of men. I'll pause well, because that's how... Where it's strictly about uh, uh, assessing one's physical appearance. Well, that's so women are much pickier when it comes to physical appearance. I agree with that. And I'd actually like to go around the table on this. What percentage of men do the women, do you find physically attractive? Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. I don't know, like maybe 40? 40 percent, okay. I don't know. What about you? I would say between 70 and 80. I can. I feel like I acknowledge pe people's physical like features, and I'm like, I can acknowledge you're attractive without being attractive to you. That makes sense. Okay. What about you? 50-50. 50-50. Yeah, I'd agree. Wait, what was Prob the full yeah, question? 
What, what percentage, percentage of men, of like, if you're walking down the street, are you physically attracted oh, to? Um, <laughs> That's the question. What did you think the question was, Kayla? Like, just attractive, not, like, actually, like, uh, jump out of my skin attracted yeah. to you. No, you don't, no, I'm just saying, like, think of it binary, yeah. yes or no. No, I definitely say 50, 50 percent. There's a lot of cap going on here, <laughs> but okay. What about you? I'm going to be 100 percent honest, and I'm going to uh, tell you why. None. <laughs> what? Because no you're one? in a relationship. Well, duh, because obviously I'm in a relationship. Okay, but like, can you maybe hy hypothetically, like, let's assume you weren't. Is your boyfriend gonna no, like, like beat you I if don't you usually. hypothetically <laughs> answer the question? Can like, you, can you let me finish? I'm so sorry. <laughs> but um, so I've been with my boyfriend for a couple of months. So obviously, like, I know what you're talking about. Like, girls walking down the street. Like, before I had my boyfriend, like, would I be walking down the street and just look at a guy and be like, oh, he's cute? No, I would. So even before you were in a relationship, you found all guys unattractive? Not unattractive, but I didn't gush over them or turn my head or look twice. No, but that's, a, that's not really the question. I'm not asking, I'm not, oh, so they don't have to be like these, this like top tier specimen, but just like Did you find that, when, do you the, find the basketball attractive? Team? Was the basketball team attractive? Okay, I get, your, I get your question now. Like, do I find men attractive? Yeah, I'm, what percentage I'm bi. What, would you say? What, yeah, what percentage oh, of men do you find attractive? 20%. Has anybody here been on dating apps? Yes. He's been on, what yeah. percentage of men are you swiping yes on? 30%. Well, that's very different than your I, yeah, previous. I, so in 30, person, yeah. somehow, it's 50-50, but on dating apps, it's... No, no. I'm, I meant to say, like, I changed mine from 50-50 to 10%. <laughs> You've been on dating apps? <laughs> yeah. What percentage of men on dating apps do you swipe yes on? Um, not a lot. I actually want to change my answer, too, because I didn't understand it at first. Probably, like, 5%. Okay, okay there we go. <laughs> now, the, now the truth comes. Okay. I was just gonna say that I stand by mine being 1780 because I, I all I think everybody all the men in this room are attractive and I like objectively so like I, I think that you are. We know. <laughs> so <laughs> I Thanks. that just made Thanks, him baby. unattractive. <laughs> what about you? I said that just made him unattractive. What percentage of men like on dating apps? What percentage of men do you swipe yes on? On dating apps, none. I would say two percent. Two percent. What about you? Mm -hmm. I don't really use dating apps, but I find that like it's really easy to like find qualities where I'm like, oh, like that's attractive mm. in a person. Just looks, just, just looks. Walking down the street if you're not on dating apps. I don't go outside much, I'm gonna be honest. I'm a streamer, <laughs> I don't leave my uh, room. <laughs> I don't gamer. know, how about, did you go to college? Uh, no, I did not. Uh, did, did like, you go to the grocery store? I, think I, can <laughs> find, I, I feel like I can find something attractive in like almost every guy that's like able-bodied and like healthy enough. Just like. Okay. All right. What about you? What what's yours? Um, I'd probably say like five percent. Five percent? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm a person who like when I look at dating or attractiveness, I look in personality. Yeah. Like I wasn't attracted to the my exes, but I got to know them and that's what made me like who they are, like people for who you, they are. You weren't so attracted? Did you tell them that? Attracted to yeah, they know that. They know I wasn't they knew? attracted to them, but Shit. once I got to know Sweet. them, I, but now I do think they're attractive because oh. I like who they are. Don't tell no, that period. to your next day. Tell, 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 tell him that tell him there was a fire. As soon it's as like his saw personality him. made him Couldn't cute. contain it. Who's next? Um, see, like, uh, I don't like dating apps for that specific reason that it's based on looks. Uh, yeah. So I don't even look at what they look like. I just go, yeah. No, so I swipe. I used to swipe like 10% when it's like on the streets. I'd say like 40%, okay. like more on the street. What yeah. about you? Um, I don't use dating apps, but typically in, any, typically in any room, I'll find a guy that kind of is attractive to me. So maybe okay, like well, did you go to college? Yes. What percentage of the men when you went to college did you find attractive, maybe, physically attractive? Maybe one every three semesters. And even then, I didn't really find it. Okay, so I mean, checkmate. Women are way pickier when it comes yes. to yes. physical attractiveness. Um, yeah. Yeah. See, but I think that women, 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 women will compromise. But do you, but do you take think, the L? But, but also, but they're pi they're, pi uh, it's okay. they're pickier. But who um, do you think it's more important to? See, I think I think women are. It's pro uh, that's a good question. I may. I think as a man, you can, like, if your personality is on point, if you have some sort of status or you're wealthy, for example, you can make up for a lack of physical attractiveness. I don't think you can make up for it as a, as a girl. No, 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 as a guy. Yeah, yeah, as yeah. A guy. But, but I'm saying as a girl, though, I don't think, it's, I don't think you really can. They can make up for it by being uh, pleasant. 
That's true. That's true. There, there is ways you can make up for it. Why, why are you laughing about or that? Or quote unquote wifey material. Yeah. Pleasant. Dude, is, I'll pleasant is the nicest of, way you can say it. A, yeah. a lot of men will like happily. If it's like she's a nine, but she's a fucking raging lunatic bitch, versus like she's a six, but she's submissive sweetheart, brings you peace, submissive. never quarrelsome. Every day. I think a Every lot, of, like for long, yeah, maybe the that chick, she's good for a short-term thing. I'm not particularly interested in any, any short-term encounters, but for like long-term monogamous commitment, like, yeah, I think we'll sacrifice a couple points and looks mm -hmm. if she's like a really like so mellow, down. cool girl who brings us peace and is in the fucking headache. Yeah. Yep. yep. So, so is that your preference of a woman? What? Just a woman who doesn't quarrel? Who's not a yeah, that's what it says in the Bible. Mm -hmm. yes. Sleep on the roof mm -hmm. and be with the Proverbs 21, 19, uh, yeah. better to was it been yeah, and he's been reading <laughs> Be better to live in the desert than with a quarrelsome and nagging wife are there any Can women I in your life that fit that criteria what's that are there any women in your life so far that fit that criteria oh absolutely i think i've i've actually had some really wonderful women uh who i've dated um i've really only maybe dated uh, most of the women i dated have mm -hmm. been fantastic great women that's good um and uh yeah yeah. So, the but I have dated, thing, like yeah. I did date a girl who had BPD and that was a major fucking mistake. And my life was fucking <laughs> like constant. It was constant conflict with mm -hmm. her and I, there was so never bad. peace. Mm -hmm. And like having had that experience and dating like super mellow, calm girls and were never like quarreling or conflict. Like it's, it's night and fucking day. And I'll gladly give like some looks points away for mm -hmm. like just a really cool, like, girl that's especially if you're busy if you're a busy guy you do yeah. not want my to life is yeah my life is stressful enough as it is so yeah. like i don't want to like if you're the the dudes who will like entertain like crazy craziness crazy chicks yeah. are dudes who probably have nothing fucking going mm -hmm. for them because a dude who's like on his purpose he doesn't need that shit his life is probably stressful enough mm -hmm. he's like he's fighting with the world so he doesn't want to invite in like he wants his girl to be his peace mm. and if she's not i feel like that's later. fair enough to say for women as well though mm. oh i think that's fair if a yeah. girl if a girl wants a guy who's calm and mellow and you know is gonna also like because dudes can definitely bring fucking drama Do you and think conflict there's too more like crazy psycho lunatic women or female or women or males it's probably a little more women i'd say you think so? more women. <laughs> i don't I think know so. i've met a lot of wait aren't there but more why women? is it why is it i look i don't aren't date dudes women, so i don't know but like look i've heard from women there's some like nasty dudes out there i'm not saying all dudes are perfect not at all a lot of guys can move in very scummy ways and yeah. fuck your mm -hmm. life up the True. same way a woman can but like why is there is certainly a trope and i think there's certainly truth in stereotypes to some degree like why is it the trope like the nagging wife you don't really hear about the nagging boyfriend the nagging husband mm. typically like how many of your dudes be nagging you really <laughs> okay a couple of things i mean maybe um, you've maybe encountered you it but like right. dudes are not <laughs> nagging chicks really no but, but you're about the like, abuses yeah. like Aren't there more women on the planet than men, though? So that would just yeah. be the case at the end of the I'm day. I'm not no, sure if think, that statistically pans out. I, I'm but not something sure. Something to think about. But I was just a question. I think a, but, man, um, I think a woman to her extreme is going to be insane. I think a man to his extreme is going to be a workaholic. And I think that mm -hmm. typically, if a man is emotional and chaotic, I think he's typically someone who is, as Brian said, unemployed, has nothing going yeah. for him. Mm -hmm. And if a woman is a workaholic, she's also kind of a minority where it's like you're kind of forsaking that which makes you a woman. It's yeah. just that those are the ones that, those tendencies are the unhealthy expressions of womanhood, which is being insane, and or an unhealthy yeah. expression of If you look at the, the um, bell curve of like personality saying. disorders as well, um, or like if you look at the bell curve of aggression, for example, all of the psychopaths at the very top are who are like the most crazy are all guys. That's why mm -hmm. prisons are packed out with men. But that's also why like the corporate world is packed out with men because you get these guys at the top who are just like willing to step mm -hmm. on anyone's head and psychotic. But yeah, it's an interesting one. I don't know where the more psychos are, to be honest. One last thing on the rating thing. <laughs> where's, where's Arson? Arson, what are you doing back there, Ar Arson? Starting a fire back there, Arson. What's she doing? <laughs> <laughs> Come join us while I get this question here. Um, okay, so actually let me do some chats while she gets her seat back. We have Miss Nims, high value, did I read this one? High value men date women of quality. Yeah. Don't complain when you're not of quality to their standard. Miss Nims, thank you for the... Merci beaucoup for the Canadian 100. Appreciate it. We have Andrew Zhu. These girls are so basic. What the fuck? Answer the dang questions. They're not that hard to understand. So frustrating to watch. Andrew Zhu. 
Thank you, man, for your patronage. This is, I think, your first time chatting. Welcome to uh, the Whatever Podcast. Uh, thank you, man. Appreciate it. And uh, okay, so going around the table, starting with you, Zombri. Is your name? What's your actual name? Bree. Like short for Brianna? Yeah. Okay. Um, are you more attractive? How, you're 26, correct? Mm -hmm. Are you more attractive? Do you think you'll be more attractive at 36 or 26? Probably 26. Okay. So you'll be. I, I don't want to articulate 36, though. each one of your eight. What's that? Hopefully 36, though. Hopefully 36. But okay, so the question is do you think you'll be more attractive in 10 years or do you think you're more attractive as you are now? So you answered. What about you? Okay, as far as, as, far as physical appearance, obviously. Yeah, phys physical appearance, guys. Physical appearance. Obviously, I'm gonna be like more youthful and plump right now. So. Plump. <laughs> you know, plump. Yeah, I got moisture behind my skin. You oh, know? okay, I see. Okay. But as far as, as 36, I'm gonna become more beautiful in other ways. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm reaching enlightenment by then. You know what I'm saying? So I, yeah, okay. there'll be, it, but it's just still looks. be beautiful, just looks. beauty in another way. Okay. So, what's the answer? As far as looks, man, all this superficial question is making my insides curdle. Like, this is such a cringe question. Like, like, bro, are you saying at 36 I'm gonna I'm expire? Like, no, hell no, no, no. no, I'm not gonna no. think like that. You, period. Here, let me let me add a caveat. You all may very well be still attractive in 10 years. The question is, are you? Will you be more attractive in 10 years than you are now? I'm gonna just say yes. What about you? Yes, I think older women are attractive. Uh, but see, okay, yeah. here you are being bad faith again. I even with I'm the caveat, especially... even I, with the I, caveat. Yes, I think that I will be attractive. I will be even more attractive at 36. I think okay. I will because but, I think. But the aging... way you said that, like you said, yes, I think older women are attractive. That's not the question that I was asking. Well, I'm not asking if you'll be attractive. I'm at, sorry, at, but I'm not saying at the 37. Words, the way that. If you ask a dumb question, you're gonna dumb it's response. Not, it's not a dumb question. I, I think that I will be. I think that I will be more attractive at 30. How is it a dumb? I think what she's question. saying, based off of knowing that older women are attractive, and she's going to reach that age that she thinks is attractive. I'd be women, interested she's in why be attractive. Dumb, well, I actually, I actually, it was just basically a long obvious, answer for a short answer. Like, you know, because what message obvious, are though. you trying to spread right now? You're trying to spread like, hate into the world and like self-esteem issues into women. Like, how is like, that? Bang. How is that hateful? Can I answer? Like, why so do I, think, up, I don't like, think it's hateful. I think that when it comes yeah, to an objective sure. standard, as we've been talking about, in a commercial world where people are basically ranked in this very emotionally detached way, 26 is obviously more attractive than 36. But I think, once again, hearkening back to the olden times, I think 36 tends to be more of an actually beautiful age, mostly because at that point, that's your wife, that's the mother of your children, that's someone that you've aged with, that's someone that you've invested time in. Okay, it is currently the 20th century. So, um, okay. So 26 is your final answer? No. What? Uh, 26? Yes. Wait, what? Because Wait. I am still young. Um, when you're older, yeah, you tend uh, yeah. to. Okay, but to, to the, the point that like, let's assume you're just single. Like, mm -hmm. yes, maybe your husband still thinks you're beautiful or thinks you're more beautiful than when he met you 10 years ago. Again, guys, please try to be good faith. It's a very simple question. Mm -hmm. No, I 100% think I would okay, but, still be more attractive I'm, as a 26 year old than a 36 year old. But you're 21. One. So I'm just asking. No. Ten years from now, Wait. will you be more attractive in ten years than you are now? Yes. Starting with you. So you said. Uh, yes. Okay, Kayla. Uh, yes. Into the mic. Yes. Yes. More attractive. No, no. I think I'm more attractive as a 21 year old okay. than I would so be. Okay. So Kayla, more attractive. You, Kayla, you're 21. More attractive right now. Okay. So you'll be okay. <laughs> okay. I think I would be more attractive in 10 years because within the span of time, I can work out more, I can eat healthy, I can do a skincare, I can do this, I can do that, I'll look better in 10 years. Okay. Mm, I think that when I'm 31, I'll be more attractive. More attractive, what about you? Um, if I get my BBL, probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's a whole nother topic. Oh, that's oh right, don't ever say God damn. These hoes. Oh. oh, well, we should be nice, guys, but... Um, Wild that is take. actually wild as hell. Says the incel oh, that donated. Hey. <laughs> oh, Forza. Literally Shots fired. Literally sent $200 to say yeah. that. Shots fired. All right. Forza, appreciate the uh, TTS. Um, okay, so you said BBL? You get the BBL? Do you, you think, if I get a BBL, I you think, think I'll be more attractive in 10 years. You think that's, that'll make like, you more I'll, attractive? I'm not going to get one 
like <laughs> do guys like bbls i'm not sure about i've just come well, from mexico like and they all like bbls um, gross. no i'd rather work out it's cancerous yeah, yeah I bbls feel like, actually i feel like gross. working out doesn't i feel like you guys are more interested it in those natural tones. body females it, as a natural hold on one at a time i would find myself more attractive now or if i was in 10 years right I'm just saying I might find myself more attractive if I do get a BBL for myself. Period. Uh, End okay. of story. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's cancerous, this is, though. This is just kind of the debate of, like, you know, the, the inward versus the outward opinion. But, yeah. um, I mean, I don't know about you, Jake, but, like, a BBL can only make a girl less attractive yeah, less. for me. Easy. I don't care if she had a flat butt before. I prefer a girl with a flat butt than a... A BBL. They just look, don't you guys think they look doesn't ridiculous? look right? Okay, that's that's I do. Bad. I do. There's no, yeah, only okay. it, there's no <laughs> such thing as a good BBL. I'm if sorry. You don't even know that it's there. You yeah, would you know. Just, How would you know? You would know. BBLs, I've just honestly natural BBL. I've been, like, I've been yeah. like more natural than like. I've been in Mexico this. recently, and they look absolutely ridiculous, especially when they're on like fat girls. So when y'all ask, when y'all ask me the question, I said that I would work out, I would eat healthy, I would do skincare, whatever. Y'all were like, okay, cool. No, no, no. We were so gonna we were gonna come back at you. Well, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Okay. we yeah. had that idea. But then she's talking about BBLs for herself, which has nothing to do with every, anybody else or what they think. That's well, the end oh. of story. Okay, Miss Girl, pop off next. On on your point though, if why would you need to do skincare and all that if you're gonna look more beautiful? What? What do you come mean? On. No, I'm saying the reason why I'm going to look more beautiful is because I'm going to take those or do those things no. over the course of ten years. So you think that if you do skincare and you keep mm -hmm. your skin looking relatively like how it is now? Try in 10 to. years time you'll look you'll be more attractive mm. well i'm saying all together like working out eating healthy because i don't eat that healthy like come on now i don't eat that healthy i don't work here out. I don't but the, like... the crux of the question is not like well i could do all these behavioral changes and then in 10 years i can have a glow up it's let's say you're at your best now mm -hmm. compared to your best at 31. i will be at my best at 31. okay Please bear with me. This is going to sound like an annoying non-answer, but I feel like, again, we're having the clashing of ideals of, like, beauty standards and stuff. Like, I would feel perfectly fine at 34 because, like... Not the question. You yeah, might... Please you, let me you, finish. You're welcome to feel perfectly fine at 34, but that's not the no, question. I'm not finished. Continue so with your point. I'm 34, I would be much more my natural self. Right now, I have dyed hair. I have eyelash extensions. I would probably dress more like an actual mature person. And I think right now my style is more, I don't know, chaotic. I don't think it's very mature. I think in 10 years from now, I would be more attractive. Yeah. So what if you made those, if you made all of those um, changes within the next month, do you think you would be all those things you listed? You know, your hair was natural, whatever, whatever. Would you, comparing yourself at, what is it, you're 24, is it? Yeah. 24 to 34. I still feel like I would be more attractive more at 34. More physically attractive, okay. Yeah. What about you? Uh, You're 22, correct? Yeah, I'd say like I'd be more attractive now. Okay, what then, about you? I'll say 26. And you're, wait, you're 26, right? Okay. Here, I want to double down on this. More attractive now or in 20 years? Oh. And this is the last round of this one. Definitely yeah. now. Okay, what about you? In 20 years, because I'm a fairy, I know magic, and I'll look like this forever. <laughs> 20 okay. years. You'll, you'll be more attractive in 20 years, okay? Uh, I'll be more attractive now. Yeah, definitely right now. Definitely now. Um, I don't know, I just have seen my mother and my sister age so well that I think that in 20 years I'll, I'll be fine. Again, but that's not the question. I'm not asking, you years, may very I'll well be, be your 20, correct? Yes. You may very well still be attractive at 40 years old, but that's mm. not the question. So what's the question again? Sorry. The question is, will you be more attractive at 40 than you are now at 20? Forty. Bear in mind, everybody ages. That has certain impact on your skin. It has certain impact on wrinkles, for Ooh, example. so old. Oh, maybe, maybe now. <laughs> maybe 20. Okay, what about you? You can get a BBL at 40, I guess. <laughs> no, I'll I think now. Now? Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah comparatively to 20, 20 years mm. from now, but Okay. No. No. I'm dead. So to be clear, if we were to like, and I, I, we can't really draw this, but so those of you who answered, well, I'll be better looking at 30, but worse at 40 than you are now. So basically, like you, you're starting, you're starting here, and then you're going. Wait, you're starting here, then you're going up to 30, and then you're going down, like 
that's a little confusing to me. Wouldn't it just be 20, 30, 40? Wouldn't that make more sense? Yes. I've heard that your 30s are like your best years. Who said that? Our brother. <laughs> I don't know. I've just heard that before because that's when like after your like 20s, like you are struggling, you're going through college, you're broke or not, the, but then 30, not the question though. Okay. Maybe your life is better at 30. <laughs> so then that reflects on how you look. Like you're doing Period. well off. Yeah. Like if mm-hmm. I'm eating ramen all night every single day for like... Eat, no, she do have a point. Speaking to the mind. If yeah. I'm eating ramen like only for like five years straight during college... Do, do you like, so, do you think like do you think a twenty year old who's just eating ramen in college is going to be worse looking than their future self at forty who's like on a fantastic diet? Yeah. You, really? See, even if you're even I mean, if you're some like very girls that like twenty <laughs> like that. like if I'm taking horrible care of myself right now, I look like shit. Okay, but as you get older, like you lose fat in your face, like your eyes will get hollowed out, right? You'll lose the fat yeah, right here. You can, you'll get wrinkles, you'll get, you know, <laughs> sagging skin, you'll get a turkey neck. Like there's a lot of issues that come with aging. And I think the point that he's trying to make is like, you don't get you don't get more beautiful. Yeah. And that's the point that he's trying to make to you guys, cause you guys work in an industry where your beauty like I th- and, and and I think it's not really like posed this way to kind of like like in 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 a better way. I think it could be. Um, is that your industry? You're losing. You're depreciating. Like your value. You're not gonna get. You're not gonna get more value. I think honestly, like there's obviously women in their 30s and their 40s that are beautiful, but I think at that age you're not exactly. supposed to be seen as sexually attractive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think at that point, mm-hmm. that's basically, like there's a level of respect there point. where exactly. it's like we yeah. don't see women in that age bracket as sexual because they're supposed to be mothers at that point. I mean, Unless that's, not, like even, that's not even the thing, argument. You know? That's not even really yeah, the argument I'm trying to make. I think people are confusing improving weight and health with being more attractive. Mm. And we're referring to the attractive, attractiveness of age, okay. not other factors. If yeah. you were your best weight and health at 25, you would be more attractive than your best weight and health at 35. If you, I mean, there's no way around that. If it's your best health at 25 versus your best weight and health at 35, and you think you're more physically attractive at 35, that just, it doesn't compute because, so, of, because okay. of the, because of aging. So you're saying just naturally. Yeah. In 10 you're conf- okay, what's naturally going on is you're conflating years. your, like, it, not sp- anyone specifically, but you're conflating, like, a, a young woman who's overweight and unhealthy, their unhealthy selves at 25, to their potentially improved weight and health at 35. But that's not an equal comparison. Mm-hmm. It doesn't prove anything about the innate attractiveness of age. Okay, so you're just saying naturally then? Yeah. Like, like naturally in 10 years or naturally subtracting the youthfulness like your youthfulness or subtracting putting in any effort to change your appearance naturally can we can we agree on this that like uh, everybody here at this table is compared to in 40 years Mm -hmm. we're all at our peak attractiveness now compared to how we're going to look in 40 years can we agree on that yes Mm -hmm. yeah I, I, I just, I personally yeah. don't just because personally in my preference, I like older women. Like if I'm talking about the, the female beauty standard, I am attracted to older women. I just saw Pamela Anderson uh, at, at, at Paris Fashion Week and she wore no makeup and I was like, oh my God, I want to look you like think, that at 50. You think, Can we put her socials in the chat for the sugar 50. mamas? She's 40. You Paris think? 40. No, uh, uh, Pamela Anderson is 50. You think Pamela Anderson is like, do you think, mo- here, here's a different yeah. question. Do you think most people will, would agree with you that she's more attractive now than she was Baywatch? What, 20, mm-hmm. 20 years ago, 30 years ago? No. I, Baywatch Pamela or now? I never, I didn't, I didn't watch Baywatch. I, I didn't, I wasn't familiar with her work whenever she was never younger. Never watched Baywatch? Doesn't, that's, but do you, you think most people would find her more attractive now than? Yeah, oh, like, like, <laughs> like statistically, I'm sure. I, I okay. know it, I'm an odd one out for finding older women, like, a, a, a stimulatingly attractive. Like, I right. know I'm the odd one out. Okay, but you, this is like a very, like, self-centered way to like view the conversation while you may very well find older women attractive if we're having like a generalized conversation like it's you're you're finding it difficult to step outside of like your sort of solipsistic worldview and try to look at well what what is generally the truth well i I suppose i I assumed showing like coming up here that it was to bring my my worldview in the way that i think Mm. about things to the situation just like everybody and so i thought it was more collaborative like oh Mm. that's what you think oh word well why do you think that okay i mean like whatever what do you think i thought it was more and i I here's the thing i don't object to you having like your nuanced view (laughs) and 
I don't disagree that you may very well, that you individually might view older women as more physically attractive. I'm not countering you on that, but when we're saying generally speaking, mm -hmm. people will view it like this, like, and you're not, you're not willing to engage with like a general conversation. That's where it gets complicated. Well, I, I just thought that having my own opinion was being a part of the conversation. I didn't mean to intentionally like impose any like uh, anything wild. I I just thought that it was to bring up like to bring everybody's bringing their own thoughts to the conversation. Yeah. But no, okay, I if agree. we're having a conversation <laughs> where if we're saying. If, if there's a bunch of people at the table and we all say the sky is blue, mm -hmm. but one person is colorblind, for example, and they say, well, the, the sky looks gray to me. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not the actual truth of what is. Okay, but you didn't ask her the objective, like, like. He actually kind of did though, because when you ask, do you think you'll be more attractive? It's not, do yeah. you think in your, in your own purview, like depending on what you're attracted to that you'll be yeah. more attractive ba it's like, based on you yeah think, but to yourself no, no, no. do you if think that when i ask when you say when, if someone asked me jake yeah. um do you think you'll be more attractive in 20 years instantly i'm going to think well you know men they do tend to get a little bit more attractive as they get older what would society view view me as that sort of thing yeah. i'm not going to think when i look at myself in the mirror what what do i think well in that's what i thought wait, wait, too. Wait, wait, wait let me i want to address your thing so I am de facto referring to people's outward assessment yeah. of who, who you guys are. Mm -hmm. What is attractiveness? If you were the only person left on earth, to be attractive, there, there, that's an, that's a, the framework is there has to be someone external, something external to be able to deem you as attractive. No, absolutely. So if you're the only person on earth, Quite frankly, your attractiveness has become totally irrelevant. Mm -hmm. It's no longer important. So just by virtue of me asking the question, of course it's about the external reality. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely, I'm not debating you on that, but like, I feel like I took the question and I feel like they all took the question as like, how would you view yourself versus, and I think you could oppose that question, how, kind, would, you, kind how of, would you be? Kind of telling though, you know? Yeah. Because if you ask a group of men that, and it's not like, a, I'm not judging or anything, but if you ask a group of men that, they're not gonna think like, well, about themselves men. they're gonna they're gonna be thinking like on a more sort of logical and objective basis and i guess that's why we have these conversations because yeah. it's interesting to see the difference yeah but i think a lot of like the back and forth and a lot of like the issues are a lot of just uh, like I, I think just miscommunication I yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah but so in order to be attractive there needs to be an other mm -hmm. right yeah. so that would imply that somebody outside of you is making the judgment mm -hmm. is making the value call mm -hmm. is rank ordering you Okay. Isn't that what attractiveness is? Somebody outside of you has to make some sort of determination on that. So, mm. again, I mean, you guys are saying you'll be more, some of you are saying you'll be more attractive in 10 years, you'll be more attractive mm. in 20 years. Typically speaking, when it comes to aging, and I think this applies to both men and women, as we age, there's just a certain biological reality to aging where as we age, we are less physically attractive. So, mm -hmm. But I do want to, the last thing on this, I want to come back to you. you. You asserted that this line of questioning was was hateful, and I'd like you to prevent, provide some evidence for how it's hateful, because, I mean, this, this it occurs to me that this is a... Uh, well, what you're trying to make us all what you're trying to make us all feel like I'm not right now to make you feel any sort of what way. I'm it having does, a conversation whether you're with trying to or not, it does. It makes us it's opening our brains to realize oh you're going to get uglier as you age that's how you all want us all to feel right now but don't you think that that's like that's not that's well, like a crazy thing to say that's that's pretty I'm yes pretty that natural. is that is like the opposite of body positivity well i'm not I, on. I think i've reality. been very uh diplomatic in the way i've not my phrasing not my reality mm -mm. Well, okay, I'm, I never called any of you ugly, and I think I said all of you Yeah, you straight up called her ugly, bro. When? No. That, like a little while ago, do, do you, think you were I like, you're not a 10. Yeah, that's, he say you're not a 10. So you, you think that somebody that's, that's not a 10 is ugly? You think that's, that's, that's not me calling her ugly. You, well, your face I, was ugly. It felt mean-spirited. It felt targeted yeah. and mean-spirited just simply meant, because I said that specific He could have meant you're a 9.5, not a 10. Yeah, so I didn't take it negatively, right? but I understand why you would have felt that energy, because I... Yeah, girl. Yeah, but that's, I mean, that's just erroneous erroneous you're making everybody defensive like i'm like Ooh. i think we just need to differentiate I mean, of no like objective like objective like what you mean by like okay well what do you rate yourself i'd rate myself this she might rate my 
you know, the world might rate me that. And I'm just saying, like, I think that's important to differentiate because I it think a lot of people. It's interesting to see got, how people interpret the question, though. It's not yeah, even no, a I agree. I question. agree. Without, yeah. without it's like being not even like you can have even two sides on mm-hmm. that. Technically. So, so do you do you think that it's an offensive thing to say if you say to somebody you're going to get less attractive as you get older? Yes. You think that's a hateful thing to Definitely. say? Definitely. And if you think hundred percent, and you think it's also a hateful thing to say to yeah. say somebody that, that you're not a ten. Hundred percent. But why 100%. are you valuing what they say about you? Hold on I'm a second. Not. No, no therapy. I'm just right now. like. Hold on a second, though. So you think that that's that's um, like an unreasonable thing to say? Why? What do you mean? Why? That creates negative emotions in people. It creates self-esteem issues. You're trying to give everyone self-esteem problems. But like, like if, I, if, not, I, if I, so? we're not trying to if, do anything. If I was to say to you, uh-uh. you're you're going to get really ugly as you get older. That might be a little bit of a self-esteem problem. Or if I was to say to you, you're a two, that would be a self-esteem problem. But if I'm pointing out to you the objective reality that as human beings get older, mm-hmm. we get less attractive That's a in subjective the eyes of the reality. world. I don't I know like what you're talking about. So an you objective think that an 80-year-old is, is, is more attractive than a 25-year-old? Girl, that's not even thoughts I just want to bring Can you not call my... me girl? Sorry, that's, <laughs> just how, that's how I talk. That's, how, that's in, in here, my right, just, I, I want Just on your conversational thread here. So, I mean, do you think... Comparing, say, do you care about looks in a guy? Uh, at all? Like, you care about their physical appearance? Uh, yes. Like, would you date an obese guy? No. Oh, would you date a guy who's shorter? But I want to tell them to their face or bring it up on the internet or, like, well, you know I mean, what I'm saying? Sure. And I agree. I wouldn't just, like, walk up to some girl and, like, in the street and be like, you're a five. I wouldn't do that. But when, like, we're having a panel discussion on dating, I think it's a... Uh, that has nothing to do with, like, any kind of dating stuff, though. It's, well, it's actually very related to dating. And I can get into it in a bit, but... Okay, so, I mean, you've already determined that you would not date a guy if he was morbidly obese, so that's you making a... Va- Why isn't he a 10 for you? Why would you not date him? Why are you allowed to make a judgment call on a man's physical appearance, but men aren't? That's not what I'm saying. I mean, you can have your own personal preference, but to go around and like lay, like I wouldn't sit down like ten obese people and be like, "You're fat, you're lazy," like like what? Okay, like, wait. But to sure. be fair, the only reason why we brought up anything about men is because it was questions you asked. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense. What? Yeah, I'm the host of the podcast. I tend to ask. No, I know, questions, but like you know? saying mm-hmm. that like she gets to talk about it. Well, it was a question, like. Can they I, rated themselves too. Yeah, asking what we rate ourselves, mm-hmm. and then it, it feels like it's like you're not like taking what we say seriously because it feels as though it's oh well you should feel this way because of objective truth, and it's like well the original question was just how do you see yourself? Let me ask okay, you guys. That's a not what sure. I was saying at we'll all. Go, but we'll okay. talk about that. So let me ask you guys a question. Do any of the girls here know a guy who thinks he's hot shit, but he's actually not? Yes. Yes. Who are yes. you? <laughs> who are you? Uh, who are you to not affirm his belief? of how he feels about himself. Like, you, you ought to be compelled, one, to be attracted to him and to date him and to sleep with him because he thinks he's hot shit and he's a 10. You're not entitled to your own view. No, because they, when, when all those men that think they're hot, whatever, will make you feel less than. So they, they will... So it's only a problem when men do it, yes. I see. Mm, no, no, that's not what I'm saying. But I'm sure you all know guys who think they're... I know dudes who think they're hot shit, but yeah. they're actually not. And like the difference is though, like reality tends to slap these dudes in the face a little more than, than when it comes to women and I, I can get into why. But look, we all, I'm sure you'd prefer to date a guy who's taller than you, correct? Mm-hmm. That's you making a, a, a value call, a value judgment based off of a physical characteristic, a trait. Okay, and I'm sure, your point is? I would also say that when the question was posed, it's more a reflection of if you get defensive, Brian's not making you feel defensive. It's just you haven't made peace with a certain That's reality. That's exactly what he's doing. What you oh, okay. no, I, get what he, I get what she's saying. Here, going back <laughs> to the question, though. So when it comes to a guy, would you date an 80-year-old? Hell no. Why? That's... <laughs> Ageist. Because, because of it's their. It's not ageist. Is it because Just of what the, I have to talk about with him? He, he, he has a lot of wisdom. His crossword yeah. puzzles well, and Sudoku. Went to war. What like, if he I, likes I, I My Chemical Romance? <laughs> and Fall Out Boy. <laughs> See, that's not going to happen. And I don't even like him. <laughs> no. You don't, you don't like My Chemical Romance? That's the most you like upsetting thing I've heard all night. No, I don't even know. Well, no, I know that scene too, but I don't really like that music. It's too. It doesn't vibrate. So the primary reason you wouldn't want to date an 80 year old, it's not because they're 
super old looking. It's <laughs> it's because you guys wouldn't have things. Literally, in one of my best friends. Literally, my one of my best friends is like forty five. It's literally based off the character of like who he is. Like, and I hang out with him almost like every other day. But so like I literally I don't feel like age is like that crazy. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, it's well, like let me literally like who you are. Right. Do you think do you think it's a biological reality as Jake was saying that over time people age and with aging typically you over time become less physically attractive? It really depends cuz his girlfriend right now is like like super young. So it's like really if you just have enough riz it, like you could really like you know raise up a lot of people. It just depends if you have swag like that. You, but you, like you think statistically like, speaking, you think an eighty-year-old with like <laughs> mega riz is is yeah. Gonna, like, imagine they're like some dope-ass artist or something. Like girls like want to be around that stuff. You know what I mean? But you think I, they're typically picking yeah. up. Yeah, I, I think like I think like the Girl, average you, the average like twenty-one-year-old college girl. I don't care how much riz the 80 year old dude is gonna like has <laughs> she would probably prefer to date a guy like who's like within her age range who's just like a normal dude like mm -hmm. okay well you're majority generalizing and that's not my reality so i don't know no but that's All just right. statistical fact that's just the reality i don't I know mean, where you're getting the statistics from but i don't pay attention to them <laughs> like yeah. well, well, this, i don't know like, again, basically, like, basically, like, basically she's saying just that she weird. just lives in her delusional world that's no, no 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 i'm saying that you're, she you're can, just that's fine I would say that, yeah, it's like you're sort of in, in your bubble because yeah. it's like by the environment that you've been in, you've been kind of comfortable in there. And yeah. I think what mm -hmm. Brian's trying to attempt is to pull you out of it so that way you can kind of have some self-awareness. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, yes. women are fundamentally emotional creatures, and that's why rules were made in place. So that way, comments on their appearance, on their age, were never mm -hmm. brought up because... And also, you guys are 80% exactly. of the consumer market. So all the advertisers mm -hmm. are advertising at you, telling you what you want to hear. Giving us a delusion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a problem. Exactly. Is but this like a agree to disagree? Two plus two or can be yeah. nine. Yeah, or, it is an agree to or, disagree. Or, or is it... Which is way yeah. better than arguing. Or is it we're <laughs> definitely right and we just totally disregard your points of view on this? Can I like agree to disagree? Can I, I add that to yeah. No, I never. Can, fully agree. can I? So yeah. I, I think men find... Talking it, to the microphone. Um, sorry. I, I think men base attractiveness also off of like age in relation to like fertility. Because like men instinctively want to reproduce, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. So I think that is a big thing that will like key into their attractiveness. And like Cross was saying, when women are in their 30s, we feel more um, human and less sexualized and objectified. But also men have the same, the same kind of like timeline. Not as fixed as women because there's obviously a cutoff point with women. But same men Robert tend. Al Pacino. Al Pacino. The one who yeah. Banging him at it. Well, 80. then she left him because she got the resources of the child and immediately filed for divorce. And it's like even in those in instances, it's like men start to struggle with ED. They start to struggle with fertility issues. The the quality of the stuff isn't as strong, so the child's gonna have birth defects. So there's a there's a value of sexual vitality that's valued in both sexes, and that's why we tend to want to aim for mm. people in our age range, basically. And that's why men tend to shoot for lower. <laughs> well, it's, it's more so like women want a man who's a little bit older than her, t typically, just mm -hmm. because of his experience, his wisdom, he can provide more protection. But it's still like within five years, statistically. <laughs> Last thing on the looks thing, and then we're going to switch gears with a different topic. So an estimated 10% of men on dating apps are being pursued by the overwhelming majority of women who are on these dating apps, most of whom, I would argue, are trying to date well above what their looks, prospects, and personalities warrant. So this is why I do think, and, and why I tend to push back on this rating thing, and it's not to be mean, but it's actually to guide women, and here's why. And you might think, oh, Brian, blah, 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 you, you wanna hate women, no. What I see happening is, if women are so gassed up on their, if they have a false self-assessment of their own physical appearance, and just, um, i trying to think the best way to phrase this, if a woman has a false, false self-assessment of her own physical appearance and she's super gassed up, then she's going to, if she thinks she's a 10, then she's gonna start curving guys who are actually on her level and she's gonna think she deserves or is entitled to a certain caliber of man that's never gonna give her a commitment, that's never gonna give her a ring, that's never gonna give her a long-term relationship. So what you have happening is typically there's a percentage of men that are basically monopolizing a large, not all, this isn't playing out in all relationship dynamics, but you have a small percentage of men that have basically multiple girlfriends. At the same time, you're never gonna get commitment, they're just, 
you're going to be in the perpetual situation chips. You're going to jump from dick to dick to dick. And here's the thing. Men will gladly sleep, like say a guy's a 10, right? And I know you guys kind of object to these uh, rank order things, but a guy who's a 10 will sleep with a girl who's a 6. He's never going to commit to her, but he'll keep her around for sex. So as a woman, it's very important to have a reasonable and accurate self-assessment of your own physical attractiveness and your value in the dating marketplace. Otherwise, you're just going to keep getting, you're just going to keep getting fucked by these dudes who have no interest in long-term commitment. Meanwhile, the guys who are actually on your level, who are prepared to give you monogamous relationships, who will be dutiful and good boyfriends, you don't actually, even though they're on your level, they're on your, whether it's socioeconomic status, whether it's physical appearance, you're going to curve the dudes who again, are on your level, you'd think you're settling for them. And if you do end up with them, you're gonna treat them like shit because you think you're settling, you think they're, you're, you're above them, you think they're below you. And that's the big thing I see in the dating marketplace. A lot of these chicks are chasing after these top tier dudes. These top tier dudes just want pussy. They ain't ever gonna give you commitment. And so if you're gassed up and think you're hot shit, but you're not, here's the thing. A guy will sleep with, here's the difference between men and women. In order for women to sleep with a guy, so that guy needs to be at least physically attractive enough for you to be in a relationship with him. And women will project that onto men. You'll think, well, if he's sleeping with me, he must con be considering me, he must think I'm attractive enough to be in a relationship. But just on the physical attractiveness metric alone, a guy will sleep with you, but just on that sole thing, He'll keep you around for sex, but he will never give you commitment. And that's a big difference. So a dude who's really attractive, he'll fuck a girl who's less attractive than him, but he'll never give her a relationship. Can I comment? Sure. So I think when it comes to feminism, that's a point that I do put in your favor. Where it's very much a turnoff when it's like women are basically saying like, oh, I'm beautiful. I'm the standard. I'm a 10. But then when they look at men where it's like they might be slightly balding, they might be a little bit chubby or whatever, they then discard him and treat him like some sort of... Um, parasite or whatever so on that point it's like once again i hearken back to the fact that you can't just value a man number one for his physical appearance and also to have which brings me to my next point this society which basically primes women to hate men basically every facet of society is designed to make us think like for example gaston from beauty and the beast did you watch that one video where it's like you know, Gaston is actually the good guy and that, you know, the beast was actually the bad guy because the beast was like all of these emotional toxic. I haven't, I haven't seen it, but I know, I know Beauty and the Beast, yeah. So Gaston basically is the type of man which is strong, bold. He has, he's proposing to Belle. He wants to give her the world, but he's considered the bad guy in the movie. And this is something little girls watch. So it's like from the beginning of womanhood, you're basically denigrating men in every facet of academia, mainstream media. So when a woman sees a man with good qualities, there's something in her brain that automatically associates that person with villainous intent. Mm. So That's a very like, good point. I just wanted to come back to what Brian said because he actually said the most valid thing that I've heard him say so far. Because what he's basically saying is that, and it kind of shows, like I feel like it's mm -hmm. kind of shown through this podcast a little bit lately, um, but if you're not self-aware of how you're per perceived to other people, then you're going to get used and ran, ran over. I feel like that kind of leads into whichever one of you was saying you get rejected quite a bit. Miss girl. Mm -hmm. It's, mm -hmm. yeah, it kind of ties into the fact that you think you're, you're rejecting these men that are in your league maybe because you think you deserve or are going to be in a, specific. Yeah, in a higher bracket when in all reality, these men that are coming to you and you're rejecting, those are the type of men in that are... If I can address that, you mentioned, you mentioned like out of someone's league, right? Yeah. So here's the difference. If a guy who's like in a lower league tries to shoot his shot at like a more attractive woman, she's not going to look at him and be like, well, I can get easy sex from him. No, like it's an instant rejection, whereas women get right. rejected on the back end. You get rejected after guys fucked you a couple yeah. times or just once. So like you can't, women can like try to get with, like we all want to get the best we can get, right? The difference is, is men typically can't get anything. Mm -hmm. They can't get anything from a girl who's outside of his league, but a girl can get sex from a guy who's outside of her league. And that's where women get into trouble. And I don't like to, I don't like to see it. Mm -hmm. I don't like to see women getting played and like getting used by, like passed around by these dudes. Mm -hmm. And look, I, I do put some onus on men. Like I don't think dudes, 
me personally, I'm not interested in just running through a bunch of chicks. I'd much rather have a continuity with a girl. If I want to sleep with a girl, I want to keep seeing her. I'm not interested in a one-night stand. But like a lot of men who are able to sleep with a lot of women don't move like that. Yeah. So That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So, and, yeah. And as somebody who is like related to one of the guys that, you know, uh, preys upon women like you, um, can I just say that having very low self-esteem and also have having way too high self-esteem are like the two that go together mm -hmm. can i just say that like you like if you hate yourself like oh my gosh i don't care like i'll take whoever uh, i just want to be loved you're also gonna he like mm -hmm. he's coming for you but if you're also like i'm the best person in the world i love myself so much like you can't do anything to make me think otherwise mm -hmm. he's also coming for you and you're both gonna get mistreated so it's like and honestly, I think when you have that higher inflated ego, it's even worse, right? Because no man's gonna come in like like if you have a, a low self-esteem. Look still, because I mean we're talking about everything, but oh, also okay. just the way that you present yourself, like just verbally saying, so "Oh my gosh, like you know, this, uh, like uh, I guess like having that inflated ego." Okay. Yeah. It's. Yeah. But I mean, men like him are like looking for you. And that's what they look for. They look for low self-esteem or extremely high self-esteem because a lot of the times, extremely high self-esteem is just a big mask, you know, mm -hmm. because you have very low self-esteem. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, yeah. switch gears here. Um, we have Jeremiah Jenkins. For you to have a quirky and new response is fine. It's when he asks you a specific question and looking for your answer and you can't comprehend it. It makes you unintelligent, not the question itself. Not sure who this is directed to. Jeremiah Jenkins, dude. Uh, Appreciate this. I think this is your first time chatting. Thank you, man. Appreciate the patronage. Thank you for the uh, submitting the uh, super chat, man. Thanks. Uh, all right, we're caught up on all the chats. We have a bunch of pre-show notes here. I want to try to get through. Uh, you guys provided a ton of notes, so I will try to get through as much as I can here. Yeah, guys, go to Twitch.tv/whatever. Drop us a follow. Drop us a prime sub if you have one. Drop us a follow and a prime sub if you have one. Twitch.tv/whatever mods if you could spam it. Mm -hmm. In the uh, chat, uh, okay, so, geez, there's, there's so many pre-show notes here. Uh, and I do wanna try to give everybody a chance. Uh, okay, we were, we, I think we got everything there. Sorry guys, I'm just getting this caught up. We did, we did Stifler, right? Um, okay, we did that. Uh, sorry guys, one sec, I'm getting my notes here. Where do we go? Hold on guys, sorry guys. <laughs> I have too many notes. I actually, I'm gonna bring it. No, nah, I'm gonna save it for later. I'll save that for later. Okay, we have Angelica's Grass. Uh, you do ASMR videos, that's cool. You've dated an anarchist, disenchanted Catholic Italian, a Republican Baptist, atheist, liberal, communist, nihilist, twelve, twice your age. Um, women's strength so and how's yeah. What is ASMR? It's like, um, have we been through this already? It's like, pss, 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 like that sort of like sounds in your ears, basically. It's like supposed to relax you or whatever. Mm. Oh, like as in like the things that people listen to when they go to bed? Yes. Okay. Much, yeah. cool. Let me actually ask this. I want to just go around the table on this, starting with Zombri. Zombri, um, does anybody here having, have a dating, something dating related they'd like to get off their chest, starting with you? Mm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pull up that comment. Pull it back up. <laughs> I don't know. Can I go last? I can't think of anything. Right sure. Now. Anything dating related you want to get off your chest? Oh my goodness. I've never talked about dating and stuff like this for so long. Like this is such a, a conversation that like I don't even try to be involved with anymore. Like straight up femso vibes for for <laughs> right now. Like shoot. I, th I think that the porn industry erodes intimacy and undermines interpersonal relationships in every facet. And I now think that we're that's agreeing. a massive mm -hmm. factor a of modern point. dating. Yeah. yeah. I agree with that. You know, I do OnlyFans, but like, I can't change the whole like, <laughs> what history of question? porn. What's up? <laughs> like, what you, you, know? you said you, you do OnlyFans, but you agree with that. Yes, but like, I can't destroy porn. is still going to be made. So you think that just because something exists and it's, if it's inherently negative, then you have to be a part of it? Um, I'm just trying to make enough money so my mom's not homeless on the street. <laughs> you have to do Period. that doing OnlyFans, though? 
Yes. I mean, what can I do? Like, right now? I'm already in school. Like working forty hours a week, you don't make enough money to barely money. eat. Like what? Right, right. But like, there are other ways that you can make money besides only. But like, there are plenty, of, plenty, Tap plenty me of other in. ways. Can I if ask there's a one, I'd like okay. to know. Well, how about this? <laughs> you can also sell drugs. You can also become a hitman. <laughs> no, you can also get on the Silk know. Road and start, you know, selling whatever can you I, want. There are many, many different like illegal ways to make money. Can but I, also, can I ask if you want to work hard and if you want to apply even, yourself to something, then you can, you can create a new skill. Yeah, I'm in hair school right now and I want to be a hairstylist. But, like, that money won't come. I won't see money come from that. I understand the allure of, the allure of quick money. But don't you think that there's some, somewhere else that you could be putting your talents? You're clearly a clever girl. You're, clear, you're, you're working hard sure towards you something. Can. Yeah, but I I don't like I would speak into the mic, sweetie. If I made ten thousand dollars right now, that could get my mom an apartment for like. A is few is your is your mom not able to work? She's mentally ill. Very yeah. Yeah. And so, do you don't think that there's anything else that you can do other other otherwise than OnlyFans? Though the crypto is about to have a pump, you could learn a, learn an online skill, start up a business of some sort. I'm How, gonna, I'm what money are you gonna my, start like, up a business with? Learning, my learning abilities on like hair and cosmetology right now. Go, Why don't go you go give haircuts to your to friends and like the community and like you know, <clears throat> girl, that offer will not your be services. enough money. This is the only way to make wait, quick is, is your money. Mom uh, my school homeless? Your mom's currently homeless. Lower yes. levels. It's okay. Wait, on a, on a real note, this is not quick money. OnlyFans, no, you have to wait like three to five business days for it to go into like a, like. A pending amount and then three to five more business days for Imagine it to go in an to actual amount and then like another <laughs> oh, yeah. week or two for it to actually go in your bank account so it's not quick Ooh, can i say okay. something it's please? Like it's it's oh, it's job. so much more yeah. than the money and you actually literally just pointed that out it's so much more than the money what do you mean it's all about the money it's not about <laughs> the money 100%. no because a lot of girls don't even make like like you're making millions of dollars okay then it might be worth it right but that's like one percent the average woman on OnlyFans makes 108 dollars a month that's brutal. exactly what? so it's not it's about the money the, not, not in the top two percent not the top three the average user of OnlyFans makes less than a hundred dollars around a hundred dollars thank you it's not about the money what they're talking about is the morals okay the morals can we talk about hey guys that? sidebar conversations yeah. stop with the sidebar conversations one person talk at a time yeah so um I think, like, yeah, did would would your mom? Do you think if she, if you told her what you would have you told her what you're doing? Yeah. She's she's cool with it. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> she she, it's she, she hard would, to have a conversation with her. Yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying, and I do see the allure of it. But like, I just I, I can't see a, like, I can't fathom myself the the wanting to do that in terms of like the future repercussions of it. Because now when you're young, you don't see, you don't see how it's going to affect you in the future. And making money now compared to what you could be doing and the, and the limitation that it could put on you. Mm-hmm. If, you, if, you if you're looking at like getting married one day mm-hmm. and having a family and, and attracting... If they're a, not a, willing a, to a, accept a, me a for what I've done, then they can't, there's mm-hmm. the door. Okay, well, you can have that attitude, I'm, but then you know, you'll, you'll probably like, be... Like, whoever would yeah. be except me, like... Well, with that I'm attitude, not, you'll, prob- you'll probably be broken, lonely your whole life. I mean, you know, yeah, there's, there's no, I'd rather be broken, Hold lonely on. than walk There's a hella fool, moms you know? on OnlyFans, so, yeah. I mean, it's not impossible. But I would also say, like, in the case of your mother, it's like you... Unfortunately, we just have the moms that we have. That's just the case. But would you think that if, you know, when you decide to have children, would you want to, like, basically show a healthier example, someone who has, like, more of a principled and when I say principled I don't mean that you don't have any principles I mean that you demonstrate by action those principles but the who, things that you yeah. value okay. for but your she children also that she but go to school let's uh, look mm-hmm. we, oftentimes in, on the podcast we, get, we linger a little too long on <laughs> porn bad I don't want to really linger too long on it I mean uh, Kayla I, I mean I do want to at least commend you that you know it's while I perhaps may have disagreements when it comes to uh, the specific thing that you're doing. I mean, you, I think you have, there's a bit of a noble cause there in terms that you want to uh, support your mom. And I certainly hope that, uh, you know, whether it's one way or the other, you know, you're able to uh, find a way to uh, get her helped out, whether it comes to housing or so. whatever it may be. So, um, and I imagine that's probably a, certainly, I mean, a, 21, that must be a difficult thing to be dealing with, a mother who's dealing with some mental health issues and she's homeless. I imagine that's uh, not something that's uh, easy. So I wish you Godspeed on that, but I don't want to linger too long on, you know, because we do tend to linger a bit too long on, well, porn bad, and then we just get into debates about that. So um, what I do want to touch on <laughs> is, uh, <laughs> okay, uh, where was I? Um, I wanted to come, 
Yeah, we'll go around the table on this. Do you guys think you can be sexist against men? Starting with Zombri. <laughs> Define that question. Um, can you be sexist against men? I don't think so. I feel like I treat everything like equal, like between men. Mm. Towards who and what now? Yeah. You're quiet, so you gotta really speak into the mic. I think he was asking objectively, not personally. Mm -hmm. Like if people in general can like, be yeah, can, sexist. Can you, you know, you often hear, for example. Does sexism towards men exist? Can you be uh, sexist yeah, yeah. towards men? So. Okay, should I, double, should I double down on this question? Can you be racist against white people? That's another, <laughs> let, that, let's yes. double down on He's that. Really fishing, so why don't you answer no. both? He's really fishing. Um, I don't think so. Like I said. Mm. To both? Well, well, before we have anyone, we'll allow everyone on the panel to answer this question. What about, what do you think? I don't think you can be sexist towards men, and I don't think you can be racist towards white people. Mm. I, oh. think, I think that prejudice knows no color or any kind of bounds. You can be awful to anybody for any reason, and it sucks. Okay. Kayla? I agree with her. With, with who? Um, meow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. All right. I wasn't sure if you were pointing to our center. Yeah. Okay. Les, what about you? I genuinely think you can be sexist towards men and definitely racist towards white people. Okay, what about Both of those things definitely exist. Yeah. What about you, back there? Uh, yeah, I think it's the same. Okay. I agree. <laughs> Bro, way too many people sexist towards men. And, All right. yeah, you can be racist to white people. There you I go. can't say Based. the N word, but other people can. That's segregation of words. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay. Roll it back. 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 What did she say? What did she say? Repeat. She wants permission to. No, I have the pass from my friend. It's always the widest one. Okay, but you definitely don't say it. Okay. No, I'm not. But you definitely don't have the pass in front of me. Are you Are you part black? Full yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm half African and half European. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. So um, sh oh. she says you don't have the pass. How do you feel about that? Mm. No, then but I, the tea is, I, is that I don't, don't have it. Oh, you, you don't have it? So her abusive her. ex used to call me that. So. The, the N-word? Mm -hmm. That. Well, I don't encourage. I'm good off of. I, I don't encourage yeah, people using the that. N-word as. <laughs> no. Uh, so. Uh, I feel like. I know you can be sexist towards men because I'm the I'm that bitch that's always like, oh. no, that's a man's job. I ain't doing that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> well, here's the kicker: when it came to the ex calling you that word, but. did your ex call you the N word? Yes. Did he really? Can, yes. Yes. Dead, yes still does You're to this day. You're a little day. pale, I think, for that to have made sense. But that's okay. Crazy. Uh, hey, what, you don't care. Uh, yeah, you could absolutely be sexist towards men, um, and yes, you could absolutely be racist towards white people, and anybody who disagrees with me, I very much ask you to challenge me. I'm confused. As like, a, can wait, I get an example? Hold, yeah, hold on. Like, yeah, I, as a victim just, of physical racial violence, yeah, I ask you yeah, to challenge somebody me. Hold, I actually had yeah, I used to get beat up there. every single day for no reason, because I was, that sounds because like I was white. Cap. Uh, okay. That literally makes no okay, sense. Okay, you cannot you tell somebody else's Wait, hold on question. a second. Question. You hold cannot, on. You cannot, like call, you cannot Wait, call somebody uh, else's personal experience. Wait, 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 wait. That's hold just on. rude. Yeah. Hold on. Question, well, question for Arson. That to Arson. Me. I got a scenario for you. <laughs> yeah. I, I, Arson, are you, you, are you half white, half Asian? Is that? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Let's say a group of Asian people. Mm hmm found a white dude, mm -hmm. and they just started beating the fuck out of him, and they started that. calling him the C word yeah. while they were doing it. Wait. Would that, that be, cracker. would that maybe be racially motivated? Mm, I mean, maybe, but like historically, they probably deserve it. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> Are you wow. joking? If you're going to say that, if, like, I mean okay no harm when something. I say this, I was but if you're going to say that like, about okay. white people, you have to go ahead and flip that coin and be able to say it about the other races as well. What, do you mean, what did they do? Like, oh. <laughs> okay. Kayla, are you Thai? Yeah. Where, where you she's going to have to run what? when we go outside. So do you think a 12-year-old deserves to be beat up because they're white? Because I mean, of racial... Child, if you're just a child, heck no. Christ. 
But okay. you think anyone well, or even an adult be white like beat up because they're white? Ancestry. I think no one gets to deserves to be beat up. Unless, period. Unless but I like don't get really mad if I were to see that. You know, if you, I saw the other one, like that would incite like madness. That's and that's the problem. Wild that's, 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 an absolute, absolute that's the exact wild reason take. I didn't. She's get got help. some hot takes tonight. <laughs> no, Holy shit! Like, <laughs> honey, you're the problem. Arson. Get some help. What about it? Will we get off side list? Will we get off side list? Stop with the side conversations. Um, how have you arrived at that conclusion? Um, that's a good question. I don't know. Just hearing like all the stories about like all this messed up stuff they did in the past. Like, I'm not even yeah. black, but I have a grudge against them. Well, wait, but you're part, part white. Can I, you're part white. Can yeah. I just can I just take? And can, I we, have, can we go go down this path? Mm-hmm. What what stories are you referring to in particular? I don't know. Just learning stuff in history. Like, are you YouTube referring videos? to Hold slavery? Hold on a second. Can yeah, I just? Can we just? Exactly. Are you are you referring to slavery? Yeah, and just like the treatment of them over time since then, like all the discrimination. Do you think that uh, white people were the only ones who engaged in slavery? Pro- probably not. That's probably around the world too. Recently. Do you think that maybe the fact that you don't know that everybody engaged in slavery is part of the reason why you think the way that you do about this? Um, I don't know. I know. I don't think it has to do with my worldviews. I think it has to do with the insecurity of myself. I don't like the white part of me, so I kind of project that onto others, probably. Thank right. you. Right. Okay. Well, Is that's that well, racist? that's that's a pretty that's a pretty self-aware thing to say. But like, just in terms of your like knowledge, how do you think that like the uh, at the the transatlantic slave trade? How do you think they went about getting slaves? Like, what do you think the process was? Didn't they go up like I, that's that's part of America, right? They like went into Africa and stole them from their homes. Yeah, so you think that they just went to Africa and then like rounded them all up and like caught them, put them in sacks, and then put them on that's, the boat? That's pretty much what I the gist of what I got out yeah. of. So the reality of it is, and like it's not your fault for not knowing this, our education system is so flawed, mm-hmm. that the Africans who were sold in the slave trade were sold by other Africans. So there were slave markets in Africa where they would capture their own people and then sell them off overseas. And there was also the Barbary slave trade as well, which was um, like Arabic Barbary pirates who would capture white Europeans and enslave them too. And there was like over a million white Europeans that were enslaved during the Barbary slave trade. And the Arabics were ones were particularly brutal because they used to castrate the men. And then if they, if they were ever to be caught by like another ship, they would chuck them all overboard, slit their throats and chuck them over- overboard. So mm. sla- slavery happened around the world everywhere. So wait, are you trying to like say that like white people were slaves too? Yeah, white people were also slaves. That's where the term mm. slave comes from is the Slavic region. Exactly. That's why Eastern Europeans are so oppressed even within Europe. I don't know, but I didn't see them oppressed over here that much. Like didn't, I don't know. In history, I don't, I don't see books talking about the oppression of white people yeah that's why that's, do you think that's that's that problem. is <laughs> why do you yeah, think that is because schools push it <laughs> why do they leave out white people being a victim of slavery in history i feel like we only learn like u.s history mo- mostly like that's what i learned there was also more. racism against white people throughout the country as well mm-hmm. the italians faced persecution every iteration yeah. of a new the immigrant irish. faced irish. yeah irish the, and the scottish Holocaust? you know how people <laughs> make fun of the south you know how people make fun of that accent yeah. or whatever that's a scottish accent it comes from the Appala- they settled in the appalachian regions the hillbilly terms comes from the billy boys of you read your thomas soul hey i haven't no no okay <laughs> so i'm like there has been racism basically it's tribalism basically like everyone basically says this is my tribe i'm against that one this is my tribe i'm against that one the most evident and also the most culturally obvious one is between white and black people. But it's like, what is your definition of whiteness, which is always contested? And also when it comes to blackness, what constitutes blackness, which is another contested question. Right, because white oh. comes from a long line of like the Irish and all that. And like she so. said before, the word slave comes from the, the Slavic Slavic people. Yeah. So I'd also like to wild. clarify a question with you. Go ahead. So you basically said that you think that there is sexism against men, correct? Yes. I, what would you define as an example of sexism against men? Like when a man is like, oh, go make me a sandwich. Yes. And I'm like, all right, you know what? Go dig that hole outside. Yes. Like, I feel like that's very much sexist. I, I, I would that's reverse equality. that. I would say, if, so. I would say sexism against men, I would say sexism oh. against men is truly defined by denigrating healthy masculinity and expecting them not to do those sort of things. I think if you expect a man to be in his feminine, to be like, oh, be more emotionally expressive, they naturally don't go in that direction. Women are more like psychologically internal, so we need that venting that sometimes men have to kind of basically maneuver. Men but I think physical. that's truly the definition of sexism, is to denigrate the patriarchy, denigrate masculinity, 
And to be sexist is to basically say, submit yourself to me. Let me take care of you. Let me coddle you. At that point, you're basically I mean, neutering. Honestly, even, me. even in this generation, I feel like it's becoming more of that where these men are expecting... Or they're like lacking the sassy man at the yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like lacking something to where like, oh, they're now the females of this generation. Mm -hmm. The women were raised by independent females but and they're who, like the men, you who know. Who do you think is in part in a grand step playing for that? Like who do you think is contributing to that largely? What do you mean? Contributing like to a lot of the rhetoric that you hear from women is basically like, oh, you know, that woman expects too much. I'm going to be able to take care of him. I'm going to provide him X, Y, or Z. But when it, no, comes to the, when it comes to the practical application of it, as we kind of see sometimes, when you give a man so much that's not healthy for him, it's not nurturing, it's not peace, it it's not something that you're from your natural femininity, yeah. it's mm -hmm. basically like you're taking yourself for granted. You're taking your own virtues for yeah. whatever. You're letting him take advantage of you, basically. But it's also like... I don't know. I, I kind of lost the stream of thought, but it's it's pointless. It's useless. Like it's basically trying to live up to a man's role, which it just doesn't naturally play out that way. Yeah. There's something to be said about the fact that if you say to a woman, "Make me a sandwich," that's meant to be derogatory. But if you say to a man, "Do the do like mow the lawn," he's like, "Okay." Right. <laughs> Right. It's my it's my role. I don't know. I just have never I just never seen sexism in my personal life. So I just like I don't even know what you're talking about really. Like, you know what I'm Mental saying? Mental health. Do you guys um, labor? True. Do you guys like, think that safety? Uh, the, the, the um, fact that men get treated more harshly in the court of law is sexist? Yes. Towards yes. I, I don't yes. think it's sexist. No. I think that the as we've law? discussed with psychopathy basically, like when a woman demonstrates psychopathy because of her physical disadvantages, she can only go so far. When a man demonstrates psychopathy, he can brutalize someone basically. So I'm like, in that respect, I still think that there is supposed to be that gender binary. So you think that if a woman puts a gun to somebody's head and pulls the trigger, man does the exact same thing, they should be treated differently? I think yeah. they should be treated exactly the same in that respect. It's the same crime. Yeah. But men tend to be more prone to that type of behavior. So if, 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 they do mm -hmm. it, if they do it to, a, to a, like a more extreme extent, then I would agree that they get treated differently. Yes. But for the same crime, women get lesser sentences. I'd say it's because we're still trying to deprogram or deconstruct, unfortunately, that binary. Because mm. women, when they committed a murder back in the 1800s, they weren't even like barely prosecuted, basically, for it. We were seen as being the docile sex. We were seen as being politically neutral when we didn't vote. We were seen as being like the weaker vessel. And society took care of us, and they basically took that into account. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, we're s they're still trying to deprogram that. They're still okay. trying but to so, deconstruct so, that. So do you, do, but like, would mm -hmm. you disagree with just like the no like other circumstances that crime happening would you think that it's sexist that a man gets a worse punishment in terms of the prison it, would, it is sexist yes. yeah. yeah it's definitely sexist well i mean there's actually a case no, that's kind I of didn't. recently related to us and i forgot if we had brought this up on the previous show there was recently a woman who mur stabbed her boyfriend to death like over a she stabbed him a hundred times in a oh, weed induced psychosis oh, oh yeah I and that. she got off <laughs> on a hundred she murdered someone, manslaughter. Um, she got she got a hundred hours of community service, zero time in prison, zero right. time in jail. Uh, she got probation for two or three years, and got a hundred hours of community service for killing somebody. Imagine if we did that and then we and just went stabbed, after a man because I got if, high. If you were Jesus. if you were to reverse the genders, same circumstances. Oh my God, he was a, in a weed induced psychosis. Yeah. Bro, that dude's doing years in fucking prison. I think the reason I push back on this one is mostly what is the end objective then? Do you <clears throat> want men and women to be socially basically punished at the same level? Or Absolutely. Do you want, yeah. Pause. Or do you want like, men to continue being full of their agency and to basically say women don't have this level of agency? They're going to be basically put back into their quote unquote place. I think that there are certain there are certain mm -hmm. like examples of things where if you take another human life, no, yes. then it, it, like that. Then in, in, in any any circumstance, that is something that is worthy of a not, very severe punishment. No, I don't Gypsy think Rose? necessarily. She should have never went to jail. It I is, mean, I mean, if you wait, it, I'm not it's familiar. I heard of her. What was? Yeah. Can can somebody give us like a ten second recap? She killed her mom. So pretty much, her mom kept her like secluded her whole life, put her in a wheelchair, like made up to her and all these doctors saying she had all these diseases as she was sick. She'd never be able to walk, do this, that, and the third. Turns out, Gypsy Rose was like finding out she can walk. She didn't have all these sicknesses. 
her mom was just keeping her pretty much hostage. So she killed her mom, her and her boyfriend at the time. Yeah, her mom, her mom would like physically abuse her, drug her, yeah. and force her to be pretend she's mm. paralyzed her whole life. Yeah. See, I think that there's probably some sort of a moral justification for what they did then. Exactly. I also think that people who do bad things to children, it's there's a moral justification to kill them, or at least, you know. Um, yeah, like, I agree. But, I mean, but I, I'm not familiar with the case, but I, I'm assuming that these alleged abuses were provable. Like, yeah. 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 it was... Mm -hmm. I mean, again, they made I don't, a whole, I don't yeah, know the court But that has nothing to do with it. We were talking... Again, like, the movie I, agree, but also I agree with all of these points, but I also ultimately say that a point in feminist she literature is to make equality so much so that women are also drafted into a military conscription. They want to reach this point where we do are it. truly... <laughs> <laughs> the, to the front <laughs> lines. And then get half of the front lines mowed down, bro. Yeah, that sucks. Half it's like, that's more because like, you're um, putting those women who can't phys physically... Equals so equal. Father, right? The the consequence oh. of that equals is equal. the consequence oh, of that is if you don't like modern women <laughs> clamoring for equality, <laughs> maybe this is, push this is away all it from takes. Those issues. It doesn't I, take strength. Yeah. Of I, 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 I see what I see what you mean, but like those are different. Like for example, women being drafted. The reason why that women don't get drafted and shouldn't get drafted is because they're physically inferior, inferior to men, or they're physically inferior to men, True, and that's yes. why. True. Yes. Men make better warriors. But I I completely agree. But once again. Feminism does not account for reality. It wants us to be legally, politically, in every virtue, in every way, eh, the same. But, then, but you've got it's some. You've got some of them at the moment. But then there's still all of this, like f these feminists fighting for equality in every single regard, except for going on the oil rigs and except for driving the ice road trucks, which is essentially your point, and I do agree with you. But with the specific case of murder, I think that if you kill someone and you do murder in the first degree you you deserve a very severe punishment because i don't see the i don't see the difference unless you want to say that women are not as in control of their faculties which i haven't seen the literature on no. i do i do agree that yes if someone kills someone it doesn't matter what sex they are they should receive the same punishment but i do think that there's a reason why men and women have always been treated differently in society and it's to reinforce the fact that there's a lot i agree of with that i agree with you but well, just in, in terms of murder it's a bit different yes. i think and, and I mean, you also, you also made the argument that there's like a cohort of feminists out there that are trying to equalize the draft. I mean, I just don't see any evidence for that, really. I don't think there's a large swath of women or feminists who are trying to get equalization in the draft. And I mean, you feminists and women have had over a hundred years to make that an equal thing so really the, the when it comes to feminism you're saying well there's this there's this cohort of feminists who who want equality in all realms i actually disagree feminism yeah. is purely at its mo in the most generous sense of how i define feminism it's a woman's advocacy movement and it goes against women's advocacy to advocate for the equalization of the draft because nobody wants to be drafted. However, the reality is men are the only ones that are subject to military conscription. So what feminism is, is it's purely, again, in its most generous sense, I think feminism is much more nasty than how I'm defining it in the best, most good, good light way I can frame it. Feminism is women's advocacy, but here's the difference. If Feminism is not a fight for equality because if some sort of, some version of equality comes to the detriment of women and not their benefit, said feminists will not fight for said equality. If you don't stand to benefit in some way by the introduction of some type of equality, AKA uh, the, the equalization of military conscription in the draft, feminists aren't gonna fight for it, even though that is the supposed and alleged mission statement of feminism. Are so, you, Are you familiar with Phyllis Schlafly? Yes, Phyllis Schlafly. Schlafly uh, not okay. really, no. So she was trying to, or not she, but rather the feminists of the 70s were trying to propose the Equal Rights Amendment, which would make military conscription necessary for 50 women. 50 years later. That being said, no, no, no. It's not wait, there yet. The mind, Feminism has always been for a minority of women. The majority of women have always resisted it to the social conditioning that they've received. So for example, what we see nowadays is women rejecting the idea of like redefining gender, redefining sex, but unfortunately what the establishment pushes is for that minority of women's voices because it will fractalize society to a point where we're, more, we're all more controllable. But mm -hmm. feminism has always been something that every single generation has opposed. So during the Equal Rights Amendments, they basically posed that women and men should be exactly the same. I would and say that I, I get what has you're saying. Has feminism been but, opposed? But, but, but yeah, over the last it's 20 years or so. The anti suffragette you, movement has always, there's always been. But look, but look, but look over the last 20 years. Feminism is. Yeah. The culture. 
Feminism yeah. is the mainstream. Mm -hmm. Feminism has its claws in every system yes. and every institution in this mm -hmm. country. If you can, if you look at the higher education system, if you look at corporations, if you look at governments, if you look at media, if you look at news, if you look at journalism, these are very like feminist influence institutions mm -hmm. and systems. And also the, the, the podcast that we're on right now is a perfect example of it. And all of the other podcasts that have been sort of in the more manosphere, red pill space, they get demonized to no end mm -hmm. because finally some people are actually talking talking to men in the modern world and these podcasts get called toxic masculinity and you guys hate women and all that when really it's just a bunch of men getting together to try and figure out how to sort of navigate the modern dating world and then you get these podcasts where we come and speak to you guys and we might call you delusional at times etc but yeah so this these podcasts are a perfect example of the way that if you dare to question feminism in the modern world you will get dragged from pillar to post i completely oh, agree attacked. and the same yeah. thing Major. And the same thing happens to women where if you question feminism you're considered anti-woman that's always been the rhetoric that, the tactic that they've true. used since the dawn of time and every iteration of feminism that we're acquainted with is the one that came from the generation before that established it as the mode of academia of psychiatry, of media, of X, Y, or Z. So that's why it's like in every generation you basically have to look back to the paleoconservative era where that was the dominant culture and think, okay, well, if they reflect the same mindset that we have nowadays where we're resisting the new but wanting to with basically retain the old, or yeah, basically retain the old and we have some criticisms of what's currently going, oh, excuse me, of what's currently going on, then maybe then our quote unquote progress should basically be a return to tradition. Here, let's. Yeah, um, I agree with that 100%. To bring it back to Arson here, Arson, I think this all got started because we were asking, we can, you be, for a second. can you be racist against white people? Can you be sexist against men? If I recall, you said no to both, correct? Yeah, I just haven't seen it, I don't know, in my personal life. So okay. like, I don't know, I feel like if, maybe if can, I just seen what yeah. you're talking about. Can like, I ask you a question? So do you think, for example, with the George Floyd situation, right? Mm -hmm. um, do you think that George Floyd's killing was evidence of racism. Towards him, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. to, well, to, I mean, is it, was it more like almost a general societal okay, yeah, racism yeah, against black people? Definitely societal sure. influences there. Okay. Can I add something to that? I was there when it happened. He tried to stab a woman in the stomach and kill her, and she was with child. He was also on drugs. I thought it was a mm -hmm. gun. Okay, he but that 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 doesn't affect he the fact that they the already had him down on the ground. Like oh, he wasn't he in the middle of stabbing him when they killed him. You were there. What are they supposed yes. to do after so. he just stabbed a woman? He was already in cuffs, laying on the ground. Are they not supposed to detain him? Are you are you, are you trying to argue it's valid that they killed George Floyd? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's what it sounds like. Can I can I just that's literally what you're arguing? Can I elucidate what they said for you? Please don't yell at my friend again. Hold on a second. So so they're saying that that was you're saying that was a separate incident, yeah? Wait, I gotta play. Wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta play one thing. Hold on. Okay, keep going. Um, Sorry, yeah. you guys were going at each other. So, <laughs> so, so she's saying that it's a different, it's a different incident at a different time when he did that to that lady. So it's kind of more of a reflection of his character. But on the day, um, he was also very high on fentanyl, and it's come out in the uh, in the post in the coroner report that he was actually didn't really die from asphyxiation. No, the placement right. of the knee was based off of an Israeli defense tactic or technique that they would do, but it was towards the lower part of his neck, so it couldn't have basically constricted sure. his air pipes. I'm not really trying to get into a debate about yeah. the death. There does seem to be like some some dispute over over that, but well, <laughs> uh, let me let me make my point. So, but it sounded to me like you said that that was evidence of some sort of uh, uh, sexism, or sorry, excuse me, not sexism, uh, racism. You know, the, the police perhaps are racist against black people. And I mean, after the death of George Floyd, there was a widespread like anti-racist movement, typically, you know, Black Lives Matter, for example. Um, would you agree? I agree that cops suck. Like, I don't know, like. <laughs> okay, I like... will have a question on that. But, but so <laughs> now if, if that is evidence of racism towards black people, the discrepancy between, for, for example, and there's some dispute about the statistics, statistics on this, the discrepancy between, for example, they say that, and again, I've heard some conflicting uh, arguments on this, that the f that black men or black people are more likely to be uh, victims of p police brutality, police misconduct, mm -hmm. police killings, for example, and that's evidence of uh, racism. Now, when it comes to, could we make the argument that because, for example, white men are killed more frequently than women of any race combined, would that be, since you've 
agreed that they police... probably have a reason, a good reason for being it's... dead. Then, and so you're gonna odd. say that there's a good reason for a white person to be dead over a good reason for a white or a black person to be dead? Mm, no, I didn't say they're better, but I'm just I'm saying like okay, I'm generalizing saying there's a good reason. You know, obviously good people die also, but like if you're trying trying to talk about statistics, like there's probably you know. I don't know nothing about statistics. Well, let's but talk about I've statistics. Uh, you know, but, but you don't know nothing about statistics. Right. Um, we're talking about a very small fraction of the population. We're talking I'm like 18 percent of the population is black. They make up over half. Well, let's not go there. But uh, oh, um, I think anyways, violent crimes. Original though, question. That, that's relevant. <laughs> that is very not, relevant. Not the views expressed. Do we by not the go down a spiral about racism? The views by the other panelists racism. do not necessarily reflect the views of the whatever podcast. Um, okay, wait. So, <clears throat> I'm, it's not sure if you're going to engage with me on that. So I'll, I'll change the topic. <laughs> go around the table. Would you date? I'm. Where's Zombri? <laughs> Zombri, I need your input. <laughs> Zombri. Is she in the bathroom? She's peeing. Okay. I want to ask a question. Um, Do you think that you're like, like the Mm -hmm. algorithm on your social media is probably like a reason as to why you say you've never seen these other scenarios before? Mm -hmm. I try not to go on my phone that much. Like I, I really only go, like I don't be on my phone like doom scrolling anymore. Mm -hmm. I definitely used to when I was like bored a lot. But all right, so good. My Instagram shows me memes and like funny cats. Mm -hmm. So, but you saw like BLM, you saw like all the riots and stuff like that. Oh yeah, yeah. So you saw that, but you didn't see the. You never see. Wait, I'm confused how this is racist towards white people. All you're telling me is all this stuff. No, I'm just like all this stuff that. I think that it's actually like this is a very mainstream Mm -hmm. sort of point of view. If you if you're apolitical, if you don't really focus too much on politics, Mm -hmm. you don't really look look into it too much. And if, if you don't really but care about it too much, fed the, you, yeah, no. But this yeah, is what I'm saying. Though. If, if you yeah. if you don't really look into it too much, then this will be because of this is this dominant mm-hmm. societal narrative, yeah. mm-hmm. which is unfortunate. Exactly. But um, yeah. So the question is, Zombri, going around the table, would you date a police officer? Mm, probably not. Why is that? Are you able to scoot oh, into yeah. the table in this way a little bit? But uh, why is that? Actually, I don't know. Maybe if he was like cool, with, like dressed cool. cool and stuff. Okay. All right. (laughs) Definitely not. Definitely not. Why is that? I feel like they'd be scary. Like, (laughs) uh, girl, I'm gonna get caught. No, I'm just kidding. (laughs) Get caught. Get caught doing what? I don't know. They just scare me. They just scare me in general. Like, I was just. Anytime I've like interacted with a cop, they've been so mean and so rude. So I wouldn't. Mm. They probably all got anger issues. And I just here we'll we'll come back to that. But I'll, I'll let everybody answer the question. Would you date? Police officer. Um, I would. Okay. No. No. Any any reason? I'm pretty sure, like statistically, that they are like more. There's more domestic violence issues with like cops. Okay. Yeah. I I also would not date a fed. Uh, <laughs> would not. <laughs> would not date a fed. Okay. I what about you? The fed, so. <laughs> no. Um. Probably not. But again, I'm. Wouldn't take the fed. Subject to change. I'm a I'm a person who gets to know people, so like probably yeah. not, but okay. you know. What about you back there? Mm, I wouldn't because my dad was a former cop and I saw how that affected him. She's a plant. She's huh? a plant. <laughs> as in, as in you're a, it means that you've been put here by the CIA to spy on us. Uh-huh. <laughs> back there, I see you. What about you? Yeah, I would. Okay. I would. Um, for the same reason, I, I would have some hesitation because of the forty percent DV stat. Mm, okay. Can I actually say my only like reservation as the one who said that, like I would? Yeah. My biggest reservation would be the same reason why having a military spouse would be very difficult would be the high mortality rate and possibility. Mm. And so, especially depending on if, if if it's the two of us, you know, together, I feel a lot more reasonable. Okay, you're taking that risk, and I'm the only one at fault. If we have children, and you're putting your life on the line every day intentionally, mm. that's a big conversation to have. It's a good point. It's, it's a mm-hmm. stressful job, you know. Um, going back to you, Arson, uh, you seem very passionate about this one. Mm-hmm. You just, you, it sounds like oh, you just don't oh, like Oh, I police. thought you were going to ask me a oh, question. You just don't like police officers, it sounds oh. like. You just don't generally like Bruh, police officers. Literally. Wait, here's a, let me ask you a question. Or, go ahead, go ahead. Go I've, ahead. Seen, I've seen cops, bro, I had the SWAT team called on me one time. What did you do? <laughs> Arson. 
<laughs> we were literally just playing with fake guns, um, like like filming like a video where we were pretending to be spies, and like the whole like SWAT gets called on us because we were like on top of a parking garage, and they were so mean, like oh my like, god, like, <laughs> like we were like a bunch of like like girls dressed in like tiny like freaking like crop tops and like tall platforms were obviously not doing anything wrong yeah and i don't know they were just like telling us to get on the ground and like <laughs> like all the scary stuff aiming like big ak's at us and like there was like three cars and i was just like Shh. you know what i mean have you and ever thought about starting a podcast up <laughs> Sto- story time you know what we should be so good we should sign we should sign arson please to dude you, you've got talent to the whatever <laughs> it's gonna be arson girl uh Zom- zombri kayla we're just you guys and your <laughs> yeah arson and, Ka- and you're just laughing in the background the whole Ka- kayla's like <laughs> perfect the, demons uh, perfect little thing <laughs> all right it's in the works we'll draft up the contracts we'll get them to you uh here soon um so okay you got the swat team came but you don't you would not what if he was all blasted in tats and he listened to my chemical romance if it was cool it was cool, like you guys look sick, like officer? you know. I'm typical, gonna let you off, but you know the typical cop. They took all of our stuff. Oh shit! Like I don't know, they're just so rude. And then there's been like another time where my my boy my ex boyfriend like got arrested and stuff because oh. they thought he was like he thought he was this guy who like got in a shooting down the like the block over down the block. And so like literally they manhandled him. They were like knocking on our door saying they're gonna break shit. down our door. And um, like it was just a whole thing. They stole his phone. They put him in the cop car. Like it was like a whole thing. He whole literally thing. didn't do anything. So I just literally like, did nothing. Yes, yeah, literally did. How nothing. could they do that? Because <laughs> Rude. he looked Rude. like the suspect, which was crazy because he was wearing he had bright purple Mistaken hair identity. and he was wearing a rainbow fu- hoodie. <laughs> like I was like, what? How shirt? many motherfuckers <laughs> got <laughs> like purple hair? Literally, or hoodie. <laughs> oh, like this man knows shit. It. But. Okay. Yeah, so just like you know, interactions I've had personally, I just don't okay. like them. Do you, th- do you think though, like aside from not wanting to date them, do you think like we need police officers? Probably, there's okay. probably situations okay. where you need them. All right, there we go. But not dating them. There we go. <laughs> Some situations. Okay. All right. Um, good to know. Good to know. Okay, let me try to get through everybody's notes here. We did have a chat come in. Let me read that really quick. We have Pepe Silvia. Hey, Brian, can you please give the people what they want and ask Dog Girl to explain what a woman is? Oh, okay. Well, why don't we go around the table and have everybody... Oh, God. That's such an intricate question. It's really not. Starting you're with... You're setting us up for failure. Starting with... No, purpose. he's not. Starting with the homegirl, Zombri. Oh. What is a woman? Uh, I guess a woman is like someone that should be like independent and take care of themselves. and I don't know. Mm-hmm. That was a very wholesome answer, okay. Um, Arson, what about you? Women are awesome. We're fairies. We know magic. We're witches. We're just like these mystical, mythical oh. creatures that run the world and just just liberate the world and dominate it as well. Mm-hmm. Yes. A woman is a biological human female. It's very simple. <laughs> See, meow's base sometimes. I think people I like meow now. I, look, I have fun. You know, I, have, I have surprises. Meow's good. Yeah. I'm sorry we fought before. Let's not fight again. <laughs> I think people just assume based on the way you look that you're gonna have. I'm the same way. I well, I think you're. I think I like the thing too. is, is you're like temperamentally a disagreeable person, and that that uh, agreeability. It's. I'm not. That's not like an insulting thing. Agreeability is one of the big five personality traits, and I think you're probably. Uh, you strike me. I mean, look. Granted, you've been invited to a show to share your opinions and whatnot, but uh, you're probably. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. You strike me as a very disagreeable person. Carmen, would you say, knowing me in my personal life, that I'm a disagreeable person? Not really. Are you oh. guys friends? Okay. Yeah, you guys look like friends. unlikely friends. Why? No, we're best friends. I don't know. Why are we? Did you say why are you friends? No, I, <laughs> no. I, was, I don't see the not being friends thing. Really? I, I, it, I thought I didn't. I just wouldn't have picked. I mean, the, it's just physical. I mean, like eccentric, they're, homely. They're both, exactly. It's very exactly. Both kind of pale. It. Of yeah. course, they're friends. I mean, I'm, I'm pale too. I'm pale. Oh my God. Yeah. I think a lot of it is your facial I expressions. Know, right? I would have thought you guys would be friends. Yeah. Like, what, what about them? Like when you're talking to people, you're like, you're very expressive. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Like I think that, you have yeah. RBF. What's it called? What's it? R- R- bitch bitch face. Face. You also have acting. Well, I'm a female dog, so. You have acting <laughs> bitch face, too. Okay. Like bitch. <laughs> um, good talk. Uh, what's a, what is a woman? 
Um, <laughs> whatever you want it to be. No, Kayla. <laughs> <don't>. <laughs> okay. Come on, She's Kayla. She's, like, trying so Kayla, hard not to get canceled. <laughs> uh, like, biological, like, what you're born with. And then also if, like, after, like, 20 years you think you're a female, then I think you can have the right to call yourself a female. Mm-hmm. So, like, you can become a woman. Yeah. Well, you said female. <laughs> female, woman. Like, that's very... Bad. Female's like sex. That's very... Woman. You can't become a... Nobody can become a female. There's some debate over whether you can become a woman, though. Okay, well, Womanhood as a cultural, like, social norm and transition versus biological... Well, yeah, it depends. I, I, mean, I mean, I'm, like, sort of just arguing the other side of this. And, mm. you know, there's gender and then there's sex. Nobody right. can become... Like, when we're talking about sex, we're talking about male, female, gender, woman, man... I don't know how much I buy into that, but um, good talk. Okay, what about <laughs> what about you, Les? Uh, I think a woman is definitely like how she portrays herself, how she carries herself. I don't really think. I don't know. I think it really is just yeah. how you carry yeah, yourself. How you carry yourself. Yeah. Okay. All right. What the, What about you? Oh please. Um, <laughs> I agree with them. Like what for the is a long. Woman? For the longest time, okay, you know what? I'm trying to like not say something For wrong, the y'all. Time. Stop. <laughs> but definitely Stick biologically closely. female, just because I think there's too many issues that are just occurring with. Can I just scoot your mic? This oh yeah. Way, uh, this yeah, perfect. Okay, so definitely being biologically female at birth, um, only because I just feel like there's way too many issues currently that just outweigh the fact of like somebody trying to be heard. I'm sorry, y'all, but like. Protecting the kids, like you know, protecting like so, so women in shizzle. general. Yeah, like, I stand on that. <laughs> Easy. What about you? Uh, yeah, I think a woman is something like biolog- biological, oh, but okay. also you could. What about homegirl back there? Wait, what's your name again? It's, what was Musk Muskrat? Is that your Instagram <laughs> username? Um, Funkasaurus. Yeah. Funk Muskasaur. What is it? Crunkasaurus. Oh, Crunkasaurus. She gets crunk. <laughs> okay. Shit. Yeah, I just mainly agree with all these gals. Just like what well, you're biologically born as a woman, yeah. and then how you hold yourself. Have you ever yeah. slashed somebody's tires? Yes. I've thought about it. You thought about? Okay, just. But I don't want to go I, to jail. So okay. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> I just had an intuition for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Carmen. Mm-hmm. One sec. Oh, okay. uh, d- just we'll come back okay. to it. Okay. Um, I mean, I have trans friends. They're cool, but a woman is biologically female. Mm-hmm. Same. So, so. I would say same answers her. Biological female, but there's also an essence of womanhood that needs to be complementary yeah. to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, we have another chat here. Vaton thought. Brian feminist always rug pull. Right to vote. No responsibility draft. F- FGM ban. Nineteen ninety six. No circumcision ban. Circumcision is objectively a human rights violation. Which women on the panel would ban it? I mean, I'm Jewish, so like, I'm not, a, I'm not about that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, can wait, I ban it? Circumcision? Circum- like, it would you ban circumcision? circumcision? You say like, you're, you're in favor of it, yeah? Wait, let's, I'm sorry? You're in favor of it if you're Jewish? To, to, to like ban, cir- ban circumcised? Yeah. Like, I, like, I, 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 yeah, I don't, un- oh, I don't oh. see any other reason I mean, besides could, an aesthetic reason to circumcise yeah. okay. a child, oh, so, wait, so, so that's what I'm saying. Oh, so you're in favor of banning it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Isn't it okay. like the extra skin? Yes. Like, there's a higher possibility of getting like. No, that's fake, what they, they, they say. Yeah, but like fake cleaning news. your dick. Fake news. Like, yeah. <laughs> either yeah. either fake that news. or like if you're cutting it off, like they're cutting it off so they can have sex with more girls. Like, well, no. from what I understand, it, it you lose decreases. sensitivity and you lose yeah. a lot of <gasps> factors about how you use. Yeah. Your dick. And like it's, that's really unfortunate to take that away from a child that doesn't even have a, have a choice. Like, yeah. you didn't even grow up yet, so it's different. How can you hurt your? B- oh my God. How do you Wait here. Let's just get everybody's answer. Are you in favor of banning circumcision? Um, not necessarily, but I have heard that it like causes more like health issues. So, being uncut or being cut? Being uncut. Fake news. Okay, but I don't know. I think it's absolutely disgusting to have sports again. Like I remember one time I pulled it back. It tasted like dank cheese. Bro, I was, I, that's <laughs> just yeah. Yeah. Bro, you are exposing oh yourself. Nah, you are exposing she's talented. Yourself you can miss I like me with it. all that. You can miss me with all that. Can, can, I mean, I I sort of object to your view, but at least I give you credit for being. I love watching you say it. Like <laughs> honest. She's got like no filter. Like forthcoming. Yeah. She's 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 honest. She's Who's blunt. She's forthcoming. Something that is appreciated on the show, even if we disagree. Um, I think you stated your position, Kayla. What about you? Um, I think ban it, yeah. Based, Based. Kayla. Mm, I definitely think it should be 
up in the air, like preference. I don't really think. Wait, Ivory, can you move? Your mic is kind of blocking her. Well, I feel like it should be banned because, like, you're doing it as a kid, like when they're born. Like, there's like a, they yeah, don't have a choice. They don't have a choice. If they, they want, to, I don't, if they want to do it later when they're like actually yeah. can think for themselves. Yeah, but I don't know. I feel like I've met a lot of men that are like, oh no, like. I couldn't have extra foreskin. Like, how would they know though? Like, there's no yeah. way to know. What do you mean? Well, like, well, if you've been so cut, no, if you... they're uncut, like that's what I'm saying. If they're uncut, the guys that like grew up, there, they're like, oh shit, like I didn't get fucking. What are the negatives of being bro, like, cut? Like, mm -hmm. what? Losing sensitivity. Um, it's yeah, sensitivity. psychologically traumatizing for the baby. They lose their sexual pleasure. There's a dullness in general, and also it's a necessary part of the body. Greater there's no place reason for, for it. To grow as well. There's no need for it, it to be like cut. Looks like they have enough pleasure. I don't know. I've never seen a guy that's circumcised and be like, I'm not getting enough pleasure right now. Like, <laughs> he wouldn't would would know. He wouldn't know because he was robbed uh, in childhood. Well, yeah, they wouldn't. They I wouldn't have know. anything to compare it to. So. <laughs> But what um, if we can personally make those comparisons based on our experience? What do you What do you mean? Like between sleeping with a guy who's cut and sleeping with a guy who's uncut. Well, that's about your experience, the way that you feel, not his sensitivity, not his experience. I mean, I guess. I think she's talking about like how quickly. What? You know. Oh yeah. Wait. What? Wait. Like, oh, whoa. How easy it is. I to was about to ask. I was about to ask. Does that make do sense? Do they circumcise in Australia? Well, yeah. Do they do? Well, they do sometimes. The Some, sometimes. Not this guy. Oh, but they oh. do sometimes. Hey, that's hard, right? <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Stop. Okay. This girl needs to chill. What? Somebody please. Oh no. Why? There's water right Wait, here. Wait. Chill about what? What's she? Nothing. I'm confused. Mr. Ozzy, but it's okay. Is. Wait, are, is there like what? a love connection? No. What's going on? I mean, it no, might be one way. A baddie. I've never been described as a baddie before. Bad. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, circumcision over here. I'm really Band glad them. that my partner's uncircumcised. I would ban circumcision. Based. I mean, Based. my ex was uncircumcised. Not really. I what does it really like, mean? <laughs> isn't it great? No. When they Good. actually feel okay. pleasure? Okay. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, they're feel. I feel like they're feeling oh. pleasure either way. You You're can't really determine. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Well, what if I threw what if I threw this statistic out there? Let's say that in three percent of it might be less than this. I don't know if we can look up the statistics. Let's say one percent of circum circumcisions go wrong. Like there's some sort of damage that occurs. Like they they like cut some part and it there at the end of the cases. day. I've seen it. There's yeah. even men who, some men uh, will have, they'll, the whole penis gets chopped off. Part of it gets mm -hmm. chopped off and they lose sexual function. Let's assume that that's even just 1%. On, on that basis alone, do you think it would be warranted to just do away with the practice of circumcision? Maybe. Are there disadvantages though of having that foreskin on or no? Sure, there may, look, there, there are some men, for example, who perhaps their foreskin doesn't form properly and they okay. might have difficulty uh, I, I think there are some men where it, it, it's too, the skin's too tight yeah. and it mm -hmm. causes them pain. I don't know how frequent that is, mm -hmm. but... But well, wouldn't you find that out later? <laughs> you would, and I mean, you would, you may, if the pain is substantial, you may want to undergo a surgery in adulthood. Then I guess I had a maybe as that, an yeah. infant, yeah. like, yeah. until they have that choice, then yeah, I guess it should be taken out of yeah, a choice. Like that condition choice. is typically it's for infants, and they usually grow out of it. Mm. I had a guy who's mm. who had just he's just didn't fit, you know. Mm -hmm. So he had to get it done when he was like fourteen. Good yeah. friend of mine. Wait, no, but that's what I'm saying. Wait, like, just, I think it was just he just the pussy. It kept, no, it just kept no. growing, and then it just got too sort of. No, like, it's like yeah. it like oh. poke out. Yeah, something happened. I, don't, I didn't know, I didn't ask the finer details, Brian. But oh, okay, right. okay. I know what happened. Here, going to arson. She's back. I want to touch really quick. You said you've transcended dating and that you're in a cult that's focused on world liberation and domination. We'll <laughs> yes. talk a lot about, I said we'd talk about it for a little bit. So do you want to tell us a little bit about the cult? And I have some questions I can ask you, but. Yes. Yeah, so basically I found this group of girls where we're all like the similar type of delusional basically. And ah, okay. we've bonded so strongly over it. And the delusion? Yes. You've bond wait, you've bonded over the delu being Which delusional? So weird, yes. Though. Not and like, like other like, okay. I, like we'll meet we'll have meetings like like once a month where we rent an Airbnb. Yeah. And you know, of course cast spells, do rituals, we made a blood pact. 
Um, did, did you guys cast any spells about yeah, the whatever we, podcast? Yeah, we literally cast a spell. Last night. We did, we did one last night. night. Oh, blood wait. magic. We took her blood. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> her blood. And we did spells with the blood. Yeah. Guys, I would edge you. Go. Help, help, help me. I'm in the middle of help me. Am I going like... I would urge you girls to be very careful with what you She's trained. She used to take it's blood. It's menstrual job. blood also. Ooh. Yeah. You guys, you guys, you guys are, I'm uh, sorry. You might think it's a bit Wait, of fun. What do you but do? But you're going into something that's pretty dark there. I have so many stories. And <laughs> it's that's really subjective scary. also. I, uh, objective. No. Uh, no, it's really not. I'd say that you're tapping into something What do you do with the blood though? Careful. For real. I'd what do you say, do with I'd that? say it, you it drink it. it. Transference you mix like all your guys' blood together? No. No, no, no. no. I'd say that huh? what you're calling delusional is basically oh, yeah. you being a very emotionally intense person as already mm-hmm. covered where you want that true love. And the girls that you are sympathizing with that understand you mm-hmm. are those who also want that true love. Mm-hmm. But the men that you're finding because of the poison that you kind of crave are mm-hmm. the ones who take advantage of that. So in order to take more control over that, which has always been the mm-hmm. history of witchcraft, you then try to use manipulation to get your way with these men. But in reality, it's an unsustainable way of gathering control, I suppose. A more sustainable way would be to, as has been mentioned on the panel, developing a level of awareness by taking in what people are telling you in a way where Mm -hmm. it won't disrupt your inner peace, but rather construct your perspective a little more... I just be trying to have fun. Like anything I find fun, like that's what I'm trying to do. I don't want to even like go in too deeply about like I'm not. I'm not trying to be out here manipulating anyone. Like if they're if they're having negative energy, I am casting out. Do you believe? Do you believe in some sort of spirituality? Do you believe that we live in a spiritual world? I have my own version of a higher power, Hmm? and that's what you know. Because what a cult is is like you all believe in the same like religion. It's religious because you believe in the same higher power. It's religious in structure, Mm -hmm. but. But our higher power isn't like a deity or isn't a god. Our higher power is the bond that we form with one another. You know, because a higher power can mean like anything to you. When you, you know? say you're doing like bloodletting rituals, mm-hmm. do you do you sort of think about what kind of um, energy or spirituality you might be tapping into there? Yeah, it, yeah, of course. It's about a transference of energy. Your blood magic just makes the spell more powerful because you're transferring more of your energy in exchange for whatever you're manifesting. Where do you think that energy is coming from? To be, hold power. <laughs> there was a syringe. Okay. Gosh. That's what I was just drawing it up in. You just did a. You did this at the table? No. no. I, I oh my god. I, I, I keep it on me as a as a token of my, a proof of my administration. It's a symbol. Angelina you know? Jolie did something similar with Bobby Thornton, I mm-hmm. forgot his name, but it's typically once again a manifestation of someone who's addicted to that level of pain, that level of chaos, that extreme, and it's like you're a pendulum swinging intensely all over the place, and I think for that reason you kind of have that sort of like bubbled in perspective because mm-hmm. most of the people around you will look at that and kind of be like, whoa now. Yeah. But I think... I find calm in chaos. As right. somebody who's actually like delved into that, like accidentally, my friend taught me witchcraft, and she also was accidentally learning witchcraft. Um, and someone who has literally suffered demon attacks and uh, become disabled from being attacked, like they will cho- they'll, they'll choke you. They'll like you will you will, you will they got possessed? No, no, no like they, they'll yeah. attack you. It's like actually like manifestations if you if energy cannot be created or destroyed you have to think about where the power from that energy that you're tapping into Mm -hmm. is coming from it's either going to be a vice Mm -hmm. or a virtue and whichever side of that i just i wonder if these kind of rituals and interactions i wonder if they have any like leeway of inviting um inviting the wrong kind of energy like you say energy into your life as in you know you can you 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 talk about like the interpersonal issues if you feel like you're not you know finding people that are like you but the people that you have found like you are encouraging you it sounds like to do so some very scary things if i can be quite forward it, it sounds that's, it sounds that's scary. A, that's subjective absolutely me, and she has absolutely like no idea what board. she's doing i would like, say it's, it's not so much. but we're not dealing with demons we're dealing with oh, the opposite are. of demons you don't you think are. you are but you are you are you are mm. you just don't know yet it's kind mm-hmm. of like a there's a similar practice when it comes to like goddesses like ishtar or Stare, which are mesopotamian goddesses mm-hmm. which they require blood sacrifices and mm-hmm. then they empower quote-unquote women who basically worship them which you then worship the succubi or the liliths or whatever exactly anyways so when it comes to appealing to these types of ideas these energies let's say ideas rather it's like it's more destabilizing to have to 
rely on yourself and your own way of protecting yourself using all of these different energies, all of these different ways, because at the end of the day, drawing your own blood is a form of self-harm. Yeah. So it's like, you're ultimately hurting yourself to gain control over a situation because that's the only thing you but really have control over. But some people think, like, I don't know, hurting yourself, like, it's like, you know, a person might like a tattoo, like, even though it's a that's needle a hitting you. That's a form of self-harm. You, that, that, like, some people think it really feels good. Yeah, exactly. Okay, you know but you're doing it in, like, a pain. ritualistic well, way. it's like when it's, someone gets tattoos, and a lot of tattoos, you can typically tell that this person's a very emotionally driven person. This is someone who's basically in a moment of mm -hmm. impulse, like low impulse control, they'll basically go for it or whatever. So once again, it's like all of these forms of self-harm feel good to the person. Anyone mm -hmm. who engages in that behavior says that it feels great, that it's liberating. Okay, that it if you're doing like excellent. actual self-harm in, in a place of like sadness or depression, like that's when even obviously mania. it's even harmful. Even like the blissful But if joys. you're doing it in like... It, it, and, but not not real self harm. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, even overeating is self harm, and you can sit there and just eat an extra bag of chips, it's, and it's, it's totally yeah, fine. It doesn't seem to cut you, but it will hurt be. you over it's time. It's all a measure of trying to take mm -hmm. control of the only thing you have control mm -hmm. over, which is your body. If you don't have control over your emotions, if yeah. you don't have control over those around you, the only person that you can take control out of is yourself. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have anything constructive to look forward to, anything organized mm -hmm. to look forward to, the only thing that you can take control over is hurting yourself by destroying yourself. So Action. people yeah. who get tattoos in honor of their loss to loved ones is that self-harm mm -hmm. right. i'd i'd say that there's a better way to handle it personally but no i would say i mean technically actually yeah because then is. you're doing a way it of, grief yeah, grief, yeah exactly that's, yeah. yeah it's a it's a mm -hmm. form of grief and can i say that satan is a trickster like Amen. you're never gonna go like most people don't go in being like oh i'm gonna go worship the devil today mm -hmm. like you, you, a lot of it i just don't believe in times, hell like, a lot that, of it is self-divination okay well you should okay there's there's <laughs> not you should not believe in it i i also have a struggle in believing <laughs> in hell myself despite being yeah. religious only because i was raised jehovah's witness they don't believe in hell or heaven mm -hmm. but in the sense of believing yeah. in hell if you just look at the people who basically indulge in the most self-harming behaviors, the people who basically have no control over their life, they are already living in, in a little bit of hell. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've seen the movie Hellraiser by, I think, Wes Craven from 1980. Uh, where it's like is that, that with the spikes? Yes, yes, pin, uh, Pinhead. So that's a perfect example of how someone who, the opposite of pain is not pleasure, that's its like counterpart, basically. So that movie illustrates it perfectly, where it's like someone who's addicted to massive amounts of pleasure mm -hmm. through massive amounts of pain. And being in that fleshy state is a measure of being out of control. So a place to be is in the middle, a balance, where you're no longer dependent on how you feel or how your body's experiencing whatever, but rather staying in a peaceful, spiritual zone inside of yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, It's just all about manifestation. Like, I realized what manifestation and, like, putting your energy towards a certain thing can literally like actualize it so well yes. so it's yeah. literally just about the highest form of manifestation you could perform you know what i mean it's not too like like i'm satan or the devil or whatever like because like for me like that's just not even something in my brain it my doesn't mind. doesn't no red flags when you say that you're in a cult and you do bloodletting rituals no, not not to me personally. Maybe, Again, like it's others. it's literally that delusion that flags. like and <laughs> Satan will trick you. I didn't know I was practicing witchcraft. A ton of people don't even know that they're doing very like demonic witchcraft type of things, right? Like you could, you could go to Barnes and Noble, be like, oh my gosh, in the kids section, little spell book. Like it's it's all just so cute and it's like fun <laughs> and you think it's like. Just this, what you're saying has no validity to me because I don't believe in it and I don't really know what you're talking I think about. When it you comes said to, you were casting spells. So. When it comes yeah, to, but, but this, if you believe in the power in witchcraft, where can that power exactly. come from? When it comes Not to Satan. It comes from the divine energies of the universe that like manifestation work on. You when know? it comes you to what that, James was saying, too. when it comes to what <laughs> James was too. saying, yeah. like, there's a level of desensitization going on where you're so used <laughs> to the extremes <laughs> that that which other people who aren't so in the extremes consider to be harmful behavior. <laughs> But mm -hmm. that plays hand in hand with why it is that, you know, the guys that you engage in intimacy with tend to have cheese somewhere. That tends to be <laughs> why guys will take advantage of you or hurt you is because those are the extremes that you encounter. If you end up pulling yourself away from those extremes, mm -hmm. you then encounter a more mm -hmm. peaceful, a more loving, a more supportive role for you inside of yourself, basically. Someone will try to... That's why I like women. And that's why I don't talk to women. Women do give me that peace. You but you're still going women after are more men chaotic. But if a woman, you're not if, getting I, I'm, I'm not going after men whatsoever. I'm exactly. talking about past experiences no to be part sense. of the conversation. But if the women that you're around, if they end up getting emotionally quote unquote better, if they end up finding a partner that basically takes them away because they go to start a family, do you feel like at some point relying on a woman who might go away could be a place of you being stranded on a lonely island? Nah, the women that are in the group that do have boyfriends, like 
because there's people everybody in there is about we have our own individuality we don't like you know it's about a place of no judgment so people in there do do it's not even just about like all hating men but whenever whenever girls are in we're in our group that's always talking about the abuse of men like literally so it's like, a place where that topic festers that sounds really yeah. painful to have yeah. to talk about yeah. over and over and over again while doing physical bloodletting yeah. it yeah. yeah. doesn't sound like good vibe manifestation no. at all well, no there's good vibes and bad vibes we stay like a whole like night to two nights together so we have our like good moments and bad moments you know i know what you're talking about I definitely know what you're talking about, but there's no solutions offered to get out of that situation. Mm -hmm. If there's other people living a life where they don't encounter that, venting, there's some bro. truth to That's it. just venting. That's three. We don't have therapists. We are each other's therapists. But that's you know? bad vibes, and then you're also opening up doors that you that have no idea how to you, close or no idea me. how to manage. Do you think is there's the like safer options for you to be able to still be like a part of a group like that? Oh yeah, and for sure. Practice. There's safer options, but and and mostly is it's not even. That's just something we do kind of like just for fun just to like really manifest you know that's not like we're all about just being like super like culty witches like mm -hmm. it's mostly just about love like it's literally about pure love for each other the just you to say that things. too yeah. the beautiful princess um, disorder yes. manifesting itself again yeah and, but that's the trick like i've been in your shoes when it comes yeah. to this same and i hope you never have to go through what i went through to get to where i am today but she will. The shit that I've been learn. through, like, probably will have you all having PTSD, for sure. But probably same, same with y'all. But, like, I don't have any. Like, literally, when something really traumatizing bad happens, like, I'm able to forget about it, like, the next day. Like, but that's I, exactly I, I what I was talking about That's earlier. not, that's not that's healthy. Not, so, that's that called is, dissociating. Exactly. Yeah, I'm really That inflated that. ego, <laughs> that super hyper-inflated <laughs> ego is just to show that you have very low self-esteem. And probably that is literally, like, a... Probably at certain times. That's the kind of desensitization you've been through so yes. much that it's, it's basically filed down the sharpness mm -hmm. of reality to a point where you don't feel reality anymore and there's a lot of girls who go through that experience because we live in a society that basically throws them to the dogs basically by virtue of i guess to go back to politics feminism mm -hmm. so you're basically left on your own to have to handle reality on your own mm -hmm. but it's mm -hmm. like that desensitization that level of like oh no i'm totally fine you know i'm running away from problems problem all of these problems happen all of these terrible people around me all of these bad things keep happening to me but i'm totally okay you guys just don't understand reality y'all don't understand anything no it's like you. that's how my life used to be ever since like i joined this women cult it's literally been so lit and i wonder why it is no technically it's a step in the right direction mm -hmm. it's technically not the ideal place Finding to be community support but it's, yeah. it's going in yeah it's just that there's going to be issues yes. that might make themselves super presented to you where it's like huh this might be a place that I'm not gaining any answers from and then you might want to take another step forward and that goes for every woman too it's not just you it's not like you're a good woman that's a bad woman that's a bad woman you're a good woman it's just a state that you might want to I worry that from. rehashing your trauma so consistently with other women while doing mm -hmm. substances or once it, w taking out blood things like that it physiologically does affect your body and it's I just an fear chamber. I fear that it will trap you yeah, in those feelings with those places more than let no, that go it worried. does allow to trap in your you won't grow in an echo chamber Mm, I don't know. I ever ever since I have, I've just watched my life elevate in so many ways. So it's just like it feels like it's working. It's okay, it's and it really feels like it's better. working. That's why I said Satan is a trickster, and it's gonna feel really good. And that's Satanism. exactly the hedonistic kind mm -hmm. of lifestyle that he wants you to live. Because you're just thinking, oh my gosh, this feels great. This is this is you know I want 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 want. But you're not sitting back and looking at what am I losing at the same time. I'd say you used to worship men as your god to be mm -hmm. your salvation right, and now you're right. trying to worship yourself among yeah. with other women yes. so it's like you're trying to change yeah. what you consider your mm -hmm. god because everyone mm -hmm. worships right. a god mm -hmm. so i think you're trying to change what you consider god and everyone on the panel is basically <coughs> telling you they're like higher more ideal basically try to strive for something above you rather yeah. than well yourself. and even their own experience yeah. they've yeah. indulged in witchcraft spot personally on. Yes. That was like spot on. Mm -hmm. i have had very <laughs> severe demon attacks like in my sleep, I would be choked. I would be stabbed. I could feel everything. Like you mm -hmm. could feel it. Everything. Dang. They're trying to. They're trying to take you. Same as happens to us guys. You mentioned succubus before. It's yeah, succubus. like a demon that comes and definitely see one grapes of you in your sleep as a man and creates mm. other little demons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so funny because I had a dream yes. about that. <laughs> Literally a succubus. But tell me why I thought he was fine. Uh, okay. And that's how it starts. I used to, I used to engage in ha being final thought, and I'm going to move on. Go ahead. Yes, yeah. being someone who loves the 1960s, the Beatles, and all of that jazz, I found myself engaging in some substances, and I also started seeing like you know demonic entities around, and I was like thinking, oh, this is just my brain playing tricks on me. Mm -hmm. But if you start seeing dark things 
figures crawling up the walls, a sort of dark presence mm -hmm. around you. It's not just your imagination. Mm -hmm. It's what those substances elicit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why they were considered spiritual before. Last mm -hmm. one, don't be a witch. Don't be a witch. <laughs> All right, total gear shift here. Do you guys object to men caring about body count? Would you object to a guy if he took coral with, you know? I got some input for this one. No. Oh my God. So well, I, I'll start again with Zombri and we'll go around the table. Go ahead. Like, do you mean like a girl's body count or a guy's? A what? Like a girl's body count or a guy? Like, typically, I mean, women are totally entitled mm -hmm. to prefer men who are not promiscuous or don't have a promiscuous past or have a low yeah. body count. I do tend to hear it a bit more from men mm -hmm. who tend to prefer uh, women with a low body count. Some women object to that. Do you object to men preferring women with a low body count? Um, do you think it's insecure? Or do you? No, I feel like it's not insecure because I feel like if you've been with like a lot of people, then men aren't going to like take you serious. Okay. But, yeah. I feel like it's ridiculous just because like that's just in a place of judgment. You know, why are you trying to judge anyone? Like, I don't know. I think you just have an open heart and open mind to anyone. And if you have like negative opinions, then like literally. Like, Didn't earlier in the conversation, though, you said you wouldn't date a guy who's shorter than you? Yeah, but that's different than a body count because one it's is like you're born with it and one is like, you Choices know, you've made, yes. which could indicate poor behavioral choices. I don't see how it's bad. How is body count bad? Do you think if somebody should, should be judgmental towards their mm. partner or towards the person that they take seriously in a relationship? No, that's why I don't, I don't know, like, I don't know. The, the, just body count in general, I just don't see where it's bad, you know? I think it that kind of bad. plays hand in hand with like the lack of standards where it's like you just want someone to love you unconditionally because there's like a level of a lack of self-awareness. You're just like, please, whatever I am, love me as it is. But because you don't have standards for other people, then you hope that no one else has standards for your behavior. But in common society, we need standards to make sure that we filter people who might mm -hmm. be dangerous or harmful to us or others. Mm, that's valid. That's valid. Speaking to a potential partner, I, I think it's valid to care about body count. Like, absolutely. Like, I, I don't think it's judgmental. I reject the premise that it's judgmental uh, toward men or women, but especially for, for men, I think it's like a, a strange premise to like care and like get all up in like a tizzy, like if the same energy is not exchanged. So if you want to be with somebody that is not judgmental and yeah, they can be with whoever, then that's fine. But it completely is valid that I want a partner that I can rely on. I want a partner who I know um, will stay with me. And a lot of people find that proof in the pudding, which is their lifestyle. How many people have you been with? How long are your relationships? What was the context of your sexual or otherwise relationship? And I think that's important. Kayla. The question was like, what was it again? Like, do you, okay, body count, should it matter? And then do you object to men caring about a woman's body count? I think that it's stupid if the man has a high body count and they're like, want someone with like a low body count. Like, mm, it, it okay. should be equal. Mm -hmm. Like, Jesus, that make sense? Don't like go searching for like someone with like no, like a really low body count if you fucked like a hundred girls. Like, and do you find that, do you find that that's kind of a common thing for men? Like even yeah. men who've had a promiscuous past, they prefer women yeah. with low body counts. So, like, do you think there's a corresponding you... like women with, do you think there's a corresponding like women with high body counts? Like they're desiring men who are virgins? No. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay, I, so I kind of like virginal men, but that's just my only thing. Sure. Word. Word. I don't necessarily object to men feeling some type of way about body counts because I'm not gonna, I personally am not gonna go around getting with any man, being in a relationship with any man that slept with every, everyone because if you have this many body count, oh, anyone can have you. Like you have no standards for yourself. So I kind of understand if they would have some kind of standards for us where it's like, yeah, I would hope you wouldn't fuck this many people or mm -hmm. have this high of a body count. Sure. I mean, but then does body count define of how many people you're going to sleep with in the future? Like, what if that was your past? It's a good indicator. Mm -hmm. can be a good I indicator. mean, it could, it could be a red flag, depending on how it's looked mm -hmm. at, yeah. Can I have you scoot your mic? Um, I do this every time, huh? Your answer? Um, no, I agree with her that if somebody has standards and preference, then that's their standards and preference. Okay. The you, CIA you, can, you can answer. <laughs> I don't believe that that should be a question partners ask each other at all to begin with. Okay. So then you do object to men having 
caring about body count. Yes. Okay. Hmm. I don't object to it. I'm on the same page. Did you thoroughly answer? Did uh, you? I don't think so. Okay. Um, I don't think men should care about uh, another girl's body count. Can I ask you both of you why? Like why? Why do you think that should not matter? Do you th um, and do you think men are insecure if they would care um, about that? I feel like it varies on the person. It can be from insecurity, or it could not be. I personally, mm, I guess I'm going to expose myself a little. My body count is a little high than I would like to, but mm -hmm. the reason why it's high is because I talk to a lot of guys. And I thought having sex with them would make them want to pursue me or take me on a date or something like that. So I guess that's why I'm not I'm saying like body count really shouldn't matter if that makes sense. Sure. Um, what about you? Why? Why should body count not matter? Or? Mm, probably the same reason as her. I feel like everyone has a past. Sure. And if you're getting into a relationship that you really want to be in, be in, you guys shouldn't be worried about your guys' past mm -hmm. at all. Okay. No and is it, do you think it's insecure if a guy prefers a woman with a low body count? Uh, yeah, I do think it's insecure okay. from personal experience. Carmen, did you answer? Uh, yeah, I said I don't object to okay. it. And so. Yeah. Um, I don't object to it. I, I have the unfortunate bad habit of asking guys for their body count, which would oftentimes surprise them. But yeah, no, I think that it's mm. very important for both men and women. And I think that it needs to be within the mm. same range, where if you're a man who's had sex with a bunch of women, the don't aim for a virgin, because you're going to abandon her the moment you end up yeah. hypothetically having children with her. They oftentimes are more likely to cheat. They're more often times to give more attention to women and normalize the idea of, oh, an affair is just something men do. It's no big deal. They have no consideration for their for the emotional needs of their wife. Likewise, a woman having sex with a lot of guys can indicate, hey, if you know we're having marital problems, you might start to emotionally fancy another man and then be led astray. Hmm. Okay. So, a couple follow-up things here. Um, I wanted to address your thing where you said, well, if a guy who has a high body count, you know, it would be maybe hypocritical or a double standard for him to desire in a partner a woman who has a low body count. Yes. Uh, so I actually, I disagree with that. I actually don't have any issue with a man who has a high body count desiring a woman with a low body count. And I don't, I don't have an issue with a woman with a high body count desiring a man with a low body count. I tend to think that women with high body counts probably are much less likely to desire uh, sexual purity in men, but um, that is certainly what I think is uh, evolutionary and a biological difference between men and women. But what I would ask you is, when it comes to, well, if you've had a high body count, then you can't desire women with a, uh, you can't desire women with a low body count, or it's hypocritical. It might be hypocritical, for example, if a man with a high body count uh, was out, or who is promiscuous or is promiscuous, shamed women for their promiscuity. Now, again, I do think there are some differences between men and women when it comes to that. But overall, I would agree there, if he's like shaming women for their behavior, but he's partaking in said behavior, that would meet the actual definition of hypocrisy. Uh, but I don't think it's hypocr hypocritical to not possess a trait and desire said trait in a partner. For example, uh, I would argue that women desire all a wide variety of traits in partners that they themselves do not possess. So for example, uh, a woman who's not funny may very well desire a man who's funny. A woman who's short may very well desire a man who's tall. A woman who has no money, she may very well desire to date a man who's exceptionally wealthy. A woman who has no status, she might want to date a man who has a lot of status. A woman who's not a professional athlete would very much like to date a professional athlete. So I don't think it makes you hypocritical to desire, like need you possess a trait in order to desire a, that trait in a partner? And I think the answer is no. Um, I just think it's hypocritical, because like, why do you want someone with no, like, very little sexual experience? Why do you want to commit to because someone with a lot of, a lot of chastity. But lot of you reasons. have a lot of sexual experience, and like, the other person doesn't. I don't. You want to but why do broke women want to date rich men? You're not. You're not why rich. Why do broke men want to date rich women? Rich women. They, they don't. They, yes, they do. So I beg to differ. My ex was. A, I look, beg to differ. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure you have a few examples. I have no doubt about that. But for the most part, men don't really care. And if you're a broke man who's going for a rich woman, like it's his, it's his bum behavior. But men and bum women are different. Behavior. We have different sort of 
like interests. So I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to really value the chastity of a woman, whereas women might value that. And if they value that so much that they can't look past it, then I fully agree with your, with your standards as well. If you're a woman who has a very low body count and you say, I don't want a man who has a high body count, then absolutely. Yeah, to each their own. Yeah, each to their own. But I do think that they value different things. Like, like Brian just said, women value men with resources. We don't particularly care about that. Women value height, strength, competence, capability, all of these sort of things. We don't really care about that. One of the things we really do care about, though, is chastity is to know that we're somewhat exclusively, I've, I've, I've had your body and not too many other people. I would also say that although men can desire chastity in a woman, it's very rare for a woman who does value chastity with a low body count or a virgin to ever give those men attention. And that's why they tend to build resentment against the women that they can have because mm -hmm. they want that quote unquote virgin but they can't have her because she already sees through what his intentions are. Meanwhile, they aim for the girls who lack standards or can't see through their games and they'll play with them and then they'll hurt them because they basically uh, they don't respect them essentially and that's also symptomatic of how they're not masculine i think it also shows like a level of like immaturity and just like irresponsibility for like because sex for a woman is very different for like for sex with a for a man um in the sense that we can have kids right that's a big thing um you know not to mention all the other things that i mean men can also have but i mean i think that's just extremely irresponsible but i would Birth say when, control, it when it comes to chastity i would say that the reason that both sexes value chastity is for the same reason women don't want a man to be looking at another woman that's sexually provocative and thinking oh well you know mm -hmm. let me just lack discipline and go after her and vice versa men don't want a woman who's going to be emotionally led astray by a man and then give him sex all be in the attempt of getting him to like her or in an attempt to basically say oh you've flared up these emotions in me that means that now i have to give you sex or whatever i agree yeah so for those of you actually we'll, we'll just go around the table on this uh body count does not matter What's your body count? Um, Starting with Zombri. Can I ask a clarifying question first? <clears throat> sure. Is that like, do you mean like penetrative sex or like foreplay or anything like that? So, uh, penetration. I would say penetrative sex too, but I just, I like, <laughs> I, don't think, I don't know. I don't think when the P goes in the V. Okay. Yeah. Does kissing in middle school count? <laughs> <laughs> That's literally how I know. Um, I was dating someone for five years from 17 to 22, so mine is only six. Okay. How old are you now, sir? 26. I lost track, honestly. I don't know. If I, like, I, I, didn't, I don't have a journal where I wrote down all the names, so I literally yeah. have absolutely no clue. Like, if you had to give a range, like an estimate. Like, I, I literally don't know. I have no clue if it would be like 30, 100, or over that. Like, I have no clue. Well, do you think it's over 100? I possibly. I'd have to, like, do hella math. I was dating someone for four years, but from, like, 15 <laughs> to 19, like, I don't know. There was, like, at one point where I was on Tinder, and there, there, I was doing it, like, every week. There was one time I do, did it twice in one day with two different guys. So, I don't know. Like, when I was younger, I was out here. But, yeah, I don't know. Couldn't please switch that out, but, like, I have no clue what that number is. <laughs> really. Okay. Absolutely. So no sense of a range? Literally, it could literally be to anywhere between 30 to, like, 200 or, like, somewhere around that. 30? That's a big range. That's, that is a that's huge I, I, range. I stopped writing it down after 15. Wait, into the mic if you can, but, okay, it stopped writing down after 15. So, okay, anywhere from 30 to... 200. Okay. That's crazy. Oh, I, I, did, I missed the number. That is a huge range. <laughs> please, but yo, yeah. If you're going to talk, please do it in the mic. Go ahead. What about you? Uh, I, I valued about the body count. I thought it was valid for the men to do it. Yeah. I mean, just since we're going around the table, care to share the body oh, count? Oh, sure. One. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, like 30. Like 30? Yeah. Okay. Mine's four. Four? Mm, like nine. I thought you did a whole basketball team. No, I didn't. Yo, it's Kat, her friend, her friend. No, I didn't. Away. You gotta put I said that I did two. Chris Rock seven dick care. I said I did two, and then <laughs> yeah. she did the rest. So. Multiply it by three, and that's the <laughs> Okay. Uh, what about what about you? Mm, let me see. Maybe about eight. About eight, okay. What about you? 
I don't feel comfortable saying my. Oh come on! You <laughs> said earlier that uh, you know you it might have been a lot. I don't want it to be up there. Nobody Girl, watches this podcast. Hers was 30 nobody to 200. Wa- no, no my ex is going to watch this podcast. No, nobody watches this podcast. <laughs> oh, your ex. It's your ex, yeah. Already yeah, knows who, who cares? yeah. I know, but he doesn't want it out there. He doesn't want it out there. But he's your ex. Why does he. He doesn't have a say yeah, on what's out there. there. Are you still fucking him? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait. Do you want to give a range? How about that? Is that more fair? Um, Just say under something. It's around Kayla's. Twins. Ish. <laughs> Multiply it by three, and that's the real number. Carmen. No. Um, I do value it, but mine's five. Okay. Um, what what was the question that we do value it? Oh or? no, just no. What's your body what's your count? Body oh, count? okay. Uh, I am a mythical virgin. <laughs> a what? what? The a mi- mythical like, virgin. You know, like the unicorn. I'm the unicorn. Mm-hmm. Like up. born again virgin? No. So are you actually what? a virgin you or like I've never had penetrative sex. Oh, period. Oh. Like period. Oh. Period. I love that for you. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Is that cat? No. No. Wait, I trust. You? I trust you. Her first trust boyfriend that. was from Xbox Live. I, I, I believe her. <laughs> that's true. No, like, that's that Xbox kids. kids like from yeah. Canada. No, I'm absolutely. I'm absolutely terrified of diseases. Okay. And um, that was a good way like to be. Phobia. And so even though I messed around, I literally like that was like a big role for me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll come back to that really quick. But Angelica, what about you? Um, Closer to the mic, please. About like. 14,575. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Hey. I can count it on one hand. <laughs> okay, everybody already knows. Good. Okay. Wait, so going back to you though, Raven, you said you're a former OF model, you used to yes. strip, you said you were a, uh, you, uh, you mentioned you had three OFO days. Three what? You, in your pre-show messages to us, you said you had three OFO days. <laughs> Ho I had ho days. Ho days. Oh my god, yeah. stop. And that Girl, ended in. Girl, you did that? that no, ended she was in, probably just kissing a boy in a tree. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, what? No. You said that that ended in 2020, mm-hmm. but you. you did, And I, when, I, when we asked for clarification for what you meant by ho days, you said that as days of being promiscuous. Yeah. What's your idea of promiscuous? Oh, I please? mean, just like. I don't know. Like, you're like hanging out. I used, to just go, I used to go to parties and just like. Did you give hand jobs? A lot? I don't. Does be, uh, no. Were you? Was it just like I don't like. I, I have a thing with hands. I like okay. germs. I don't like touching. Can't hand job like a posh wank. We call it. With a condom. <laughs> um, a anyways, posh wank. Um, is there a, a BJ count? What's the BJ count? Um, I was more so into like watching, and then if guys would ask to like do stuff to me, and if I was into it, I would like do that. Like uh, I had a lot of guys that were like into feet, so they'd ask to like massage my feet and like suck my toes and like massage. that's probably worse than um, <laughs> no but i've had like i've had like other stuff uh i like feel like this is the equivalent of being like i used to be a gangster and just snorting smarties <laughs> <laughs> is that really like yeah. people used to do no that. wait hold on but hold on okay so in your pre-show notes here yeah you said and i'll, I'll just read what you okay. wrote you said when i was 16 i started selling feet pics and gaining yeah. a following online that too Okay, you said you were going on Omegly to kind of experiment Omegle. with doing things. I don't know Omegle. how to fucking pronounce that Omegle. shit. Omegle. You got, yeah, I'm a fucking boomer, dude. Omegle. Omegle. You said you started going to, uh, you uh, doing things on camera. As soon as you turned yeah. 18, you started going to sex parties yeah. and got targeted by, I don't think I want to talk about yeah. the whole tra- trafficking people. thing, but how do you like go to a, I mean, I, you could go to a sex party and not do anything. But it's like kind of like makes me raise an eyebrow, like you claiming to be a virgin, but like in your pre-show notes, you said you had hoe days, you said you're promiscuous, you said you went to sex parties. <laughs> no, I never did that either. <laughs> oh, no, I never did that. Either. So you you lied in your survey? What? No, I'm confused. You never no. did what? I. Oh, oh, the person just put up a... Oh, Somebody okay. just put up a comment. Just I was like, I didn't do that. Well, we're, please, we're, please we're ignore paying the attention chat. to what I'm Brian is talking to us. Just oh, address I'm so sorry. the... I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. No, you're, you're good. I'm sorry. You, you can stop apologizing, but please continue okay. with the conversation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> how do I maintain it? How, how are you still a virgin when you're having all of these different experiences? <laughs> oh, <he's got> <laughs> okay, wait, on a real note, Leslie and I do have to drive five or six hours to the mountains, okay. so no, we do have to leave soon. Uh, uh, yeah, irrelevant. Okay. Um, so, yeah. the hoe phase yeah. was like a foot hoe phase. 
It was honestly more for attention. Um, if I okay, so I, again, <laughs> lesbian, like former. Lesbian, I love you. Like, you know, I was just um, being, being yeah, honest with you. former lesbian, like you know, me? used to like, oh, you know how that works. I see what you mm. mean. Um, yeah. And if like. Oh, so the scissors. Jake. I never Is that diseases. Jake. Oh. Jake. Mm. My friend's getting a little jelly. Oh over my here. god. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get some attention you soon. You you Sorry. Left your it's okay. Next conversation. Sorry. Sorry. So because you've never had penetrative sex, that's why you consider yourself still a virgin then yeah. is because you, even though you've been around the these loophole. things. Well, that's like the definition yeah. of a virgin. Though. I would yeah. consider I what follow. I did like as foreplay. I follow. I yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I yeah. Follow. That's, that's, that's so exactly like you what. Would, you would be the one that's like into BDSM or something. Uh, yeah. Period. <laughs> <laughs> BDSM. Well, that's a big. That's a big. Th- like a like a part it's of a like very my story play. Well, with, yeah. with people mis like misunderstanding me and, and like what I what am about. Yeah. Way. What What is BDSM? Uh, bondage, submission, dominance, masochism, okay. sadism. It's all. It's it's Violence kinky sex, sex, whatever. But it doesn't have to be sexual. Which is it's all about tarot cards. It's all about power play. But that's the that's what people will assume about me. They look at mm. me and they think, oh, okay, she's kinky. Okay, this yeah. is what you know you want to assume. In mm. reality, it's like. I literally just like want to play fetch. Like I'm not. I don't want you yeah. to like abuse me. Like I, okay. I just want to play fetch, dude. Like, this is literally the freakiest girl that I've ever met that hasn't had sex. Like that's wild right. to me. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a wild. Wild. I was just very curious. When I looked at you, when I first came in, I was thinking yeah. choir girl. You know, someone yeah. who's like got a cute shirt on with like good vibes. Good it says. Vibe. <laughs> Yeah. I didn't I didn't know this was going to come out. Yeah. Normally I'm a, I'm a good judge of character when yeah. it comes to little freaks, but no. that's why yeah. you got to be like, I actually got us both wrong. Yeah. Even these shy girls, you got to be I'm careful. I'm not shy. I'm not shy. I just well, haven't had much chance you know. to talk. That's no, 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 but like even these kind of like these girls you think, "Oh, she's probably like, Oh my gosh, I used to literally look shit. like her. They did that shit. I used to look like her. I've been toning down because like I want to find a husband. Right, because you did say at the time <laughs> like <laughs> At the time, so I was a raging uh, feminist with yes. friends and family. Encur- you said you were a raging feminist. Yes. Friends, family encouraging you to live that type of life. Yes. After your baptism, you changed yeah. drastically. I used to have split um, dye hair. What did you, so when you were a raging feminist, what did you used to think of men? Like what being a raging feminist and all? Oh my gosh. What denomination are you? What did you convert to? Oh my God. Thank uh, you for derailing <laughs> my question. I'm sorry, Appreciate I'm sorry. it. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, what was like, how was I as a, ra- yeah, no, no, I hated men. And that's kind of like how I was raised. Like men are disgusting, men are evil, men are always like the perpetrators. Yeah. Glad you found your way out of that one. Thank you. Oh my gosh. So um, <laughs> I, have, I have a lot of crazy stories, but like my family, um, so my, um, my aunt was like, kind of like as soon as I was born, she was kind of like, I want to like latch onto you. You are like my child. And she tried to just like, push all this stuff and she me. probably worships lucifer hereditary I don't know. she literally she's a professional protester mm-hmm. <laughs> and she tried to get me in on that she's been touched by lucifer yeah and i'm like i'm like i love you but you know that's been a really hard thing honestly that was more like recent like i kind of had to be like okay like i'm not talking to you anymore but it was like a lot of like like just like i feel like indoctrination um the other family members they actually like like after Biden, they like all of us really jump ship after Biden. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. So you, you guys are MAGA, huh? You guys are MAGA. Um, I wouldn't say we're like. Come oh over. my gosh! Like at the Come rallies. Come on, it's nice over here. It's fine. I, <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm like at the rallies, like going crazy. I mean, I have thought about it, but I'm I'm not like crazy, but I'm like I just like Republican Party. Just put the, the hat. I like, like Ramaswamy. I'm like. You like Ramaswamy? <laughs> I like Ramaswamy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me too. I like Ramaswamy. <laughs> oh, so I actually um, the church I went to was LDS. Oh, that. No, that I know. Good. I know. Yeah. I actually just left. Well, you wait. So what denomination are you now? I don't oh, know. Like I, I'm my own try thing. Orthodoxy. I I'm, love Orthodoxy. I have no idea. I, I don't really like organized religion. I think. <laughs> Bro, I yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would say. I would say just. Out of a fly, out of curiosity, try an Orthodox church. I think it'll have all of the answers that LDS. Like Jewish? No. No, no, no not at all. Oh, yeah. Um, for Orthodox, sure. Orthodox, Orthodox Christian. Christian, yeah. Mm. It's like that'll have all of the answers that a lot of the, what I would call heretical branches, Message don't me. have. Definitely, yeah. I don't know. Like, like I, I don't I know what I'm doing. I was witness. I had a lot of severe like issues with religion because of the heresies that they had, <laughs> yeah. and I pushed against all religion, all authority. I could authority. so see you being a Jehovah's Witness. You yeah, like you fit too. the mold yeah. so well. I could, too. I could I, see you knocking on my door. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we would be mortal enemies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's like um, I had a bunch of issues with religion, authority. I had all of the different. Mm-hmm. 
predictable outcomes and all of that jazz. When I found Catholicism and then that branched me to orthodoxy, it answered all of the heretical questions that the Jehovah's Witnesses got wrong, mm. and it gave me that level of inner peace that a lot of religious people talk about. Mm. And I think organized religion is the only way to go about religion, hence the term religion. Yeah. It's like you can't be esoteric in your approach to spirituality because that's when you start to depend on your own understanding mm -hmm. and be led away by all of these different high energy, high spiritual feelings that'll mm -hmm. then lead you down paths that you might not understand the consequences of. Mm. When you're in an organized church, organized religion, there's an authority present, they can guide you in ways that you might not be aware of and lead you to better behaviors. See, my issue is that like everybody claims to be the true church, like yep. the one true yep. church on, Moving the, on. on the earth. Okay, uh, so I wanna try to reel in Carmen. No offense guys, I'm not trying to be rude by cutting you off, but I mean, I we're getting into like totally off topic stuff yeah, that, that it's just do it go for it okay uh carmen you said hold on let me see here your suggestion was and i think this was to women or maybe to everybody stop being whores and hooking up with people or playing with people's feelings or trying to be tra trap people with child support or whatever the case may be that's to everyone that's uh, to everybody yeah. okay all right that's to both genders sexes. uh you said media has driven us to be more and more polarized from the opposite sex gender, and we all have to remember that at the end of the day, we're all human and deserve to be treated as such. Men aren't ATMs, women aren't just walking fleshlights. Okay, I concur with that. You know, uh, Generally, you said you think that a big problem is a lot of people wanting the instant gratification, wanting the one year anniversary, not the 364 days between that. Commit to some, someone, grow with them, support each other and love one another for who they are and be willing to guide and be guided and either side is always right. Uh, did you want to add to uh, any of that? And you also said hookup culture is the dumbest thing to exist and is the bane of all of our mental healths and moral compasses. Yeah, I doubled down on all that. I think okay, all she agrees happening. with what she said in the, in the pre-show yeah. notes. I mean, okay. I, I don't really have like too much to add like right off rip other mm. than just like remember that at the end of the day, we're all human, right? It's so easy to get, like, have extreme opinions on either end of a spectrum, whether mm -hmm. it's um, feminism, politics, or whatever. Like, I just, like, think we should all be friends. And, like, I think a big thing is wanting to understand another person, mm -hmm. like, wanting to understand the other side rather than wanting to be polarized and wanting to be right. I think that's mm -hmm. the thing is that none of these ideas are new, and this whole concept of the battle of the sexes has been really a modern concept mm -hmm. because prior to the, the 20th century, we worked in unison. We had our complementary roles, and we respected that in society. Now, with hookup culture and all of this jazz, it's reduced the interactions between men and women as being purely materialist and transactional. And naturally speaking, we're both going to start resenting each other, hating each other for the quote unquote elements or like, you know, vices that the opposite sex has, mm -hmm. but it's because our roles are no longer complementary. They're being on purpose by the establishment, I suppose, put against each other because yep. we're competing against each other now. Yep. That's why it's like, it's kind of nonsensical to say like, oh, well, you know, a woman values this and a man values that and it should be equal or, oh, there's hypocrisy there. And it's like, we're both inherently Emphasi different. Exa Men emphasize and women the, the differences and see why it's complementary. Don't yeah. try to reduce it all down to the equal, equal narrative or whatever. Find the balances, find a way to balance, not find a way to fight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dope. I think the last thing I have is for Ivory back there as she's uh, oh, coming. I have to say. Wait, he has she ran oh. all the way over. Yeah, I think <laughs> the, just the last Ivory got a new jump up. <laughs> Put the boys away. No, 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 no. Let me say this. <laughs> if anybody's in the comments saying that I'm flirting with Jake, I'm absolutely not flirting with Jake. I'm trying to get We're, him to talk to my friend. What? So what? We're at the opposite ends of the table. It's, there's not much. Yeah. No, apparently it's because you said, because Brian walked off um, because something was said and he just got frustrated. And I said, I turned to her and I said, he hates us, just jokingly. And you said, I love you. Oh. Yeah, she's trying to really ship Les and, uh, <laughs> and Jake there. I don't know. Yeah, I'm really trying to get because <laughs> she's over here in my ear talking about you, and I'm like, come on. What's up? I'm not talking to anyone's ear. Anything I say, I will say it to you. Jake, is, okay. it, is it an issue that she's currently involved in a like semi-complicated sexual relationship with her ex-boyfriend, who, who she is? still has feelings for? Who is? Who? You. <laughs> That's ended right now. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> wow. I thought I thought there was something. <laughs> no. I didn't. I didn't know about him. Until no, now. me and my ex are. In all okay, fairness, though, they all when's the last that. time you guys? Ha when's the last time you guys had sex? <laughs> Whenever we broke up, fucking months ago. Oh. 
I thought you guys were still like. That's not me. You're talking about one of these other girls. No, I'm pretty. Nope, that's definitely her. Still sleeping with her. Well, you, you said you were in a situation ship. So that's different. Slash it's that's a different. Person. So you're in a situation ship well, now. No, that's what. I don't, who is he? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> Are, okay. We, See, she's no trying to she's right trying now. to squirm like wiggle no, out of this. We're okay. on no contact right now. That's why I was saying like we're having some issues. Okay. When's so the last? Rebound. When's the last? No, la no. You can be first runner up. Don't worry. <laughs> this runner Jesus. up. Jesus. <laughs> okay. When when is the Rebound. last time that you've had sexual intercourse? I don't know. Yesterday. No. That's a yesterday face. It's actually I've been a couple them. weeks. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. I don't In all fairness, you walking off or the temperament that you've shown is just funny. It's humorous. It's light. It's not to be taken too seriously. Oh, no. Yeah. No, Wait, it was I'm, funny. I just. Oh, um, I didn't even take it that way. <laughs> no, no, no. I just uh, looked at my totally phone. I might be totally oblivious to what's been yeah. happening. <laughs> I'm confused. I'm, okay. Here's <laughs> Les, Les wants to have P and the V sexual intercourse with you after the show, Jake. Oh, my God. I, what? What? It's not my style. Okay. But, oh, you prefer. Uh, I'm looking for something a little you, bit more special on long term. You, you but prefer. I appreciate the attention. Is it? That's why I stick to anal sex. <laughs> <laughs> There's no poop hole loophole with me. Whoa, okay. All right. Yeah. Jesus. Okay. Yeah, really not my styles. But uh, okay. okay. Anal right. sex is uh, gay. Based, including with women. Um, Wait, it is. what? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Disavow. Why, why? Disavow. If you're sticking your dick in. In a the pooper. Poop hole loophole. Gaslighting. Like, this is gaslighting. Okay, like you You are literally wanting your. That is the most. Feening <laughs> for that. That's to, the most arslered. Okay. What that is the he most arslered thing I've ever fucking. What if he arse, just wants to feel submissive arse. and readable? Right. This is this is why you have an epidemic of men thinking that they're women because men quality. treat them the same now. It's like oh, if you have a poop hole, you're no different than a woman, and it's like. Okay, bro, this but is like, look such a woman. fucking stretch, bro. <laughs> that is the biggest fucking stretch Andrew ever. Andrew Tate is over there trying to like rationalize to men why it is not gay to have sex with a uh, no, with, it's with gay. It looks like Megan Fox. No. So <laughs> if, if a woman, you have sex if a with woman, so many women, and you only treat them as sex so you're saying I think you have to wait. take that with a pinch of salt, though. I think he's so perhaps, he, he's being a, a provocateur. It, I mean, he visited okay. Thailand and then afterwards but he was like, oh, you know, lady boys aren't that bad after all. That is totally unrelated. It's like, you see, you're saying it's gay to have yes, it, like it to fuck a woman yes, in the in, ass in the butt. Yeah, it's a slippery it's, slope to basically saying there's nothing. Okay, if, if I can't get a girl, if I can't get a girl on a Tuesday, no, maybe I, I can get a guy. So, so if a woman, so if a woman eats a man's ass, does that make him gay? That's disgusting. That yeah. might be a no, little you're more. You're gay. gay. That is gay. Bro. Anything, 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 anything that anything? has to do with that area, a man. I don't think it's wrong. It's not. Yeah, I don't think so. because you're you're that's where you get okay. pleasure as like a guy. No. no. Stay the hell away. No, no, no. <laughs> Brian's quiet over here. <laughs> I don't <laughs> think Brian's so. Y'all y'all don't y'all <laughs> don't know. <laughs> Wait, just y'all haven't tried it. We're talking about a guy wanting to ha like fuck a girl in the ass. Yeah. We're not talking about receptive anal sex. If he man. ever no, no, asked no, me to fuck me in the ass, I would personally tell him, go find a man Sorry, to Jake. do that with. <laughs> Haram. <Sorry>. Haram. <laughs> Anyways. Wait, how is but Kayla cosigns? Apparently, it's it's gay to want to have anal sex with like a woman. It I'm is. confused. So true. Because you still want that. Why? Part. Why, Why you want yeah. that hole? Yeah. You have a right whole there. other one. It's, yeah, exactly. Okay, but like, like natural. What, like, what is so interesting can, about can I, the can asshole? I say, I don't want to paint too much of a vivid picture tired. in people's mind. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But there is a <laughs> big, big difference. Between the bum hole of a woman and the bum hole of How a man. How do you know? Is it because okay. it's tighter? Yes. They're hairy, okay. disgusting, Ryan unkempt. Is <laughs> okay. You don't want to see it. It's just, I wouldn't wish it upon my worst enemy. <laughs> I wouldn't wish it upon my worst you know, enemy. Women have hair too, men, you know. No, women yeah, are beautiful. Shave. and Women don't poo. We shave. That's the, that's the difference. Yeah. No, I mean, we that's, don't why, do all that's that. why twinks get their butts yeah. waxed. That's women, why twinks get their yeah. butts bleached. It's like they're no, trying no, to it's, emulate it's, that. Everyone knows that women are only allowed to poo in their Wait, wait, wait. I want to ask the chat. I want to ask the chat. Chat. Is it, <laughs> is it is gay, it gay to, fuck a woman? to want to fuck a woman in the ass? <laughs> okay, but like, one in the chat no. if it's gay, two in the chat if it's not. <laughs> what if the how woman could it conceivably? <laughs> how? Is Why does that comment? This, that is, comment is says Brian one, took a finger. Is this one of those objective what does that questions? Mean? Or is this it absolutely is. It exactly. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Is the is chat you need? is speaking yeah. at the moment. Oh, sorry. And we're nemesis, come on, What's bro. one and what's two? Nemesis, don't spam. Yeah, what's one's one yes. and two? Two's no. Two's is pretty divided. It is. It's mostly two. 
Is two is not gay. Objective? Is this one is well, gay. most of the men are saying of that. emotionally coping <laughs> yeah, with see, reality? Yeah, see, yeah. Most of the men are men trying to process your bad decisions, perhaps. They're trying to protect their masculinity right now. Wait, so hold on. They're like, wait. So hold on. If men have mouths too, if I receive it's been oral argued sex, that, yeah. if I receive oral sex from a woman, does that make, is that gay? It's, no. It argue, no. It's, it's been argued in the past that that's seen as a homosexual act because you're oral. denigrating the traditional procreative act between a man and a woman. Oh. So it's like if you're only going to be it's using right a woman or denigrating a woman for her Your orifices, logic is a little faulty, but okay. then it's like you're basically going to be a I sexual think, degenerate. But like, but like that's a very extreme argument. No, exactly. Like, I don't necessarily think... Hold on a second. Think, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Are you, okay. So, hold on, hold on, wait. So, but like oral sex is is very different though to like vaginal sex, and there's also the argument that okay. uh, under the union of man and woman in marriage, sex is an it is an instrument of pleasure, and it can be an instrument of pleasure. So it doesn't necessarily have to be for procreating. In in the Song of Solomon in the Bible, it references a poem where basically it says that the woman is enjoying the fruits of a man's loins, basically, where it's like it references oral, basically. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's like it's been argued where it's like, is it something that's like degenerate or is it not something that's degenerate? Okay, hold on, hold that on. That being said, hold there on. is argument for it. And if you're a sexual degenerate, there's not going to be an end to how far you'll spiral Next time I'm going to ask, would you like to rape the fruits of my loin? <laughs> <laughs> this is like, <laughs> so you're, I mean, it seems like you're making an argument about sodomy, right? So, mm -hmm. but here's the thing. Uh, uh, it, it's just like, so you're saying, okay, so first we need to define our, our terms. So gay. Gay means homosexual. Happy. Two, two men, two men. If you're, if you're making the argument that a sexual act between an, a man and a woman is gay, like it just logically does not compute because there needs to be two men. If you don't like there him, needs to be two men. That. In the way in the way that modern logic works, yes, you have a point. But gay never meant homosexual. It meant being happy. Homosexual is also a new term. It's always been sodomy, to be a sodomite. So in order to go up someone's butthole, yeah, there's no difference between <laughs> yeah, that and a man and a woman. It's, so it's not faith. defined by that. Okay. But so you're you're saying that the term the, the term gay that you're using means like you're using it in the joyful that's always like, well. That's flamboyant. Always sense. been the term of it. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to break it down. How logically. bad? That's so it's like, bad faith. It's, that's it's so not. Bad it's not faith. bad faith at it's all. It's actually quite like <laughs> academic. It's here's why it's bad faith. Because okay. do you think when people are talking about the world, the word gay, do you think that like for most people they're referring to homosexuality? When you think of straight sex, do you think of penetrating sex question. between no, 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 men no. and women? Answer or do you the think question. Anal? Answer the question. Yes. What was the question? I'm sorry. Okay. Oh. In like, for the vast majority of people in 20, perhaps in, I don't know when it, they made the switch when it, with the word gay. Mm -hmm. In 2024, when people use the word gay, you're, are you arguing that they're more likely to think that that's a, a, a fill-in for happy or flamboyant or whatever, no. as compared to a descriptive term for homosexuality? Yeah, the latter, as opposed to the So former. why are you arguing from like a definition that is not current and not modern? Because we're arguing the act, and the act hasn't been defined. The act of sodomy is not defined by between two gay men. It's defined by going up someone's butt. And going up someone's butt has always been seen as okay, something so done I'll, between if, men. <laughs> We're getting into a really logical yeah, conversation no, no, no. right but, now. So, okay, if I'm willing to concede that technically it's sodomy, mm -hmm. but it's not clear. So, is everything that is sodomy, is that always gay? I mean, pretty is much. It, everything no. that's sodomy is, is, is makes you a sodomite. Mm -hmm. it's different like it doesn't gay. here so if we were to, to if we called. were to google the de definition of sodomy and then gay or homosexuality you're are you arguing that we would find that anal that making, okay. i i want to come back to what you said earlier you were about to define um straight sex so what is straight sex to you vagina and penis uh, okay so if a trans woman had a vagina surgically that's, that's a mutilated sex? penis. It's gay, it's still gay. It's literally yeah. a mutilated penis. That's not a vagina. A vagina has a okay. womb to it, uterus, eggs. Okay, like so here's, so here's the definition of sodomy. Sexual intercourse involving anal or oral copulation. So if, if this is the definition you're using, then is your position that a man receiving oral sex from a woman is, that is a gay, that's homosexual behavior? I mean, I have teased that before, and I'm like, it is a little gay. I mean, it's not necessarily as gay as anal, but it is a little gay. 
Well, you said. Okay, but you in order for something, it's it, it, the the logic doesn't follow. In order for something to be gay or homosexual. Homosexual means with the same sex, but having right. anal sex is very very close to just being like sexually. Like, but there's it's still no a end female. I think okay, you're, you know you're, like, you're yeah. using, the, you're using the, the term quite loosely. You're saying it, it's gay. Like it's, you're saying it fl- like a throwaway term. Whereas you're honing in on the actual meaning of it. It's not a homosexual thing to do because it's with a woman. The but angles are different. It's yeah. like you want to specify it's not a man. And I'm specifying it's not a man, but it could be a man later on if it's the same <laughs> sex act. But it's not a man. It's something but a closeted gay uh, man would do. Bro. It's something that's like a pipeline, basically. It's like it's in itself. Like if a woman's like, oh, a guy's with super into anal door. sex. Other women, I am like, not stingy um, with my barn door. Might be going in that direction. You what? See that? My barn door. I'm not stingy with it. What the? F- uh, oh, okay. I, yeah. It's time for us to go. Hold on. <laughs> Wait. We're not. We're we're almost wrapped up. They're just hang rough. tight for just a sec, guys. Okay. <laughs> They ran. So it's okay. not gay. Hang tie for a sec. No. Shall we go around the panel? <laughs> no, we're we're gonna move on. But um, okay, that was. I like your your. All right. Take. Um, so <laughs> I think the last thing That's with it. oh with Ivory, can you scoot your mic uh, to the edge of the table, yes. please? Uh, Ivory, one of the things, and I left this for the end here. Uh, you s- actually. Uh, you're scaring me. No, it's just. So you said, we asked you, is there anything like you disagree with about the show or the host? And you wrote, I forgot what I said. Oh my God, why do you keep dragging on the negative energy? It's annoying, oh crying emoji. God. Like just say, okay, I'll do better and move on. Or respectfully just say your opinion and no, it's just an opinion. Stop getting so pressed. Oh, a lot of that happened today. Like when we were going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, like it's just like, just say, okay. Like you have your opinion, they have their opinion. Why are you trying to prove each other's opinions to each other? I mean, that's kind of like the point. point. Debate. That's kind of the point of it. like a debate is to. No, like, I understand. That. I'm not just gonna like immediately just accept your world worldview. I'm mm-hmm. gonna try to like. But push there's back just like it. to an extent, you know what I mean? To okay. an extent. <laughs> Until I, th- agree, agree I thought this was like yeah. related to uh, something else, but okay. I mean, we're not gonna go there. Um, any any final thoughts from anybody before we wrap up the show? Can I ask a question? Sure. Um, I just want to kind of ask people, like starting with you and probably going around, mm-hmm. like how people feel when like, how do I word this? Um, how people feel when they're like loved and in love, like how do they feel about society when they're like in a happy relationship oh. and stuff? Like does their worldview change on the value of the opposite gender. I'm wait. I'm sorry. Can yes, you just sure, restate the question? I was following and then got so lost. basically, <laughs> if if you're in like a um, relationship where you feel loved, do you feel like you have a better outlook toward the opposite gender? Yeah. If I'm yeah. in a healthy, good relationship, do yeah. I have a better outlook towards the opposite gender? Uh, yeah, I mean, I like to think I have a healthy outlook whether I'm in a good relationship or not. I mean, I try, I to keep it real. To ke- I keep it real, man. Yeah. I keep it real. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, I think women are fantastic. I don't always agree with them on everything. I sometimes don't don't always understand them, but uh, by and large, I think women are great. I think women are wonderful. I've got a mother. I've got a sister, and. Um, whether I'm in a relationship or not really doesn't um, impact that. But I, ha- I mean, I have seen a pattern with both men and women. They can sometimes like have negative outlooks on the opposite gender, gender, but then they tend to calm down a fuck ton once they actually get into like a relationship, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think I have largely positive interactions with women. I've got a very good relationship with my mom. I don't have any sisters. Um, yeah, I've, I've, I've had some positive relationships, some not so positive as well. So the ones that weren't, weren't so positive, definitely like after, after that, it probably takes its toll a little bit. But when you are in a positive, healthy relationship, then yeah, most definitely makes you, makes you appreciate the opposite sex. Yeah. I'd say a woman motivates a man to combat the world. I'd say that a man gives a woman peace in her reality. So if a woman is disturbing a man's peace, his reality is going to be, he's not going to be motivated to take on the world. And if a man is a bad man, then he's going to make a woman basically feel like she's in hell. Um, 
Was I, it, did you want everybody to answer this, or was it just for me and Jake? Um, I mean, if, if that's fine. It, yeah. it depends okay, on wait, the time. Super quick, Leslie and I do really have to go before we get left behind. Sorry. No, you're okay. Not, okay. We're fine. They're not leaving us behind. They're not. Who's, who's they? Girl, I want to go. Wait, who, who's they? Who? Who's oh, they? She's Miss Sassy, and I'm not ready for her sass right now, so continue. It's going to be, how, how long is the drive into the mountains? Like six hours. That's going to be an awkward fucking She gets right out three hours in. Mm -hmm. What's <laughs> she what? She I get out in three hours in. Yeah. She's so not I'm staying in Fresno right now. She's capping on y'all. Wait, you so have to drive the full six hours. Yes, I do. I live in the mountains. Are we seeing a bit of trouble in paradise here? <laughs> yes. We're both from it the happens. same place, but right now I live in Fresno. We're literally born two days apart. Who wins too? the fight? Me. The fight no, happens. she does not. Yeah, I do. I kind of think you'd take Jake on a date after the show, to oh, be honest. I should, huh? Probably. They're going into the mountains. Maybe. She's actually is Where a hard going? working woman. She has a nine to five. <laughs> she has what? She has a nine to five and she works every day. Yeah, I work six out of seven days a week. You're a fucking legend. Oh, Proud of you. <laughs> fucking legend. That would be, that would be something. Uh, were we going around on that? I mean, yeah. um, I don't feel interested. So, in uh, <laughs> honestly, you don't feel what? Like don't dating feel like a guy and, and being loved by a guy didn't really improve my opinion on guys. If anything, I think it made it worse because the guy was like very, like, I guess weak. <laughs> like, um, what is this show? But, um, Honestly, my opinion of men didn't improve at all until I repaired my relationship with my dad. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. yeah, like that's like that's one of the biggest things. Yeah. It didn't, okay. yeah. Good for you. Right. It's, yeah. it's your first love, your dad. Dude, mm -hmm. it's something like yeah. you don't yeah. make me That's the model's your definition. How about yourself? Hey guys, sidebar Sorry. conversations. Sorry. Uh, what was the... Do you feel when you're in, in a relationship that's like happy or healthy, like you feel loved and in love, do you have a better outlook on the opposite gender? I feel like yes and no because like being in a happy relationship and me feeling loved doesn't change the fact of how other men are going to act. Does that make sense? So like not really but like maybe it might give me a little more lightness towards the other so you're gender. you're saying that but the, the endorphins don't necessarily skew the reality. Yeah. yeah okay. Yourself? Um, definitely doesn't change the facts about men in general but it definitely shows me that there's some men out there. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely just gives you a new perspective. Like, there are some decent guys out there, and they're not all scumbags. Um, but other than that, I don't really view the majority of the population any different. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Kayla. What does what that yeah mean? <laughs> She's tired, isn't she? Yeah, so when you're in a, like, happy, healthy, yeah, loving yeah, yeah. relationship, no, do you view men differently? in general? Oh, remember, it's been like three years since I was single. I think so. Are you in a long-term relationship at the moment? Yes. Yeah, she's, she's yeah. I missed three the start years. of the show. Yeah, yeah. my bad. Oh, no, go um, I'm like 20. Meow. Years, so. mm -hmm. Been quiet the second half of the show. Oh, I I'm missed just, you. I'm waiting my turn. I, uh, I, I have a really fantastic father figure, so I don't feel like there's any point in my life that I've disproportionately viewed men as villainous. Um, in fact, my mm -hmm. experiences with women as I've gotten older um, have been a lot more uh, insidious, I feel like, especially like ad other adult women wanting to like influence me into certain uh, areas or, or aspects. Like, it, like for instance, I, I reflected on this the other day, and the fact is I, I thought about it, and out of all of the men and women who I have ever interacted with who have done OnlyFans or done sex work, it has always been in my personal experience, the women who have encouraged me, who have pushed me out of my comfort zone, who have been inappropriate toward me, whereas the men either never even talk about it or they do the classic, hey, do you do that? Oh, okay, I guess not. It's just, uh, it's not like a... So in your, you're an e-girl, right? Mm -hmm. You do the streaming? Yes, so live, live streaming. You must get a lot of temptation, a lot of people trying to tell you to do the OnlyFans and there must yes. be a lot of money on the table. Absolutely. What, why not? Um, because I don't believe in uh, exploiting myself for a dollar amount uh, for a certain amount of years or months that I feel like that will get me where I need to be. I'm fortunate that I've been working since the age of 15. I, I've been very diligent about building a life for myself and I've been able to build an entire career online myself without taking my clothes off. And so I know for a fact that there are so many beautiful women who have so much talent and so much personality, but because of the culture we live in, they are encouraged this quick money option when in reality, it's not quick money. It's it's not a longevity uh, uh, endeavor. endeavor, it's not. 
I would agree. Mm-hmm. Preach. I think that's that depends on the person. I don't know. I've seen a lot of quick money from me, so like one percent. I'm just curious. You, I detect a bit of an accent from you, Arson. Do you? Where did you grow up? South Central LA. No, I I grew up actually in Seattle, um, but so but I, I don't know. I was yeah in Seattle. Okay. I don't know if you know anything about there, but yeah, it's different parts. Yeah, definitely. I have an accent of like exactly where I'm from. Like I've definitely been told I have an accent of exactly where I'm from. Interesting. Okay, it doesn't sound like. It. What, is Seattle the, uh, is that considered the Pacific Northwest? Yes. Yeah, there's, there's different parts of Seattle, though. Yeah. Like, you don't sound yeah. like you're from the Pacific Northwest. There's, there's, there's different, different parts. parts. Okay, there's different yeah. parts. Okay. <laughs> Fair. Um, we have a, I'm, once everyone's back in their seats, I'll wrap up the show. I don't know if we, anyone back there who can rejoin? Do we have... Uh, Les. Just the one we more. We got day. less and then Bree. Uh, zombie. There's a new hat zombie. that's made an appearance. Here, let me read this. We have, <laughs> so, so we have some Soviet tweets. Union we got some tweets I got to pull up, then oh, we're going to wrap. Player. Yo, Brian, as a combat veteran, a fireman for 25 years, cancer survivor, X3, please show these Let's feminists go. and three UFOs on OF, the very end of Saving Private Ryan. Uh, that's what a traditional woman looks like. My grandfather landed third wave at Omaha Beach, liberated Buchenwald. Uh, nice. Unfortunately, just for copyright reasons, we wouldn't be able to show uh, the end of the you know a major motion picture. But actually, showing them the beginning of Saving Private Ryan mm. would probably be a bigger, uh, uh, much more productive. Or I don't recall what the end of it was. But uh, Rock Dog, really appreciate your patronage. Thank you for the message. I think this is your first time uh, sending in a soup chat. So thank you, man. Appreciate it. And uh, okay, we had a couple tweets that we're gonna go over. Uh, Nick, we're not gonna show the ones that are at the end, but you know, just the ones that I initially showed you. We'll just, we have, uh, who is it the tweets from? Yeah, we'll just pull the tweets up. One of you guys had some interesting tweets. I thought we'd react to them. It's Jules. <laughs> I love being an online slut. Wait, actually, can, wait, can, can somebody give her a mic? Can somebody yes. swap seats with her? So it's over a year old. Just, <laughs> almost a year old. Here, how about you two swap? You two swap. You two swap. Less than a year. Here, hold on. I'll, I'll let her read them. I'll let her take a seat. What's up? <laughs> Here, wait. Pull, pull, the, pull up to the mic. Pull up to the mic. All right, go ahead. Pull it up, Nick. We'll have you read it. Okay. I love being an online slut. All men should fear me. I, I believe this is true. This is factual. Explain. <gasps> Why should all men fear you? Dude, oh my god. Why should all men fear me? This is a good question. You said it. I know I did, but I don't even remember what mindset I was in that <laughs> time. I'm like embarrassed. I should go delete that. She, tweet. Talk, she's, she's, she was talking about men the whole night, so I don't know. It was a whole other personality. Yeah. <laughs> I'm nervous. We were talking it up last See, night. We, like, a lot of people come on the show, right? And like, you guys have really strong opinions. Don't be scared to mm -hmm. share your viewpoints. Mm -hmm. What if we get canceled, though? Right. I've already it's a small price to pay. <laughs> small price to pay for internet fame. I think I must have like just meant. I must have just meant all men should fear me, as in like, please stay away from me and stop hurting me. Oh. Okay. Honestly. Uh, uh, can I have you scoot into the table a little bit? Uh, did this get bumped? Uh, I don't know if it got bumped. Um. Perfect. Uh, okay. There's more. We got more. Oh, Tweets. <laughs> can can you read it? <laughs> Never simp for a mill again. Like I said. Yeah, I just I simp for males really bad in my past and I'm over it. I've how did, how did that look like? How did, what would like simping look like for you? Uh basically doing doing a lot more for them that they're doing for me and they're most likely treating me like shit and I still continue to simp for them, mm. you when, know what I mean? When the body count question came up, you said that you didn't want a man to judge you, mm -hmm. but I think you're lacking judgment when it comes to the men that you're engaging with, mm -hmm. and I think you need to exercise that judgment more so that way you can protect yourself from them mm -hmm. while also having self-awareness about yeah, what kind definitely. of Don't stop simping, though. Yeah, we like, no, no. We like you have really good I like Sim. Yeah, I like a girl sweet. who Sims. Yeah. Sim I just, yeah. I just, I just you, want to Sim for the right guy. You've got a very... Yeah, that's great. Exactly, exactly. You've got a, a sweet nature. Thank I can you. see the sweetness. Thank you. Be exactly Keep how you are, I'm but so with the I'm so sweet, and I feel like... 
Guys, just <laughs> I don't know. I'm so sweet, but guys oh, fucking man. take advantage of me still. But I'm the sweetest, and I just don't understand why I get treated the way I do by men. Probably go for guys your own age, don't you? Yeah. Wait, why did you gesture at me? Well, maybe I could see why from my online presence, though. From these tweets you're pulling up, maybe that's why oh. I tend to get treated like shit. Do you have a good I'm father figure? No. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Nor do I have a mom. Find so. one and ask him to pick someone for you. Oh, I would never that's let my such dad pick a man for me. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's such basic advice. Such good uh, advice. Okay, uh, next. Dude! Again? Why I, mean? I swear... Go ahead. Wait, wait. I swear to God, males are why I have to get so high on a daily basis y'all tripped me the fuck out i tweeted this while i was in a very bad relationship and uh, yeah dude i i honestly have to get so high on a daily basis just to deal with people in general okay like y'all freak me out yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on on weed okay don't yeah that's it kind of a red that's flag though, okay tweets, next so next tweet stuff. next tweet <laughs> is it gonna be my tweets again yes. <laughs> I, I looked through your guys' Twitters and I... I don't have a Twitter. Read it. The fact that I have to take so much shit from males on a daily basis makes me such an unhinged bitch. Jules. I don't know. You've seen kind of nice on the show. I mean, you do. Are you hiding? Nice. What are you Girl, hiding? She hiding. Just, I last night really she was telling us about tea that she was people. recording him. She almost got fired from her job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> men make me unhinged. <laughs> they try to get reactions out of me, and they do end up getting. The so reaction. would you like lull us in with this like sweetness lullaby and this soft-spoken <laughs> lullaby, and then when we get in there, you just become an unhinged bitch? <laughs> Wait. Will these men make me an unhinged bitch? <laughs> Wait. What's your yeah. Actual name. It's not Kronkosaurus. What's your actual name? I'm Jules. Jules. My name is Jules, yeah. All right, Jules. Can you demonstrate, like, let's ha maybe do a role play here. Pretend I'm, like, an asshole dude. Like, what's the, like, do you ever raise your voice? Oh, yeah. Like, I raise you my seem voice. Like, I say the first impression, things. You I will seem like a, a sweet. Oh, you degrade. Like, yeah, when, when they get In it private. out of me. When they get it out of me. Because, like, like, chat, doesn't she seem like, I mean... You know, pretty pleasant, <laughs> no, you know. That's what, I, that's what I'm saying. I, if, soft spoken, if I soothing once, voice. If I could for once meet a guy that would transform treat me how I, I need to see to Super Saiyan. I need to see Jules Super Saiyan level two. <laughs> I can pull up some text messages, dude. It gets bad. Okay, pull it. Let's <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, do, do you have your phone? Do you have your phone on you? Oh yeah, I just grabbed it. I didn't have it on you, the whole time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Let's <laughs> I want some let's see let's see some receipts. I'm literally dude, the same so way. <laughs> Yeah. And online, you can have a whole other presence than in real life, you know? Yeah, definitely. Like, if men are not respectable, like, I don't respect them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like... See, that's why you gotta they be... They really say the same thing about women. You gotta be careful. You know, you gotta be careful. Sometimes the crazy doesn't come out until <laughs> <laughs> weeks or months down the road. Yeah. Okay. You know? Yeah, man. All right, Jules. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> All right. Jules, let's, uh, so, uh, you want me to find just, I message? want you to project all your fucking everything onto me. You can project it. <laughs> right. We're going to okay, I got it, got project it. everything and then say that shit. Like just fucking, you're a method say actor. Shit. Get in the fucking mode. Do you, this message is so long. Should I read the whole thing? Or God just damn, get, bro. You're sending paragraphs. <laughs> 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 Holy I, I shit. Did y'all see that shit? That's just like this. My man didn't reply. Right. But, 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 Chad. <laughs> I must Guys. have blocked him after, though. I think yeah, I blocked that's what him after I sent it. Okay, but say it like how you mean it. Like yeah. fucking lean into that shit. Well, if I <laughs> fucking look at me here. I'm going to put on. Yeah. It's getting hot in here. This is your ex-boyfriend right here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's, that's her ex-boyfriend. Like <laughs> <laughs> that's the dude. That's okay. I'm the dude. I don't know if I can like read it very aggressively. Like I'm honestly kind of nervous right now being put on the spot, but I'll what, read what's it. What's like okay? a dick thing like your ex said to you? Oh. And I'll say it oh, right well, now to one, you. He called me on the phone, no caller ID. Yeah. Just to be like. You're such a fucking slut. How do you like being a slut, Jules? Get back on OnlyFans. I bet you'll love that shit, you that dumb one. bitch. Okay, that was yeah, real. That's, that's what he <laughs> said to me. <laughs> I literally stopped doing OnlyFans for him, and then that's what he says to me after. Wow. Yeah, and then so this is the text I sent him. You guys want to read it? It's so bad. Go, you did the f him so well. Now do you. Go. <laughs> okay. 
you're the most two-faced lying <laughs> ass manipulative <laughs> bitch i've ever dealt with in my life and i know you know exactly what i'm talking about you freak ass weirdo keeping me on the fucking leash the last month <laughs> tell me telling me we'd get back together and you're working on yourself for me lies you're out here partying with anyone and every single you're out here partying with everyone every single night telling our coworkers i'm crazy in our business like you already know how terrible you make me feel can you leave shit at home and not take take it to our jobs where we both work and have to be getting everyone involved in it you fucking weirdo you're literally so lame and gross holy shit literally master con artist fuck boy wants to use me when i'm lit the only baddie you'll ever get in your fucking life you ugly small dick ass little boy <laughs> do not speak or even look in my direction again at work fucking loser i have to work with this guy she didn't that even stutter me, that reminds me of the, this is for rachel this is wow. for rachel you think yeah. and then she starts going off that was impressive the small dick ass yeah that's where i got him oh I felt it so still sounded like moment. pretty nice though like the, just the way you okay. say it thank you it's thank still you. like <laughs> You know, like her tonality, she's got a pleasant voice. Was the BPD girl that bad? Where mm -hmm. it's like that's compare in comparison, that's not actually that bad compared to what you what you've seen. Well, okay, if you look at the actual content of what she's saying, it's pretty fucking that's pretty raw. But like the way she was saying it, like <laughs> if I was like dating a girl and she was just like that could have put me to sleep listening to that. That was like very yeah. soothing. That was soothing. You small dick bitch ass man. No, yeah. I'll even say that when I was- That was so soothing, right? It I'm, was so soothing. When I have yelled at him in real life, I am this quiet. Really? While I'm yelling. Damn. Like I'm not even that scary in this- I don't know if that's like worse or better. But he still lives Like is it kind of scary that she's like so calm and shit? Talk. I've heard women sound like pterodactyls. Like that ass, <laughs> right. like. Yep. Okay, we've got more tweets. What's the more tweets? More tweets. Uh, more tweets. Oh my Read goodness. <laughs> you got this. Uh, damn, males make me so fucking angry just looking at their stupid, dumb, idiotic faces. I want to fucking smash that shit into a curb for real. I've just been played, guys. I've been played my whole life by my dad, by, by every guy after my dad, you know? So th this is where this is all coming from. Oh Wait, I'm all hurt. Your what's I'm what's hurt. going on? This all is your inner turmoil Wait, yeah. coming but, out. But I'm working on it though. I'm yes. like in a way stronger spot I than I've ever been. You guys in my life. are like you guys are starting to show yeah. like signs yeah. of piercing beyond mm -hmm. that sort of pain mm -hmm. and seeing Definitely. what yeah. you need to change. Basically, yeah. I've literally seen girls on here like yeah, like hopeless. But like a lot of girls on here like they actually like are like cognizant. Jake will give you a ride back. It's it's all good. <laughs> Jake? Wait, what, what do you mean? Are we gonna get some bonding time in? I think you guys should go go to the mountains together. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that, is that um, turning her down? He's not fucking leaving. If he leaves, me, he's in deep shit. Bye. Okay, yeah, I'll go. But he go, go, he has kids' attention. So he doesn't have kids. Him. I know him. He doesn't have kids. He's, he's lying. Got, he's got. Is that? Is it your guy friend? Fam. I, I don't. Family is it, friend. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. even know. So she's leaving. Uh. She's they spending the night. Me. They're they not won't. gonna leave without you. No, they're just trying to guilt you or whatever. Yes, okay. and I don't care. Is there more? Did you read the tweet? Did, yeah, I read it. Was there another tweet? We got another tweet, Nick. Yeah. Is there more Please, tweets? More, more tweets. tweets. Did we just do the damn mails to make me so fucking angry? Yeah, okay, we've done a lot of those. All right, next, that was like next every one. Tweet. Oh, oh my god, what is what is this? I knew what you. Oh, never this? mind. No astrology. <sighs> bro, it sucks because wait wait. Bro, it sucks because I can say all day long I hate men and no more relationships. But at the end of the day, I'm a Libra, so I can't fight these natural urges of wanting to be in love so bad. And that's like I'm a natural lover girl. Have I'm you a guys Libra. Ha heard anything about Libras? I'm a Libra. Like this, this shit sucks. I don't like, really I don't want to be a lover girl but, anymore, uh, dude. It hurts. <laughs> I think it's only us Libras uh, that want love. Any Tauruses or anything? I don't know. Any Tauruses? Tauruses okay. are crazy. I'm All other stuff is cold, man. The Scorpio. Okay. Scorpio. That means anything. Any other tweets? More tweets? <laughs> one more tweet. We Let's got one go. more tweet. One more. <laughs> oh, wait. What? Oh, so maybe it's scroll down? <laughs> it was a reply tweet. <laughs> no, I basically a celibate ho IRL because none of these males have proven worthy to me as of lately. Okay. Yeah, and I was celibate until I was with my that last ex. Sounds like I a just... good name for like a singer, celibate ho. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, double entendre. Could be my rap name. My rap name. Okay. Uh, cool. Uh, so why why is it that you? Uh, yeah. What did you say? You had the men? two Libra men on top of you because you're also Libra, attracting that energy. Yeah. No astrology mentioned. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Uh, any final, any other final thoughts here before we wrap? Anybody final, final thought from anybody else? Kayla. If you were a cat or dog, which one would you be? Uh, yeah. She's torn. She's torn. <laughs> Not really. Cat. It's a tough one. Yeah, so hard. Uh, She's literally a dog, guys. Yeah, I don't know what like <laughs> like I don't know what my floppy ears can like communicate more. Like the it's a bone, dog. the bone collar chain. It's a dog, bro. <laughs> but your name, Miel. <laughs> I'd be a I'd be a golden retriever. Mm. Yeah, I have a golden that. retriever. Like, <laughs> I'd be a Doberman. You'd be a boxer. Yeah. Doberman. Yeah. Everyone's choosing uh, cocker spaniel. <laughs> okay. Cats just get no play. No one likes cats. Cat. Here, we need to hear from Zombri, okay? <laughs> Zombri. Zombri. You've been a little quiet. I know, I'm just quiet. Sorry. What's we in need... your head, Zombri? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, question for the, the friends of Zombri here. <laughs> yeah. so, so, you know, are you introverted? Do you consider yourself introverted? Yeah. Quite, you guys are friends with her, right? You're all friends yeah. with yes. Zombri. Does her personality blossom like when you're with her privately yes 100 yeah. <laughs> percent. you gotta blossom it you gotta she blossom just like I, like I just she just has to be comfortable, to comfortable. yeah she yeah. just has to be comfortable with the people she's around okay and then, all right <laughs> another sweetheart zombie i'd say <laughs> have you ever slashed a dude's tires no is she a psycho at all, guys? I've yeah, definitely no? spray painted <laughs> my whole boyfriend's closet. Like his whole, like his ricks, everything expensive Ooh, I could find. Like I'm with red too. Uh, do you think okay. like your boyfriend or like ex-boyfriend? Do you think they also gloat to all of their friends about how they've like fucked you guys up? Yes. yes. Oh yeah, do. that's literally oh, the okay. reason I stopped talking to him. <laughs> uh. When I was 13, that's literally like disgusting. Like, why are you talking to my best friend about things we did when I was 13? Like, like you're really gross. And I'm like, I'm not talking to you no more. Unfortunately, like attracts really like. Guys do definitely He do does that. that. Nah. Like, <laughs> yes, I literally see it in the group chats. Don't lie. <laughs> Let's not cap right now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know what kind of circles you're moving in, but listen, y'all be menaces in them group chats. Mm -hmm. Y'all be going in. I'm not in any group chats. <laughs> I'm actually not in. Any I'm not in group chats. Men I just, in general. Then again, I feel like I'm kind of like a lone wolf, very individualistic person. So it must be like that's Sigma. Sigma. I guess that's why they call it Sin City. Chats. Definitely. Yes. Boom. Yeah. Beautiful. How old are you? 34. Yeah. That's yeah, why he's not in any group chats. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Invitation. Well, like. I'll hand it out to you. Good times, good times. Um, okay, uh, I guess the last thing I wanted to uh, ask: what the, what was up with the fucking, what was the blood thing about? <gasps> what do you mean? Like, you, you had menstrual blood apparently in a syringe. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why? Yeah, yeah, why? I don't think that was, me was we that menstrual blood. Close enough, um, <laughs> but um, we were. Just, I, I just had us perform a little spell, a little manifestation spell, just to do well, like on this show and in live. And okay. you know, we just lit some paper on fire, put it all in the center, like of what wrote down what we want to do well on. Just some what, cute little, um, a, a little symbolic oh. thing. What made me laugh was the fact that you. <laughs> You took out that one flamethrower, they had to take that away from you. You then show that one photo, oh. they take that away from you. You then bring up the syringe, Dude. they take that away from you. I'm like still Came kind strapped. of like... Rat. <laughs> Came genuinely strapped today. Yeah. Yeah, I keep that thing on me, you fool me? You keep... What, what do you keep That thing on, on me, Bobby. No, but like, why... Yo, AB Check, thank you for the gifted 20 memberships. Appreciate it. Uh, why, like, why did you... I was gonna put it on a necklace, just as a, like a charm, like a good luck charm, but oh. instead I put it in my ass crack. <laughs> <laughs> and you said it was blood from like your all these girls here. Not all, not all. Like two. Uh, yeah. No, like, it, it's always you? consensual. It's always if you want to participate, and obviously not everyone is gonna be into that. You put so it's whoever wanted to participate. Okay, so why yeah. did why did you put it in a syringe? Cause that's she how she drew it. How supposed to get the blood? She yeah. Draw yeah. Cause how blood else would you draw her. blood? Oh, you drew it. I thought it was menstrual blood. It can be <laughs> menstrual blood, but Wait, so it also you, cannot. You drew be it out from multiple women. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Not with no. Different no. Needle. I. I. Okay. Uh, this is a different. Different needle. Yeah. But I thought what? there were, so it, there's more than one blood in. Well, I didn't. I don't have both of them on me. That would be like. No, it's like the end of. That'd be crazy. It's, it's only like sense to bring one syringe. Yeah. But why? I mean, that's like a biohazard. Why would you? It wasn't your blood, was it? I was. I tried to do it on myself, but I, it, it it was like a really bad. But angle. why would you bring that to a podcast? 
Uh, well, it didn't have the needle on it. I, that's like that's like I feel that's like just those are just a container. Her essentials. People wear bottles like, of blood. For what? <laughs> just her essentials. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, it's Phone like wallet like, keys, vial. You know, what's in my what's in my purse? Exactly. Like, just a couple yeah. in there. And you did blood play with a boyfriend or something? Was that you? <laughs> that yeah, right. that, that was. You one know, time. that's what got Freddie Mercury. Hmm. That's what got Freddie Mercury. Those sorts of things. True. It, what do you mean, got Easy him? Freddie Mercury. I don't do that stuff like all the time. Be it's literally just like you know, it's not like I'm out here every day just like bloodletting. This is just like once just in a, a while. Just a Wednesday activity. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> just when it comes up. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like, why? What would compel you to bring like a biohazard into like a podcast studio? It's well, just, like, it was it's locked weird. up. It has a biohazard is contained. What do you mean? Like, so if you had depressed, I don't know if depressed is the right no, word. No, no, no. I, I, have... I sealed it with resin. You, oh, you sealed it? Yes. Did like you? Candle? Yes. Yes, if you were trying to squeeze it, nothing would come out. That is really? a biohazard, okay. to be fair, though, if it was to break or something, you know? I mean... So your intention with that wasn't to like come on and spray somebody with with it? What? No. I had this crazy idea which I realized was absolutely insane. But <laughs> <laughs> like I was like <laughs> maybe we oh, not say it. it. Maybe we not say it on here. <laughs> well, keep in mind the law. <laughs> yeah, why don't like, you say it? <laughs> I was like, what if we like <laughs> performed a ritual like on the podcast? Like just start like playing music, How would you feel? bring out the candy and everything get like some <laughs> get some holly water in here i was kidding about the last sentence but yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Wait, hold it's on. It's upside down. It's upside down. There we go. God, that's even worse. It's upside down. No. <laughs> Wait, do that again. I think we missed it. <laughs> oh, uh, all right. Well, um, protected. You gotta understand, like, so the reason I disappeared back there for a little bit, like, I mean, we were pretty close to like just kicking you guys all off because, like. I mean, people come on with like malicious intention, and uh, I mean, it's plausible that somebody could try to come on and do, some do something stuff. like really fucking gnarly, you know? So, no, it was literally the raccoon girl that made me want to come on. <laughs> <laughs> we were, I was thinking of different ways I should troll, but I was like, no, nah. hold on, hold on. Can the former Jehovah Witness and Purple Dalmatian yeah. make a podcast together? Would be very intellectual and would watch 100. Me too. But like discuss, literally discuss the thought process there is like she has a syringe full of blood. Like from our point of view is like, is she yeah. going to try to like splash it on me or Jake or like some shit like oh, that? Oh, heck you know? no. no. No, that was never a thought in my mind. Yeah. Okay. I think from, an, from the initial gauge of your character, it wouldn't be. But, but like it's a, that is a ginormous red flag bringing that into a podcast. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't recommend doing it again. Yeah, literally I went off camera and are like, mm. we may have to like... <laughs> But <laughs> there's a, there's also like two incidences of things that are like against the terms of service for the sites I, that you showed. Yeah, it's it's one. Well, you don't have any malicious days. intent, and it's very clear for I guess maybe me. But it's like these are sort of signs and habits of people that could have malicious intent, and that's kind of mm. why you need to have a level of self awareness where you don't want to have people think that you are someone who could hurt someone else. Because I don't think you. I think you're more a victim that gets hurt rather than someone who initially hurts. Yeah, heck no. I don't be out here hurting no one. I mind my business and I just like, you know, stay with like my clique, you know? So I don't know. I don't I don't go out here causing being a menace to society most of the time. But the not flame, intentionally. The flamethrower, <laughs> the the knife experience <laughs> and the vial of blood do yeah. give indications for everyone else being like something bad might happen, basically. Yeah. Room for room for growth, perhaps. Room for growth. Could you pass me the New Testament again, actually? <laughs> she might <laughs> Yeah. See, and that's a part of maturing is just like becoming self aware. Mm. Um, especially because you don't know what I think other I have people are. A lot of self awareness. Oh no, you absolutely just, have zero self awareness. Like I'm, if I'm I had a aware of the <laughs> fact that like what I'm I don't know. But like in my personal opinion, like just like I don't know, I think things that are probably not okay are are okay i have probably not the best decision making skills i'm aware of the fact That's that it's like you know probably not 
the best, but like I still feel inclined to do things. I don't know how to describe it. That's a it's lack of self awareness. Yeah. It's a pattern yeah. of behavior that you're trying to deprogram in yourself. I have been told I have behavioral first. problems, yeah. but compulsive <laughs> panic. The first, things. the first step is to be aware of it, and then the second step is to deprogram those bad behaviors that yeah. you made into a pattern. I don't know. I think. Do you have anything else on you? No. <laughs> it's already the end. But yeah. I mean, we. Uh, anyways. Uh, how, wait, how long, much longer are you going to wait for them, Donuts, Brian? Oh, I don't, we're all caught up on all the chats and stuff, I'm pretty sure. But, uh, I mean, we've, guys, we've implemented, anyways, whatever. Uh, we're, I'm not, I'm not going to linger, I'm not going to linger on that. Anyways, we're going to wrap up the show. Uh, guys, go to twitch.tv slash whatever, drop us a follow, drop us a prime sub. If you have one, twitch.tv, if you have Amazon Prime, you can link it to your Twitch. Quick, free, easy way to support the show every single month. Twitch.tv slash whatever. Thank you, guys. Um, are you down to do like 20 seconds of ASMR real quick since that's your thing? What kind of ASMR do you like? Do you even listen uh, to it? Do you like Plague Doctor? Uh, 1500s Plague Doctor ASMR. It's Beatle. Bubonic Plague Doctor ASMR. It's Beatle. The, the sword. blood at our present or whatever so yeah that was that was beautiful yeah. thank you <laughs> people thank you. okay uh, relax by that stuff oh. i yeah i guess I, like I, I think it's also to get people like into a mood okay. it's for like my, a, my sort of content of asmr yeah. is more so like um i don't know parody i'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna check it out i'll go get i'll get the details off you and check it out <laughs> okay those of you on twitch those of you who are on twitch i'm gonna raid stay safe tv he's currently playing world of warcraft classic season of discovery uh, those of you who are watching on Twitch, we will raid Stay Safe TV. Tell them whatever says hi, and uh, I'll send the raid over here. I'll send that raid in just a sec. Are we forgetting anything, Nick? Was there anything else that we had to that we had pulled up, or are we? No, like a couple of things that we decided not to go over. Oh, <sighs> I'm trying to think of what there was. Eh, nah, we're gonna wrap. Uh, wait, actually, fuck it, do it. <laughs> wait, okay, I'm so curious. I'm, fuck, I don't know if we go there. I just heard a honk outside, I think they. Do, do we go there? Yeah, go there. Do we, yeah. Kayla, oh, do we go shit, there? Dude. Kayla, yeah. do we go there? We go anywhere. Okay, I, had, <laughs> I was so curious, because like, I do a little review of your guys' social media oh, profiles and, and whatnot. Uh. No, it's nothing, it's nothing crazy, but like, I, I saw a picture of you when you were younger, and then like, I, I was just curious. Yeah, we'll pull well, uh, just a comparison. Yeah, pull so put us on the other side. It's so cute. Put us on the other side. Yeah, I was like, Aww. yeah, this is when I got kicked out and I was homeless. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next and then next photo. <laughs> next photo. Oh God. You. <laughs> and then you know, do you have a, a face tattoo? Yeah, I got that when I was seventeen. Oh, when you were seventeen. Oh, okay. Well, My that was tattoo. even. Wait, so I'm just like. It's such a like difference in the, uh, like you've changed your style a lot. So I'm curious, like, what happened? That was because I had no money. Like before, <laughs> okay. the first picture that was like I had that shirt, that was pair of sweats, and like maybe like three other outfits sleeping in my car. <laughs> so okay, that's why. <laughs> okay, have you have you consulted like many public services, like social workers, and especially with the situation with your mother? Um, my my um my aunt helps her tries yeah. to because it's in New York. Like, yeah. And I don't live in New York. Where's your, does your mom live in Seattle? No, my mom. Sorry, my mom lives in um, New York. And you live in Seattle? Yeah. Okay. I wonder. Yo, anybody in New York down to like house <gasps> Kayla's mom? I mean, or my do you, own. Do you or at least if you. My own aunt kicked her out. So. Oh, you recommend but contacts in social right. services would be the best way to go though, because they're they're yeah. pretty yeah. robust social shelter. services. Yeah, New York. Does has she have a social solid, worker? Right? Huh? Does she have a social worker? Is this know. assigned to her case? I'll speak to you after the show about it. Okay. Yeah, we can. I was just curious, you know, this is a pretty big difference, I guess. But um, anyways. Do you okay. think it's not big of a difference? Well, I mean, maybe you just didn't dress or, or I don't know. More but, flamboyant now, yeah. Like, what? I feel like in some people's lives, there's just like a moment. Like, you'll, yeah, you'll look at, okay. you'll look at like, there, there's the, almost these memes sometimes where it's like, before college, after after college, like someone goes to college and they become like super woke SJW. I'm not saying that's the case for you, but they have like a total transformation in their physical appearance where they'll like just totally, like they'll start doing body mod and like get totally blasted in tattoos and, and uh, um, I 
think it's because I think that picture was like right before I got kicked out. Yeah. But like I had okay. like I wasn't allowed to dye my hair or do anything. So then I finally could. Okay. And I like did All right. exactly what I wanted. Well, there you have it, folks. Um, I'm pretty. I think we've hit over pretty much as much as we can here. Um, Big Labia Matter, support my nonprofit, Big Labia Matter, you know. Got that girl who left, she prefers giant penises. I <gasps> I think Big Labias are, you know, pre, you know. Support it, guys. Support my movement. BLM, hashtag BLM. Okay, guys, last call. Hit the like button, please, on your way out. Thank you for tuning in tonight. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. I appreciate that. Hold on, did my raid disappear? Oh, shit, sorry, guys, hold on. Ah, oh, shit, I'm going to raid. Sorry, guys, one sec. God damn it. I don't know why I'd fucking f give me 10 seconds. I'm going to raid. Stay, stay safe. Uh, did I finish? You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. I appreciate that. Thank you to everyone who super chats, donates, and supports the show. We will be live again Tuesday at 5 p.m. Pacific. We got our boy Jake joining us once again. That's good. Uh, so that's going to be a, a good show. And actually, you know what? We have a couple open uh, an open spots on Tuesday. So if anybody's interested in the hopping, on, uh, any girls are interested in hopping on the Tuesday panel, if any of you are sticking around town, want to hop on another panel, we do have some open spaces on Tuesday. So feel free to uh, talk to uh, me or Nick after the show. Uh, any girls who want to be on the show, like I said, DM at whatever on Instagram. I'm rating stay safe on Twitch. Oh my God, is it fucking not working? Holy shit. God damn it. Fuck. Hold on, guys. Fuck. Oh my God. <laughs> Um, does penis size matter while I'm trying to get this figured out, guys? Yes. <laughs> yes. What no. the fuck? Uh, yes, but Unless not as much as... Unless you're in love, then it doesn't matter, right? Well, that's what you think the average is? Uh, nah, we won't do that. Four and a half. <laughs> One. Um. I want to give a big thank you to the panel. It was uh, certainly a unique panel. It was a very big panel. We <laughs> normally don't have that many people, so... Uh, all right, I'm rating st rated stay safe over on Twitch. And uh, last thing here. Okay, guys, 07's in the chat. 07's in the chat. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll be live again Tuesday. Got a good panel. Uh, see you guys. Good night, guys.